evening, jewellery makers. I sound like the beginning of a cartoon then, didn't I? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, MG. Prepping for today's show, I was like, oh, it's going to be an absolute stunner. Not only because you've got the most beautiful products, we've got Peacock Angel Eye, we've got Nanhong Agate Kits, we've got the most amazing Alhambra necklace in amber, which is just gorgeous, but also because we've got the lovely Debs, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And my, my you chair's a bit really little. <laughs> my ch so I put my chair down a bit and it's a bit too small. I feel like, hello, I can just rest my chin on it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're a seven-year-old child. Mummy. <laughs> yeah, feet swinging underneath. Hello anyway, hello. Oh, oh my goodness me, your projects today. I just mentioned the Nanhong, which is just wow. Oh. But I know you are uber excited <laughs> about the other projects today. You know me and my loose sight flowers. Well, like, well, Monica was talking about them yesterday. She said, I don't think I've not purchased one of the loose sight I projects. I, I, I mean, isn't she amazing, Moni? I mean, yeah. that... She's lovely too, isn't she? She's lovely. She's talented. That booklet that she did for everybody is a book that she literally gave you. Yeah. She is amazing. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just singing her praises. Um, yeah. So we've got different loose sight flowers. They come in a heart-shaped box and you get all little findings and things oh. in there. But I, what I'm going to show you today, I've put some things that I've made before, is the wisteria earrings. They're so lovely. Yeah, Molly, uh, Molly was, was actually praising those as well. Oh, was she? Yeah, she was saying, oh. I love the earrings that Deb's made. Little wisterias. They're so pretty, Deb. And they're, they're not hard. So I've written up a tutorial and I've done photographs as well for you, but I haven't done 84 pages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not, not. I'm not up to that standard yet. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got a spare day or two, have you? <laughs> well, no. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, so you, you will have seen the crochet one before, but just to show you that you can crochet. And then the other one's new with the little... Um, oh, they've got daffodils. Yeah. You've got a little daff... They're so pretty. Do you know what you can do with the least... <laughs> is I'm... it like a selection of flowers? A selection of flowers. You know what I really like about this one is in previous boxes, they've all been quite large, which I love. Yeah. But these, you get the little bell ones, so you can make the little oh. blue bell earrings, or you can make the... Um, you know, just put them on the bracelets and have like the smaller... Sm there's more smaller ones, which I think are really good for design. Great for earrings. Oh. Great for earrings. Like you see the little small bell ones there, oh, those ones. Lovely. Whereas the larger ones, um, they tended to be sort of that larger size in the other boxes. You've got a couple of smaller, um, but I just love those little bell ones. I use those all the time. So we've, I'm just, just, just checking. We've got 300. Come on. Yes. Come on. At 12 o'clock, these are. You can't have enough loose sight flowers. I've loved loose sight before I was a designer. I mean, a guest designer. I've always use them yeah and I think you know you can go full out with them you can use a couple and they'll just elevate your design I just what about it. in things like um I'm just thinking quite boho vibes like headdress yeah, exactly because they're quite lightweight right they're really lightweight so you can do wedding jewelry like flower girl tiaras oh, um, some ladies on the weekend the craft opia weekend because they weren't really jewelry makers they didn't wear jewelry they made like um you know like bookmarks but for your journal oh very nice so you can make bookmarks or you can wear where little make little clips that go on your journal and they've got like a chain with all the flowers coming off. Oh. So yeah, anything like that. 300 available. Oh, They're going to fly, aren't can't they? Can't wait. Um, it, and the box. You get the heart-shaped box with the three tiers and it's just a great way of keeping them separate. And I've still got all my loose sight flowers that I've got so far, like in my stacked. three stacked boxes. Oh, thanks, oh, Dan. There you go. Oh, and you've got strands and findings. What? You get, you get some... Um, find you get earring wires you get chain you get some faux pearls so it's just a, ha a real handy little bundle i love that i'm gonna have to get some of those they're really good i think the girls would love those oh they would love it yeah daisy that... makes a lot with these and daisy's friends when they come they oh. always get the loose sight flowers well they're at 12 o'clock your nan hong projects are at nine o'clock and oh my goodness me i mean these are absolutely incredible I d how they have done this blows my mind oh i know well we were talking about nan hong yesterday and mm. how it's mined out we know that now. yes yeah um and you've got that solid red color that they were Gorgeous. saying is now the price of red jadeite oh really yeah it's like massive well it's mined out it's just oh it's and so natural stunning. it's totally beautiful. natural so those are your projects today not to be missed we go through the menu shall we eight o'clock um i never thought i would get so excited about what is effectively a little spring. Yeah, but these are the Rolls Royce of beadstock. Aren't they just? I've just tested them. <laughs> I was talking to Ross this morning and I went, Ross, 
Those bead stoppers are gonna go crazy because I don't think we've had them. I reckon it's been about four years. 2020, yeah. Oh, really? Adam's going three years. What do you reckon, Dan? 20 years. 20 years? 20 years? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I've, I've been saying four, I've been three. So you're gonna say three? What do um, you reckon? I remember doing them they weren't these they were some other ones and i reckon it was about five four years ago yes yeah, it's, it's been ages blue they were blue and i agree they weren't quite as flexible were they, they? weren't as flexible. they were a bit stiff i don't think they launched in 2020 last time they were on air yeah adam thinks 21 dan thinks 21 deb's is going 2018 oh no 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 i would say 21 you're saying 21. Mm. I reckon you should have stuck with 2018. When was it? What? Last seen in 2015. Really? No, really? I knew it was ages. I And I said, these, did I not this morning? I was like, Ross, those bead stoppers are gonna go mental. And he was like, what are they? It's like, when you do things like stretchy bracelets, in 2015, yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't know, did you? You didn't know. Ross wasn't even here. So I was like, when you when you do things like stretchy bracelets, beading, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I use them all the time. I have, I have them in every room that I work, and I will have some in my toolbox right now. Um, you can never have enough. Do you get all of those? That all are of that? these. I need them. I so, need well, them. Well, well, a good job then, jewelry makers. We've got 300. And you can shop ahead because they're in they're in the hour right now. Well, I'll be getting them in if the break. If you do any form of beading, you need bead stoppers. If you've not seen them before, they are... Look, imagine, say, I'm just going to borrow this strand for a minute. So, and I know there's beads on the end. But imagine I was beading this and it had... Um, here we go. So, say... Played as part, as a, a part of a bundle in 2016. So basically, you do that, don't you? Obviously, you'd have thread coming the other side. The benefit, and it stops them falling off. It stops off. them falling off. But the benefit of these are, and I was saying this when I was teaching on the course, because you think everyone knows, because you think everyone's a jewelry maker, but they don't. When you design something, if you commit to putting the clasp on one end to hold the beads on, if you want to add a, a bead or take something away, you have to take them all off. Yeah. If you just cut it from the strand and put two bead stoppers, one each end, then you can work from the middle outwards. Yeah. And then if you want to change something on the far right, you don't have to cut your clasp off. These are invaluable. Invaluable. Mm. So they're early bird to say. Uh, I today. love them. I know. I'm going to be getting some as well. Um, okay. So that make sure you shop ahead on those. I've got 300. I still don't think that's going to be enough. I don't. Um, uh, then, as we said, we've got the beautiful carved Nan Hong projects at nine o'clock with our lovely Debs. Amazing they are, truly, truly amazing. Uh, 10 o'clock is all about your brand new amber clover necklace, which is, yeah, that's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? If you love a bit of Alhambra, um, we believe we are the only people in the world to have commissioned it in Baltic Amber. I've not seen it, that is gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah. It's a finished necklace, even down to you know like the um extender at the back if i just turn it around the extender <gasps> at the back look oh i love that even with the amber at the reverse so you can wear it at different lengths imagine that presented in a nice jewelry box on a special occasion yes please yeah amazing um so that's at 10 o'clock and also we've got the very last opportunities of your peacock angelite <gasps> in the bangle. These are uber limited. I did miss out on this, didn't I? Where was I? Where, where was I? Was I poorly or something? Can't remember. I was off, okay. Um, yeah, I missed out on the launch of this. I know you had lovely um, Lindsay Vickers launch. Adam was off as well. Was it Bank Holiday Monday? That's right, that's right. Um, but we've got the very last opportunities. I know Debs has got her eye on this. It's <laughs> so beautiful, isn't it? I got so many, because I wasn't on, I got so many messages from lovely viewers because they know how much I love it, saying, yep. there's a bangle. But by the time I went on it, it sold out. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to put it out there. As uh, For bangles, I think that's the most beautiful one we've oh, done. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at it. That's natural. Oh, I can't And go. there is a story behind that, which I'll share with you at 10 o'clock. Then at 11 a.m., we've got your last of stock jadeite opportunities, jewellery maker, so lots of amazing deals there. And 12 o'clock is that massive lucite uh, flowers, 
project with our lovely Deb. So it's going to be unbelievable today. Would you mind if I just quickly gate crash this show and say, I, d I doubt very much he's going to be watching because he's probably on the school run. In fact, he's definitely on the school run. But to my, he might be watching on the phone. They do sometimes actually. Willow, I, yeah, he can watch know. it back. Willow, what has it on? The, has it sometimes yeah. on a on a iPad, um, and he can definitely watch it back. Can I wish my wonderful husband a very happy birthday? Oh, um, happy birthday! Yeah, Tom. he puts up with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, darling. We love you. We love you. Love you. Oh, he's a good egg, isn't he? He's a very good egg. He is. Yeah. I mean, he has to be, doesn't he, He's really? He's surrounded to, by a lot of females. To be put, yeah, <laughs> just true. Yeah. That is true. There's only him and Brutus. Oh, yeah, no, and, and the cat. Brutus is questionable. <laughs> let's, be, <laughs> let's be honest. He's not exactly full of tes testosterone, is our Brutus. Hey, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, can we get cracking? <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Beat Stoppers, make sure you're shopping ahead on those lovely jewellery makers. Um, how many have got already? Go on, just for kicks, Roscoe. Mm. Not as many as you thought. 19. Oh, I thought it was going to be a good 50. Um, make it 20 because I need these. I haven't got any bead stoppers. I, I can never have enough. 2015. Nine years ago. I need them. That's Those ones crazy. are really good ones. I like the, they're really ergonomic, nice like soft. easy on your hands. Sometimes they, they're, they're quite good. stiff, aren't they? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Whereas these, look, look, look. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. No, no. You have to make the sound when you do it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hello. Look how, nice, look how nice and easy they are. Nice and soft. They're look. really good ones. No, no struggling at all. I reckon I can do it. I reckon I can do it with my little finger as well. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah. No Aren't they good? No probs. Nice and soft bead stoppers. Love them. We're easily pleased, aren't we? We are really. Very easily <laughs> pleased. Um, <laughs> okay, amazing TV that was. Right then, <laughs> shall we get back in with Lapis Lazuli in a beautiful rose cut cabochon. 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 Oh, Debs, you did a little uh, eyebrow flutter there as well, which made it even more... <laughs> Even more French. Isn't that what French people do? They move well, their eyebrows. Little, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> not entirely sure. Um, beautiful. You know how we like to start our morning show. Cabuchon. Cabuchon. It is a lovely language, isn't oh, it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Mousse au chocolat. Oh, yeah. Je m'appelle. <laughs> can, can you tell? I was not great at French. Um, 11.99. Nah, is that how Ross is? Ross, Ross is? Is that how Ross likes to start his shows? No. No, of course it's not. It's a pound. Pound. Can you say pound, in, pound. in a French accent? A pound. No. Uh, uh, it's a. No. Uh, 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 uh. Just uh. <laughs> Just sound like we're grunting. Nil point. Uh, pound. <laughs> It's a pound. It's a pound. Loads of you getting involved. This is the thing. When Debs and I are together, this is generally how the show tends to pan, pan out. It's just a little bit random. I think, um, I think they like it. But we have fun, don't we? We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Um, make sure you check it out. Loads of you there. Morning, everybody. Lots of text messages today. Please tell us what you're up to. What you're up to this weekend. You're doing anything fun. Um, I've been telling the guys I'm looking after my next door neighbour but one's dog. Oh, yeah. Um, and this next door neighbour, uh, let's just say looking after most people's dogs would be a very different entity to looking after this dog. She's beautiful. So beautiful. What is she again? She's a Burmese mountain dog. She's a Burmese mountain she's dog. She's basically a bear in your house. Yeah, she's she's heavier than me. Oh, I love Yeah, it. she's massive. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Um, that's why I'm doing this weekend. Uh, ooh, that's very cool. This one, Ross, like a wishbone. Oh, oh, sorry, not at all that. Um, green adventure, you need some lovely drops. But they're Ooh. like inverted drops. Normally the drill hole's at the pointy bit, isn't it? But this is at, actually at the bottom bit. Oh, I love Aventurine. That's very good for wire workers, isn't it? Because yeah. they could do a lovely wrap on those. That's gorgeous. Look at the colour. These would be nice with your Lucite flowers, Debs. 
everything's nice. That's true. That, that, that is true. But you could have a flower at the top and then have a pendant. Oh, are they a pound? Yeah. They are a pound. Oh, the phone lines it. have gone crazy. Well done, Hertfordshire, getting 13 of these. I don't blame you. Um, well done. Well done. Okay, moving on to... No. Black dotted quartz. It's a sargonetic quartz, basically. I almost feel like dotted doesn't really do the gemstones rarity justice. Um, little tiny specks, a bit like strawberry quartz, but instead of it being red, of course, you get a little black inclusions. I love this. If you like salt and pepper diamonds, yes. then you'll love this. Or if you like a bit of herkimer, it's a pound. It's a pound. Can't get a lot for a pound these days, can you? Rose quartz, I definitely do. Again, lovely with your lucite flowers. <laughs> <sighs> oh Ross sorry he's like he's just doing his Frank Butcher voice in my ear uh... it's very good actually he's very good it's very good very good at it who doesn't know who Frank Butcher is Lauren do you know who Frank Butcher is no no do you Dan not really no. you don't know who Frank Butcher is I know oh, I know he was in EastEnders I know, when he I know Barry from yeah, oh, he's yeah. not Barry. No. Frank Butcher is way cooler than Barry. You can go in a, you're tall like that. That's what that's what Yeah, I he had like. a really gruff voice. He's mm. like he was actually a comedian as well, wasn't he? Had he had a lovely smile. Mike Reed, yeah. yeah. There he is. Pet 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 pet. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, can you see that? In the heyday, there the turtleneck he jumper combo with his flat cap. Wasn't that when Angie was in the pub with Den, or am I going way back yes. now? Yes. Yeah. Is that in front of the calf? What's it called? Beals? Yes. What? Is it Beals? What yeah, was it before? Beals. It was Angie's. Yeah. Look, you can see the GE. Angie's, And yeah. then it went to Beals. Oh, Cathy's. Oh, Cathy's, that's right. Cathy's, that's it. Pet, pet, pet. So now you know, when we do the pet, 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 it's <laughs> burned. That's who we're doing. He was a wheeler dealer, yeah, yeah absolutely. He was. Wasn't he a car salesman? Something like that, yeah. He was his, <laughs> yeah, his fingers in a lot of pies. And yeah, all. yeah. And let's just say, not strictly by the book. No. Yeah. A bit of a yeah, Del Boy. 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 Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, they don't make them like that anymore, do they? Yeah. Del Boy and Rodney. No. Um, under £10, pounds, nine ninety nine for the beautiful blossom pink that is your rose quartz. Um, there's a clock ticking away. Now you know, Lauren. Tell me you know who Del Boy is, though. Yeah, she says, yeah. You know Del She's Boy, nodding. don't you? Yeah. That's all right, then. That's all right. Because, I mean, I would be, I think I'd be a little bit upset if you didn't know Del Boy. <laughs> Del Boy? Yeah, they did, like, the Only Fools and Horses. Yeah, they yeah. did, like, reunions and things, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. That was good, too, wasn't it? No income tax, no VAT, no <laughs> money back, no guarantee. Go white, rich or poor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, how many of us are going to be watching a bit of Rodney and Del Boy? Yes. I, it is funny, isn't it? It is funny. Yeah, it, it, nev it never at ages. Cool, Rodney. At cool. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that like I was the female <coughs> version of Rodney when I was trying to flirt before I I, I found Tom. That's the thing. I, I could just terrible. At I flirting. can't flirt. I don't. No. I'm rubbish. Yeah, me. I've always been rubbish. <laughs> I don't understand. What you see is what you get with me. I'm like, well, I don't know how to to do that. <laughs> no, me neither. And I see women who do it, and I think, wow, that, wow how do they do that? She's like a goddess. <laughs> yeah, I was Rodney. Or they'd come into the presence of a guy, and suddenly their whole demeanour would change. Yeah. I just look a bit camp. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, no, I'm like, hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, 4 99 everybody. Amazing with your lucite flowers. Loads of you. 4 99 Yeah, look at them. They're now, beautiful quality. You don't see rose quartz as much anymore, no. do you? No. Mine is diminishing as we speak in my in my um, stash. We need to stock up then, don't we? Yes. Yeah, it's true. I couldn't do a showcase of Rose Court. No, we used to see it all the time. Yeah, it's true. 
grab it. It used it. to be a staple, didn't it? I love it. I and mean, it was always in projects. And it's got so much, you know, meaning. It's a heart chakra, it's love, it's, you know, it's gorgeous, it's blossom in the it spring. Is. I just love it. And it complements everybody, doesn't it, yeah. Rose Quartz? Yeah. I think it's one of those we all know, even without knowing, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, check out your baskets. There are 30 of you. And there's people with threes and fours. Hello, Mark. Ah, oh, after seed beading for nearly eight years, I learned how to. You just put a you just put a message up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was you have. I've got a message right. There's in front a of message. Me. It says I've learned how to do herringbone. Is that our Mark? <laughs> that was from yesterday. That message. Oh. Is that our Mark though? Yeah. Herringbone. I love herringbone, yes. Mark. Welcome to the herringbone club. There you go. Here is a message though. Oh, here is. <laughs> I've not seen things. I definitely saw that message. <laughs> Hello Angela in Hampshire. Good morning. I ordered the blue ended bead stoppers on the 10th, the 11th, 2017. There you go, 2017. The only time I ever saw them and they still work yeah. as new. There we go. Um, Ross is just saying he can't find them. He can't find them on the system. We don't doubt you. I'm sure you did. But... <laughs> But Ross can't, uh, Ross can't find them on the system. Maybe they're a different code or something like mm. that. They, they are great, aren't they, Angela? So good. Because how many good. times have you done like a stretchy bracelet, picked it up and everything falls apart? Oh, and then you've got to bead it all over again. Ugh. Oh, it's a nightmare. It's infuriating. So foolproof these are. I'll be getting some bead stoppers, definitely. Um, well done, everybody. Te that could be our texting topic, actually. Um, what classic... British TV series do we wish we could bring back? Professionals. Oh, I know the theme tune. Because uh, I just remember, <laughs> you all don't need to know this, but at the end it goes, dun, dun, dun. and I always remember I was in the front room acting the maggot, as my dad would say, and I went, dun, dun, dun. I was only a little girl and I knocked my lamp off. Oh no! I got into a lot. Of Did problems. you? I used to so be. So you want the professionals? I back. want the professionals back. Okay. Oh, and fame, fame. Oh yeah, let's not keep it to British because I want Airwolf back. Just because <gasps> Airwolf, it is back. You is can it? watch it on one of the Sky channels. You yeah, know, is it him? Yeah. Is it? Uh, it's a repeat of it's the actual one. Oh, I'm gonna start watching. He's him. he's a bit tasty, isn't he? He is delicious. He is very handsome. I'm not allowed to say that in my house. That Why? Some, it's a London saying, isn't it? That someone's a bit tasty. It means they're like a bit, not, you know. Handsome. Handsome. Um, my daughter goes, don't say that. Why? <laughs> I, I don't know. She doesn't like it. Oh, so, sorry, okay. Daisy. Well, he is handsome. He is. Airwolf. Jan Michael Vincent. Isn't yeah, he? even his name, Jan Michael Vincent. He sounds handsome. <laughs> Tasty. You know when you say someone's name, you're like, I bet Jan Michael Vincent. I bet he's a good looking chap. Oh, yes, he is. Um, should we do some? Shut yes, up. all of these. They're all tasty, all of them. Oh, blue. Oh, yes, in a stretchy bracelet. Oh, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I love these bracelets. I've got a couple of these from here. Yeah, because if you if you can't wear a bangle, it's so comfortable. Then it's a fantastic alternative. Yeah. Basically, it's a double-stranded stretchy bracelet. Blue is one of the rarest colours of your adventuring. And oh, you, oh, I thought that was lapis. No. Oh, it's lovely. It's a gorgeous colour. It's a very summery blue, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Lovely summery blue. Um, 150 carats. Have we got many of these, Roscoe? Nine, okay. And it's brand new. Oh, is that all we were able to buy? Not often that we can actually, uh, um, that we bring an item to where there is only nine. Unless, of course, it's last of stock. Um, okay, 30 seconds. We're going to do one price crash. It's brand new. Look at the quality of that blue as well. Oh, it's yeah. Gorgeous. It's it tends to be a bit paler blue eventually, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's natural. No enhancement. That's amazing. Yeah, that's some of the best blue eventually I've seen, to be honest. I love that. Oh, yeah, as I said, I thought it was lapis, but then I thought, oh no, hold on, it's it looks different. I'm getting summertime vibes. <laughs> Definite summer vibes. Every time you speak this morning, I I, I start singing in my head. <laughs> What are you thinking summer, now? Summer, summer, summertime. Time. Ooh, summertime. Time to sit back and unwind. And drink summertime. wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's only nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh, that's good. What a lovely oh, present. Oh, I was thinking the same. Mm. That would be a lovely gift. How amazing. I and super comfortable to wear. It's one size fits all. If you wanted to deconstruct this, and obviously you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because effectively those rectangles are connectors, aren't they? Yeah. 
You could treat them. I mean, when I got mine, I thought I'm probably going to deconstruct that because I had some ideas for the larger beads, but I didn't because I just really liked it. Yeah, so I just left nice. it. Yeah. Beautifully. I mean, look how, look how consistent the shape is now. It's just seamless. It is. Beautiful. We've only got nine, though. Well done, Elizabeth, Lanarkshire, Oxford, Venetia. Hello, Helen, saying Martin Shaw on the professionals was, was a crush of mine. Um, I would uh, like <gasps> Moonlighting with Bruce Willis and yes. Sybil Shepherd. I remember that. Yes. I remember that. Now, they were filming The Professionals near where my dad had his garage. My dad used to have a garage back in the day. And my mum was very pretty when she was young. I mean, she was pretty all the time, but she was like a bit tasty when she was younger. And not not um, Martin Shaw, but the other one, uh, the tall, dark one, he chatted her up. Ah! That was her claim to fame. There you go. There you go. And I'm, I used to love Moonlighting. Did you moonlight, watch that? Yeah, I remember Moonlighting. And you couldn't wait for them to get together at the yeah, end. Yeah, it was oh, lovely. I loved that too. Hello, Amanda saying, morning, everyone. Fame, definitely. So full of promise, high oh. uh, fidelity and uh, the rest, yes. I, I couldn't wait. Those were the days where you couldn't just get it on demand. You used to couldn't wait till the next episode. I know, yeah. Proper series. <laughs> Proper I've series. I started re-watching Friends as oh, well. yeah. Love a bit of Friends. I love Friends. Yeah. My daughter loves Friends, and that's a completely different generation. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You go Loving make... these. Yeah, to keep them coming. Yeah, Fame, that was another good one. Oh, I loved that. Oh, text in, text in. There were so many classics, weren't there? Yeah. Golden Girls. I love the Golden oh, yeah. Girls. <laughs> Absolutely love them. Um, shall we do some sterling silver clots? Always essential. Um, now you get two different sizes, five mil and seven mil. So if I tip them there, um, ten of each size. Can you see them? There's mm -hmm. a little hair there. Hang on. They are not base metal. These are nine two five. So if I put these behind, then you can see the difference. Um, and sometimes you'll need a larger clot. Sometimes you need a smaller clot. Um, perfect. Thank you. These are a bit different to the usual ones. Can you see how basically you close the usual clot bit over, but you've got the loop attached? So normally there's a hole going through the center of the clock. Yeah. But these have got the loot attached to it. Yeah, that's good. So um, a little bit different. Basically, you not encase it, and then you've got the loop that you attach to. Yeah, that's good. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, you are. Um, five by three and seven by four millimeters. You get 10 of each of the sizes. So essentially that's, um, yeah, 10, 10 pieces, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, 10 pieces of jewellery, because you'll need two yeah, you need, yeah. on the end of a necklace or a bracelet. Um, I launched these, and they absolutely skyrocketed out, jewellery makers. We've only got um, a few of them, is that right, Ross? Yeah, I thought so. There's less than 40 of them available. Um, already people adding it to their baskets. Well done. Already people making confirmations. I don't blame you, because it's one of those components. I know I say it all the time, sorry. Um, but it's... A relatively new addition in terms of the findings here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but they're a revelation, aren't they? Oh, you just need them. That they are inessential. I, yeah. I would definitely say that they are. But especially since we do more knotting, I think, now. Yeah. Because we have so many high-end gemstones that we want to knot in between. Yeah. And these are perfect. And it just gives you that polished finish, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not adverse to a knot directly, up, no. but it just gives you that much more of a professional finish. Yeah. Um, these flew out, hundreds of them flew out on the original launch. £19.99. pence. They are 925 sterling silver. Yeah. So precious metal and the fact you're getting the two different sizes there. So, for example, if you're looking for something, if you're doing a delicate bracelet, you don't want a big clot. No, definitely not. And also the, the security of your knot, you know, it's not going to rub on things and get frayed or yeah. because you've got this over the top of it. So it serves both of those purposes, really. True. It looks really lovely. It adds a little bit of precious metal to your design and also it looks after your piece as well. Yeah, I think it was, Debs, was it you that said put just a little touch of your jewellery yeah. making glue before you close it over? Yeah. And then that adds adds to the security of it as yeah. well. Yeah. So I just wait until to, to add my glue to the knot until I actually put it inside the crimp. Yeah. And then that will hold that as well. Secure, nice and yeah. secure. Um, the final forty of these jewelry makers, you get them in two different sizes. Suzanne's got two. Deirdre, Lynn, in Cumbria. New customers getting involved. Another clock on your screen because this is not where we're closing. It's a pound each for sterling silver. Very good. 
very, very good. And it's one of those finding steps that, you know, when um, we, we painted a scenario, I think last time you and I were together, when you're looking for something, it's like, I just need one. <laughs> yeah. And they're usually in the very corners yeah. of the box, and aren't they? And you've got in your finger and you're kind of just thinking, oh, just yeah, please, dabbing it. dabbing it to the side. Like, oh, I've got one. And then I you just see need it and it disappears. <laughs> You see, uh, we're, we've all been there, haven't you? <laughs> there is, there's one, there's one, there's one. And then it's going, oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? And you don't want to take things out in case you take that out as well. And it's like, oh, ah! Exactly. You've got to stock up on these. Yeah. 30 minutes to make the most of these deals, jewellery makers. £17.99. pence. You get all 20 of them. That's so in good. In the two different sizes as well. Amazing. Stock up, because there's nothing more infuriating than when you're looking for one of your essential findings and you just can't get it. Oh, or yeah. you've got one. Oh, it's so, and you think, and you're going, to, you know, to the jewelry gods, please, just one more. I've got to finish this piece today. Just one more. let me find one more. I need one more, come on. <laughs> yeah, and spacer beads is another one, isn't yeah. it? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, spacer beads, they tend to disappear. They do. So you've got to stock up on them whenever you see them on our shows. I can't, and, and, and they arrive here at Jewelry Maker, then they're gone in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't actually sustain the demand for collots at the moment. No. Um, because I think we're all of the, in agreement, they are most definitely definitely an essential now to our jewellery making yeah. needs. You know, and we've got such lovely pearls and such lovely, you know, jade and and gorgeous gemstones that we not more, I think, yeah. than we ever did. Yeah, that's so true. I think the demand for them has increased because we use them more. Yeah, that's so true. So now that's why I think that they're an essential well, together with your head pins and all the rest of it. Yeah, the rarity and the quality of the gemstones that we're bringing now is that much better it's gone up a grade yeah I not think. saying it wasn't before but we are bringing much rarer gemstones Definitely. now like we had diamonds yesterday you're not did gonna, you yeah the most amazing diamonds too you know you're going to want to put your high-end findings with those aren't you yeah Most absolutely without doubt 17.99 you're not just going to want to put them on a base metal isn't the point you know they that you want them to be finished literally from from end to end don't you yeah I mean, once upon a time you used to buy two or four just what you needed because it was you know considered and it would add quite a yeah. bit to your piece but not at our prices no doesn't. no absolutely we've had some amazing items launching recently mm. yeah blue and yellow diamonds they were faceted rounds and they were big too really yeah incredible they were absolutely incredible well done these are looking like they will be a sellout jewelry makers hello lynette hello to marion hello to holland hello to liz hello to dorothy multiply Irina, judith sharon suzanne multiply Bind, Deirdre, hello to you. Christine in my home county of Monmouthshire, hello to you. Angela in Oxfordshire um, and Cumbria, keep on dialing through. Make sure you check out and remember everything disappears come the top of this hour. Don't forget to add your bead stoppers, jewellery makers. So Angela is saying we brought you a former bead stopper in 2017. I know it's been ages. Yeah, absolutely ages. Ages. And I actually said 2020, so I it could have been 2017, could have been, I don't know. I don't know, but they've been, it's been a long time. It has been ages. A long, long time. Make sure you're checking out. Too long. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they're really, do you know, they're like a little stress ball as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. You can just sit there with a... Um, okay. We have got the, the gold-plated silver collots. Um, yeah, it's basically the yellow gold version. There's only three left, though, so you will need to be quick checking those out. Told you, they, they, they're launched. They were launched, what, last week, Russ? Or was it the week before? About a week ago, and they were all, almost sold out. Or, oh no, they were almost sold out already. That's why you need to stock up because you just, if you're like me, you spill them everywhere. There we go. And you don't want to be losing those little babies. Definitely not. Well done. Okay. Well done. Well done. Well done. What? Sorry. Oh, you found. Oh yes, we had them yesterday. That looked like feathers. With you, Debs, we launched them, didn't we? Yeah. We've got them in gold. Oh, lovely. Look how lovely they are. They, up, they went oh, crazy yesterday. I'm not surprised. Imagine those with some pearls. Yeah, gorgeous. I mean, you've just made a high-end piece of jewellery in like 10 minutes. Yeah, 100%. Mm. I mean, we, we were talking, I think, when we launched these, Debs, about the fact the feather has got so much meaning. And you've yeah. got the kind of uh, uh, strokes of the feather here, I guess. Um, but it's not an obvious feather. No. So if you want to have that meaning within your piece of jewellery without it being obvious, then I think this is a, a, a lovely pattern. It's almost like leaf-like, I suppose. I was thinking that too. So whatever meaning you want to attach to it, you can, can't mm. you? I also think having a finding of this quality 
in your jewelry designs. It's going to make you know make you stand, I don't know, up level with people like Miss Soma and Monica Venada yeah. and you know Ashley Clark, all yeah. of those sorts of people. Um, they tend to have like unusual findings in their designs. I think it can make your jewelry look really designer feeling. Absolutely, one hundred percent. They're a bit Grecian as well, I think. Yeah, they are actually. You know, like the uh, sort of. Yeah, well, I was thinking that too, like with the um, white the robes and the. What was it? Laurel. Yeah, the Laurel they used leaves. to put around their head. Um, a little bit of those and getting those vibes too. Big investment of your sterling silver, and they're gold plated. First price crash. For the three, not just the one. And we were saying yesterday, Debs. You know how much is that going to be if you pop into someone like Pandora? How much would it be? Is exactly. it going to be nine ninety nine each? No. No. Well, they're not nine ninety nine each. They're nine ninety nine for the three. Three pound thirty three. That's a very, very. Even good. I can do that maths. <laughs> Even I can do that maths. They're not. No, they're not. Says Adam. This like where else in the world though will you get gold plated sterling silver, not base metal, for three pound thirty three per piece? No, it, it's it's just absolutely. You know, you get used to it. We do. We are blasé. We are definitely in a bubble. Um, yeah. When you go out into the world, and I've been teaching people into lately, just world. into the world, and you think everyone knows how to make jewelry. So sometimes you'll rush through a, a demo because you think, oh, everyone knows how to do that. They don't. No. And, and not everybody realises that you can source precious metal at these kind of prices. Uh, yeah, they don't understand From that, us. that, you know, it's almost like we're a wholesaler. Yeah, absolutely. It Aren't is. We? We're like I a wholesaler. We sometimes even beyond. Yeah, absolutely. A retailer at wholesale prices, yeah. says Adam. Yeah, That's sometimes good, Adam. even beyond the wholesale prices, I think. Seven pounds and 99 pence. That's amazing. I mean, you imagine, uh, let me get this strand. Can you imagine? I mean, obviously you would bead it, using your bead stoppers. Imagine one of them in there. I know, it just, just changes it completely. Look at that, there's your piece of jewelry. Love it. Imagine, that's a bracelet. How beautiful. Mm. Just one little element just added and it's costing you what, a few pounds. And it now becomes, you know, a gemstone and gold plated sterling silver. Yeah. That doesn't matter if it's only one, it doesn't matter if it's just a colour, if it's one space no. of bead, it still makes that piece of jewellery into that description. And that, I don't know, that gives you a reputation if you're making to sell people, take you more seriously. 100%. You know, and they will ask, won't they? I yeah, should, they I should always imagine. ask. It's like, oh, is that precious metal or mm. is, that, is that silver or is that. It, it, is it costume jewellery? Mm. People say, no, no, gold plated 925. Mm. Yeah, it, it's that perceived value. I totally, totally agree with you. Um, we've got multi buyers on this. Congratulations. They're a big investment of gram weight as well in uh, in each of them, not just collectively. Um, how many do you have of these then, Roscoe? 18 left within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. And again, it's that lovely uh, feathered patterning, which I absolutely adore. Um, and you'll use pieces like this, Deb. So, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking back to that necklace that you created, the peacock necklace. Oh, yeah. oh of course, feathers as well. And yeah. you put lots of little spaces, yeah. mm -hmm. um, spaces in there, bead caps yeah. in there to create like sort of focal sections, didn't you? And I think you need to. I think this is what elevates your design i tell you somebody who does that really well in my opinion susie mm. if you watch how susie will add um if you just take her designs apart if you look at them and you take them apart in your mind which i think as designers often we do she just cleverly adds spacer beads she yep. cleverly uses color yep. she cleverly uses things like this and look at her designs yeah absolutely I mean, they're beautiful and she knows how to do it with bells on and i think if you put you don't need much you just need a, go a good amount of this sort of thing in your stash yeah absolutely. so that when you go to make something you can take away and add and take away and add till you're happy but you need lots of them to start with absolutely. so that you can yeah, have say. an experiment it's not overlooking the fact that these do make a big difference to your design i mean like i said you need the gemstones but you also oh, yeah. need the little finishing touches don't you yeah, the little you embellishments a lot, lot to choose from wow amazing well done everybody um Congratulations. Okay, let's bring a ring holder. This, like a wishbone. Oh, like, oh yeah, okay. I mean, it's a beautiful pendant. I mean, I don't think you need to do anything to this. You could solder onto it. Is it silver? 
Is it called wow. a ring holder? Yeah, so you know, like some people like to wear their um, rings around their neck because oh. they don't fit them anymore or they've got arthritic joints or, or it's sentimental. Sentimental, they don't want to wear it on their hands or they don't have enough fingers. Then you can put your ring on. Is it? Is it sterling silver? Yes. Yeah. So isn't that perfect? And it just it can just make that look not so much like you've just put a ring on a chain. Oh wait. It's... So you do. Hang on a minute. I'm going to test this theory. Hang on. So you basically do that. Yeah. Oh, see. Ah. Oh, how? Like I've I got... would think so. I don't know, but just it. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So for example, I've got some of my dad's rings. Yes. They're obviously are far too big for exactly. me. Exactly. But that you could wear you could wear around the neck oh that's amazing isn't that good or you could even wear it on a bangle if it's something that's like a plain band that's not going to have any d diamonds or anything to fall out how amazing so is that so then it, it gives it a bit of a design flair as yeah. well as just rather than just having a ring on a chain yeah only ever been on once before and absolutely flew i think most of us most of us will say okay i've got pieces of jewelry from Definitely. from someone or you could just use it as an element. That's very true, Adam. Yeah, because I was thinking, you know, like our high goos, you could put them on there, couldn't you? Exactly. There's so many things that you could put on there. There was a lovely high goo that came in the Christmas calendar, a little one, that would be lovely on that. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. I might have to do this individually. I'm not sure. Hang so on. open it like Elle's opening it, like a jump ring. Like, yeah. Don't that's it oh so, look how pretty is that a couple yeah you could put like a big one and a little ones either side or oh yeah you could put that that one that side couldn't i yep so you can have it on the chain whichever way you want so you can have it facing you or sideways yeah or they might be yeah look isn't that lovely how cool is that so yes it could almost be like a pendant holder as well couldn't it like a yeah. tassel holder it's an anything holder isn't an it? anything yeah how amazing loving this what a clever idea if you've got fingerprint jewelry if you've made yep. fingerprint jewelry for say you've got for three kids you can put all three kids fingerprints on there that's like, lovely you know different charms you could put different charms on there it can be a charm holder i need this this is genius very clever isn't it yeah. such a simple idea but yeah. so effective um okay now it is solid sterling silver it's also a really lovely shape don't it you is, think? isn't it yeah um and it's kind of twisted can you see that mm-hmm Kind of got this like curved element like a f yeah it's gonna sit lovely on the decolletage um you've got this beautiful curved fan nine pounds and 99 pence you could also use this for like your soldering if you you know if you wanted to solder directly onto this you could couldn't you absolutely i mean imagine a nice big flower on the bottom of that and Ooh, that's beautiful. just your bale oh. i mean it's like a decorative bale so yeah. you could most certainly um work with heat on that i think that's genius I think I might need one of these as well because what a nice one because again things like loved ones jewellery for example it's just in a cupboard or in a jewellery box isn't it mm. and you don't really I'd love to be able to wear a, a piece of my dad's jewellery but obviously I can't because he only ever wore it with rings and they're far too big for me exactly and you could and you could even put it on a long line yeah. chain and you'd know that it was safe because it's encased in this little yeah gorgeous I'm joining you on this Debs how lovely yeah long line so it's nice to, yeah so you know like heart. you like your long line like this yeah but you could just put your holder on the bottom sorry mm. i'm showing Elle, not you you just put your this is a long necklace you put your holder on the bottom and then a couple of like i've got my my nan's wedding ring and my great nan's wedding ring mm. so i could put it on here i have it on i mean obviously i've got a pearl but this is a very big long necklace um and i know it's safe because of the way that that the mechanics of that it's yeah. not going to fall off i love it good isn't it absolutely love it Seven ninety nine. Unbelievable. Absolutely loving that. Hello, Fife getting two. Julie, Dawn getting two. Uh, Pat in Sussex, Nicolette in Surrey, Elizabeth in Devon, Renfusha, Jennifer, Sarah, Maker, Maker, Maker in Northamptonshire. Loads of you loving this idea. Yeah. I th it, it's a beautiful element on in its own individual right, but what a lovely idea, though, as well, that you can actually... Um, hold pieces or wear pieces of jewelry definitely yeah. i it's it, it, it or do you know what about when during pregnancy 
Yeah. Like, for example, I had to take my wedding ring off at the very end. Oh, sorry, engagement ring off at the very end of my pregnancy because yeah. your fingers swell, they do. don't they? Yeah, they do. But I didn't want to not wear exactly. it. Exactly. So if I'd have had this, then I could have just put it around the neckline. I've got a friend who always wears three rings on a chain. Yeah. I've never actually asked her what they're for, but they look like vintage, so I think that they're sentimental value. Um, but something like this would be brilliant. I'm going to come in there and stuff you up Adam in a minute <laughs> he's, got, he's like did your toes swell Elle? everything swells Adam pregnancy I didn't enjoy pregnancy very much obviously the end result's wonderful but um yeah everything everything I just was swollen <laughs> it's wonderful it's I, wonderful I loved being pregnant it's the only time I ever liked my tummy <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not so much, I mean, it, 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 I love childbirth. Yeah. I'm one of the rare people that enjoyed childbirth. Yeah. Daisy, maybe. Sorry, Dan. Yeah, I know. It's taken, it's taken a ton, funny turn, this conversation. Sorry, Dan. Did you, go home and ask your mum if she enjoyed childbirth. If she enjoyed childbirth. It's amazing. Yeah, it's it's miracle, amazing. It's miraculous. But like I said, I'm very aware I was very fortunate there. Um, anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Um, the what? The wishbone. This is lovely. Is this the same sort of thing? I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's have a look. I think it's a wishbone. Text it if you know how. No, no connections, no holes, unless you curl these back to hold the rings. I don't know, but I like it as a wishbone. Because a wishbone is like I do a symbol too. for luck, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful bale. Oh yeah, they could be the legs of a person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Text in. It says it's a ring holder, but I can't figure out how the wishbone works as a ring holder. For me, it's a wishbone. Message in if you can guess. We're going to match the price, though, regardless. There's a huge amount of 925 sterling silver. And then, 30 seconds, we're going to go even lower again. I'm trying to figure Is it out. Is it springy? Does it... Okay. Mm. Uh, please tell L to just drop the ring on, on the horizontal. No. I don't get it. Take my tweezers out. Eh? I don't understand. Oh, oh, I see. So you put your ring there, like that. And then you put your chain through here. Place the ring over the wishbone, the chain will keep it on. Oh! Maybe you do that with the other one then as well. Oh, I see. That that makes sense. That does, that make, does sense. make sense. That does make sense. Yeah, but you could do it both ways, couldn't you? You could. Because this one, hang on. So do I do that with this one too? Yes. Ah, I get it, I get it, I get it. How clever are these? So it's like a ring holder, effectively, isn't it, for the neck? Amazing. Six ninety nine for the wishbone one, though, jewellery makers. Very clever idea. And I, I assume you could maybe coax it outwards a little bit if the ring is a little bit wider. Because, for example, that one's really good. Because if you don't, if you just want to see the ring and you don't really yeah. want, you know, the other one I think is really good if you want to add something. Yeah. Um, this one's, oh, how clever. Very clever idea. Thank you for your help, jewellery makers. I was looking at it going, I don't get it. Me I too. Don't, I don't get it. <laughs> so, ah, oh, see, where would we be without you guys? <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, Irene, Sarah, hello, Five, hello to you, Renfusha, Sharon, Jennifer, Christine, Dawn, Irene, Amanda, and Nora. Thank you so much, Amanda. So you basically put the ring on top, Feed the chain through and it keeps it nice and safe. Clever. Genius. Absolutely genius idea. Never seen anything like this anywhere else. No, not at all. You could literally just sell, sell them like that, couldn't you? Yeah, you could, yeah. Because I bet, I bet, I bet everyone's going to have the same reaction. There's a good oh. amount of sterling silver there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know I always say that, but I always look to see. 
And plus there's a wishbone. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice meaning behind yeah. the wishbone. Um, that's like a childhood memory of me, of mine. Do yeah. you know, like like when you had your Sunday roast, with a, ch a chicken Sunday roast. Yeah. Can I have the wishbone? Oh, yeah. We always used to argue over who got the wishbone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which actually is pretty gross, really, isn't it? It is yeah. pretty gross. <laughs> to do that as well. Um, well done, everybody. Let's do this amazing bundle of green aventurine. If you got the rose quartz earlier on, green aventurine and rose quartz mm -hmm. is just the most gorgeous combination. Um, lovely. You get tiny, tiny, tiny little flecks of aventure essence, so a natural um, phenomena effect uh, that goes on internally. Um, it's like tiny little platelets that produce a lovely light play across the surface. Um, you're getting a wonderful bundle of all three. Oh, it's like summertime green, isn't it? It is lovely colour. The summer that we're not having. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we are going to have a summer this year? I don't care. I love the rain. Do you? Yeah. I mean, I do, but I would like a little bit of sunshine. No, I would like sunshine. As long as it doesn't get too hot. Like, no, I agree. Like maybe... 20s. 20, 20s, like 22, 23 is perfect. Do you remember that? Was it the year before last one? It was just, I couldn't go out. It was so It hot. was high 30s. Yeah, I want it to be like mid 20s and sunny, please. Same. And, uh, occasional rain. Same. Me too. Stay out of the 30s. Yeah, I, not can't, nice. I can't leave the house when it's that No, not me. I, I lose productive. I, I've just can't function. No. Um, £29.99. That's for all three strands. They are natural as well. Ten pounds strand. This is another one we don't see as much as we used. To. True, used to, it was a consistent one, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Thirty seconds on your screens, because we're going even lower. Who fancies five pounds strand? Yes, please. Jan, Jan, Michael, Vincent, Vincent. Why? Yeah, I do. Is he getting a picture of him? <laughs> Jan, Michael, Vincent. <laughs> I also fancy five pound a strand, Ross, yeah, please. That would be lovely. Yes, please. That would be wonderful. Can we get both, please? Maybe Jan Michael Vincent can come in and hold the strands. Yes, that now, would that be would nice. Now, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hello, Jan. Hi, Jan. Can you just hold these, please? <laughs> Not even <laughs> stopping here. Yeah. He must have been one of the 80s pinups, Jan Michael Vincent. And he was very, like, cool, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like, even cool. Yeah. He had these kind of smouldering eyes, yeah. didn't he? Mm. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. He's probably 90 now, is he? <laughs> no, he can't be that old, can he? Uh, I don't know. No. 60, 60 must be 60. maybe. Yeah. Um, 360 carats. You get all three strands, jewelry makers, four, six and eight millimetres, and they're full 38 centimetres. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Casually, you get some instructions as well. Get oh, some do instructions you? in there by the lovely Ellie. Ah. Get those for free. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. That is only. amazing. This is where your bead stoppers come into play as well, jewelry makers. You know, it's bundles like this where you're going to be using, leading your bead stoppers. It's fabulous because you can do sort of a graduated rosary link, your mm. graduated mala. Yeah. Um, you know, having those. I know I always say it. I know, I know it gets boring, but I use the same gemstone in different sizes so much. Yeah. It's such a because you can do matching bracelets and earrings. You can have whole suites of jewelry. Um, yeah, and green is just it's not. I think even people who aren't that into green would like this colour green because it's quite translucent, yeah, isn't it? Is. It's very gentle. I agree. It is a comfort, a comfort green, it is. isn't it? Yeah, Almost yeah. like a sage green. Definitely. Very, very pretty. Um, £12.99 for all three strands. And then again, your instructions with Ellie as well. I'm not sure what the project is, but you get it for free. Um, so make sure you can download that. Uh, you download that and print it off. Well done. Okay, we can hold these back no longer. I have 300 available. Um, we believe, oh, uh, uh, um, Angela, wasn't it? Angela was saying 2017, she actually bought some bead stoppers. Now, Ross has done some further investigating. Launched in 2015, there you go. And then they relaunched. We can tell you. Our, our, our computer, 2017. So Angela was right. And then we had 50 in 2020. That's when I did them. Okay. So those are the purchases we've made of bead stoppers. Yeah, so not many at all. Three times yeah. since 2014. Yeah. We actually bought them. They are so good. Like invaluable they are. if you do any form of beading. 
because there is nothing more infuriating, is it, jewelry? I do some jewelry making on the sofa, literally. Feet up, cushion on my lap, mm. and that's where I bead with my beading board. But how many times have you done a bit of beading, thread them all on, knocked it, whatever it is, picked it up, and they've all disappeared off the end? Um, yeah, so many times. It's, that's just one of the many, many uses for your bead stoppers. Um, they're invaluable, and yeah, they always, always are sought after. I got very excited when I saw these this morning. Jewelry makers, up next is your early bird. <laughs> Ah, Ross just said, by the way, Al, what you just spoke about, they were packs of 12. Okay. Now you're getting a pack of 20. I've never seen a pack of 20 anywhere. I think that's amazing. Yeah. you need that many, definitely. And they're soft as well, because sometimes the coil, you have to work quite hard at, to actually yep. open it, because yep. they can be quite stiff, can't yep. they? Whereas, as I showed earlier on, these are so soft. But they and they also look you need it to close perfectly otherwise they're not going to do the job are they no but nice and soft to actually spring the other occasion um that i've that i'm, I'm just thinking of and i know deb's you're going to obviously contribute massively to this but if you're doing things like the floating necklaces yeah you know so say you've got i don't know monofilament and you you want to glue say pearls yeah sporadically along the monofilament yep. Um, you can leave these on so that they don't move away from the glue that you've positioned. Definitely. And there's so there's so many times that I can't even think of them all when I'm in the middle of something and I just go for one of those. Yeah. And it could be a corded design where I just want to hold some cords together but not permanently. Yeah. It could be wire where I want to hold some wires together but not permanently. Oh, okay, yeah, just you keep them flat. Yeah, just to say maybe you want to hold something um, mm. in the jaws of that while you plait or you twist or whatever you're doing yeah but I can't even think of all of the times because um in my studio I've got like a little pot there for the, the things that I reach for all the time and they're in there I've got some in here in my box I've got some in my like sometimes I'll sit on my bed and, and bead mm. if, it's, it, if I don't have to concentrate too hard so I've got some in there so they're they're everywhere so yeah. I need a lot because I yeah. need them everywhere and which 12 doesn't no. Divide. And you drop them and lose them, and what, you know, one's in the bottom of your bag. Or yeah. so you need. I, I had a little conversation with myself this morning because there was no one in the studio. I think Dan was in, but he was probably ignoring me because I was talking rubbish. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, and I went up to those and I, I went, Oh, these are good. I need these. I had a little conversation with myself. Because, As you do. But I fully tested them. Like I was squeezing them, and they're really ergonomic, these. So yeah, nice and soft. Maybe people that haven't used them before because they felt like they were a bit fiddly. These aren't at all. No, not. I, I'm really not having to work on. No. this at all and that's what you want um, I think uh, you're, what you've just mentioned there so say you're I don't know plaiting wire exactly you can put three strands of wire and it'll hold it and it, grip it together plait away and then t then you take it off yeah bead stoppers do so much more than just stop beads oh yeah when I was teaching the craft opia course um, I was telling the ladies to work on their elastic bracelets like to cut it off in this instance because mm you know they weren't used to jewelry making they might want to add an extra stopper bead or an extra because it wasn't long enough and you know they were trying to manipulate these bracelets without having stopper beads and, yeah. to, and I'm like be careful when you pick it up and you know because yeah, they disappear off the end don't they, they disappear off the end yeah do you know I, I did um with Willow School because uh, um they did for Mother's Day yeah they did some Mother's Day makes and obviously we had by the year each year would mm -hmm. come in it was absolute bless you it was absolute chaos um each had tables and a load of bead scoops in the center and elastic but the amount of times i heard the where there's somebody a, a child had been threading them on and then picked it up and they'd all disappeared everywhere whereas if i'd have had the bead stoppers yeah. and they only needed one didn't they oh yeah i gave them out because i had some in my yeah. box and i and i had four i think in my box and i gave them out to yeah. the ladies and said put these on the end yeah but and you know, it stops it and happening. It, yeah, and then you can just because you do often want to work from the center out because you're not yeah. quite sure you're you're being inspired as you go by the beads by all the elements, and so then you add something on the end. You think actually I need that three places down. Yeah. If you've committed, if you've crimped this end or however you've done it, you're now going to have to cut that off or take the whole lot off and do it again. Yeah, it's if not you ideal. work from the center out and you put your bead stops on the end, you just have to remove a bead stop and then 
do that. Away you go. It's much better. Much better. Um, but they are like gold dust, I think you'd all agree. So we've worked it out, launched in 2015, relaunched in 2017, and then we had 50 in 2020. Um, I, I, yeah, I knew that would be the reaction because it's such a simple idea, such a simple component that literally is a game changer, isn't it? It's a game changer, exactly, it really is. And I can't live without mine. Like, if I can't find one, yeah. I'm like, oh no, I, you know, but I can because I've got them dotted everywhere. Yeah, genius. So, and these, I need these, because these are like the Rolls Royce of them. These are much nicer than the ones I've got. Oh, you can, you, the quality of them, you can see that. And they're nice and soft as well, even down to the actual sort of rubber tips. Yeah, because that's easy to hold on to, I yeah. think. It's also, they're not as easy to lose because mm -hmm. you can see them. So in the bottom of your bag or your beading bag or your toolbox, you're going to be able to see these, aren't you? Because they've got the red on the end, whereas the other ones, they're kind of, um, they're just the silver colour, so they just mingle into everything. So, there you go. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So if I didn't have that bead stopper on, say, they could all disappear off the end, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah, But the bead stopper is stopping them disappearing effectively so i can bead happily 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 continue designing mm -hmm. without them disappearing off the end someone's at the door no problem i'll just chuck it down you haven't got to worry about your cats coming and knocking it and Ugh. throwing beads everywhere or the dog or whatever <laughs> um it's true look that and that is nice and secure i'm not i'm not being gentle that bead stopper is not going anywhere is it, it? no and so then if you you're not sure how long you want it to be yeah. You can keep holding it up to, to who, you know, yourself or whoever it's for, and then adding some more, taking the bead stopper off, adding some more, you know, just so, so useful. So useful. And like you said, you could use them along the design as mm -hmm. well if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, if, especially if you're doing things like illusion styles, just put another bead stopper in there. Um, really clever. How about a pound per bead stopper? Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, because you will use these Time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. As, as Amanda said, she's had the same ones for years. We're not stopping there. We've got 300 of these. I need them. I do need these. Because I actually haven't got a single bead stopper in my house. Oh, you need them, yeah. definitely. Yeah, and I, and I like to make jewellery with the girls as well. So, you know, the, the beads going everywhere is frequent. And also, you know, the best of us do it. And more mm. than often than not, you do it when you're in a hurry. Yeah. Like if I'm on a deadline and I've just stranded something and it's like 10 o'clock at night and I've got a show the next day and I drop it on the floor, you know, there oh. will be tears. Yeah. <laughs> it is soul destroying, isn't it? You like, know. Oh, no. So if you've got these, it just, you know, you, you can avoid that. Especially with certain gemstones where they're tricky to thread anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like your nuggets. And, yeah. Um, uh, your little teeny tiny holes. Yeah. And it's dark and you can't really see properly. Well, you just want to got, cry, don't Yeah, you? you've got like three lamps on it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I've, I remember stranding. Um, I created a long line. Um, it was black spinel necklace, Lovely. but they were little nuggets. I, I know the ones. Oh my goodness, was it a nightmare to thread. And if they'd have fallen off, I'd have cried. Exactly. I would have cried. The next price that you're going to see is not the closing price, jewellery makers. We've got 300. Watch the phone lines go into complete and utter meltdown. This will... Is this not your price? Not your price. Where's my phone? <laughs> I know, I need these as well. I'm, I'm kicking myself for not having my phone next to me. I'll wait till but... the break. OMG, not your price. This will save you so much bother. So much bother. If we have painted a scenario that you've been in, and I reckon probably, are you a jewellery maker? If you haven't had beads, go everywhere across the floor. Nah. Nah. I think it's something that you do even from probably the first time you do it. Of course you do. You know, and you get distracted. Someone talks to you, turn around, you drop the, <laughs> you drop the end. I mean, or, oh. Yeah, or, you know, when you tie your elastic on your, um, mm -hmm. you can. I, I always use them for elastics. Yes because I, I never leave it on the reel because I, I like to work from the middle outwards. It, yeah. Unless I'm doing a like three space of three space of fine. Yeah. But if I'm, you know, I might want to change it halfway through. You don't know, do mm -hmm. you? But this is all your beading, isn't it? Yeah, everything. This is seed beading, this is... Wire work. Wire work, this is kumihimo, this yeah. is knotting. Yeah, this stranding. Is stranding, uh, um, elastic illusion styles, all of the above, you will need your bead stoppers. Not stopping at 9.99. We've got 300. 
you get 20 of them as well and and, and deb's makes a really good point they're lovely and soft so if you found the last bead stoppers maybe a bit of a struggle because they were a little bit stiffer i think yeah they were um these are much softer much 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 softer i've got 300 or had we're going lower the core screen full literally full and i knew that was going to be the case deb didn't you oh yeah if you're making um if you teach yeah then get a couple of these and just you know yeah. have them there and i didn't realize i only had four in my toolbox and i could have done with a whole bag so i'm gonna get them and just keep them you know like when we do i think hopefully we'll do some more make-alongs mm. we're definitely doing some more craft retreats so i'm definitely gonna have these on me to just hand out to people yeah, to use because it makes it easier you don't want to put people off like it, it's fiddly oh i've dropped it i'm not going to bother making it now yeah you know that oh, I'm, that's it. It, we? I'm not beating it again yeah i can't be bothered doing <laughs> it again you yeah know? and you get frustrated Dolly's out of prom. and it's supposed to be enjoyable not yeah, frustrating i agree i totally agree um yeah i need to get them as well 300 were available is it going to be like 2015 2017 and 2020 where they're on and then they're gone uh, well gosh. i think it's these are like a mac macrame board not in terms of the yeah. function but they appear and they're sold out aren't they yeah but you could hold your cords and then t pin it to your a cushion or something if you haven't got a macrame board <gasps> yeah 8.99 yes please yes please 20 two. of them i'm gonna get two is there enough for me to get two still not done, are, we are we not done no i'm getting three <laughs> yeah well you need them don't you they are i'm gonna give some to daisy she makes jewelry and daisy's friend who yes. also makes jewelry so I'm you gonna know, give it to them. It's like, I don't know, a chef not having um, a measuring tool. Or they have their favorite knife, don't they? Yes. These are one of those components that makes such a difference. And, and you made you, you said it perfectly. It should be enjoyable. It shouldn't be stressful. No. So a bead stopper will make eradicate those stresses. And for someone who does, you know, makes jewelry nearly every day, does it for a job, loves it as much today as I always have. Even I get frustrated and yeah. especially if I'm on a deadline, you know, yeah. and you, you'd, you'd, you'd make it all and then you drop it. And like you said, if it's got tiny holes mm. and it's been a bit, you know, of a struggle to, to get it on there in the first place, you think, oh no, no. No. And, you're gonna go, and it's never it's never just one or two is it it's always all of them all of them across the floor yeah and also it's just looking after your gemstones isn't it and your spacer bees that yeah. you found in the bottom of the drawer and now you'll yeah. never find again you know when you do yeah you know when you do yeah you know when you're doing the hoovering and you hear the like, ah, there was that air, there was that spacer bee when i was when i was beading without my bead stoppers and they all went everywhere yeah there it was just found it up the hoover 7.99 is I amazing i was beading the other day and then this i've got one of my labradors he's, he's, he's a chocolate lab and he's got a really big head and if i eat or something i tea that he's he appears like there under my arm and the other day i was beading and i felt like that and i thought it was new she's like she's smaller she nodded it was neo and he went like that and i just everywhere they went everywhere neo 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 neo, Naughty neo. But if you had your bead stoppers on, Debs, I know I didn't. You'd have been all right, wouldn't you? Well, I was you? about to crimp. It was right at the at the oh, <laughs> important <Neo>. moment. <laughs> so he ended Neo. up with some beads on his head. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, so clever though, aren't they? Such a simple idea. I, I really like that they're easily identifiable, and they're not going to get lost. Like you can see them. Yeah. You know, they're not just going to get lost in in that drawer. And, and you can you can yeah you could. You know, if you if you put down projects, it doesn't matter because exactly. you've got bead stoppers there. They're nice and safe. Yeah. So, say for example, I'm going for I'm making this strand yeah. into a marla necklace. So I've beaded that or I've knotted that far, for example. I'm like, okay, I've got to go pick the kids up from school, so I'll just put that bead stopper there. Exactly. And I'll come back to it. And it's safe, even if it got safe. knocked on the floor. Doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Mm. And we've all got cats that like to go like. They like do, that. don't they? <laughs> Sometimes Nala looks at me and just goes, yeah. she wants my she's so cute. I can't, I, I forgive her. Have you got a cat called Nala? I've got Nala and Simba, really oh, my original. my cat's called Nala. Mm. Yeah, they do, don't they? They always look she direct in the eye. Oh, she likes the, the, te the end bit. Yeah. And she starts playing with it and then <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think we can all relate to that, can't we? All of our, us animal makers. Uh, well, well, yeah, yeah. And it is frustrating, but you can't turn them off, it's fun. It's play for them. 
Um, you get a pack of 20 of them jewelry makers. You get, instead of the 12, you do get 20 of them. Um, we had 300. What are the stock levels? How many have we got left? Okay, Ooh. we're in double figures now, jewelry makers. A minute to close, not just your. Can you keep them on during the break, Ross? Okay, Is thank it, you. Yeah, good, because we need them. I need Debs them. and I need them. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so this is a, a clock to close out this hour, jewelry makers, not just your bead stoppers, but also every item that we've brought you so far. So make sure you are checking those out. Coming up after the break, we've got the most amazing Nan Hong Agate kit. <gasps> um, the carvings are breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. Um, we've also got, remember, the launch of your beautiful Baltic Amber um, Alhambra necklace at 12, uh, 10 o'clock, sorry, um, and also the last opportunities of your Peacock uh, Angelite bangle. We've got Last of Stock Jade, and we've also got the new Lucite flowers, so it's going to be an amazing show. It really, really is. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. I can see loads of you with it still there. Um, they're going to disappear from the system very soon. You, $7.99, you get a pack of 20 of them as well. Don't go anywhere, though. We're going to enter the world of dreamy Nan Hong just after this. Hello, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Thursday the 13th of June. We've got the most amazing show. It's all about flowers and you know me, I love a flower. In the 9am we've got absolutely gorgeous Nan Hong Agate projects um, and I got the flower one so I made a little mala so I'll be showing you how to do that in the 9. But in the 12 we have got more Lucite flowers. Now these ones are completely different to the ones we've had before. Um, really workable sizes, little buds, all different colours. They come in a lovely heart shape box and I'm going to be showing you how to make these wisteria earrings so I've written a project uh, for this and I've also made some other pieces but of course anything that I've done before with my lucite flowers you can do with this box as well there's quite a lot of little bell shapes which I think are lovely for earrings and lovely for single pendants so I hope you can join me Elle and the team on Thursday at JM Morning everyone, I hope you're all well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you all about my next show which is this Friday the 14th of June where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew and there's definitely a high-end feel especially in my two project hours. For example in the nine o'clock hour I have got the undisputed king of the agates Botswana. Two incredible kits both featuring most beautiful strands and teamed alongside these absolutely I'm gonna say the word, cute sterling silver bead caps. So that's in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going definitely keeping on with the high-end feel. I have been given the most extraordinary strands of hematite I think I've ever seen and worked with. Firstly, one of the project kits contains three strands of the most extraordinary high-end polished hematite bicones. Never seen the shape before, absolutely incredible so I've made this beautiful bracelet so far and then in the other project kit a texture and a shape I've not worked with in hematite diamond matte absolutely extraordinary we've got a peach tone a rainbow tone and this incredible anthracite gray absolutely beautiful so that's in the 12 o'clock so we've got hematite in the 12 incredible Botswana in the 9 hope you can join myself and Carol from 8 o'clock look forward to seeing you there have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. 
Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Back jewelry makers, you still you do still. Feel I've I've gone up moved one, up a bit, but I'm still a bit low. <coughs> but I'll be as you want to adjust. No, I'm okay. I'll just. Are I'll you sit, sure? Because we can look straight. at your wonderful jewelry first. I'll if you sit want. up straight. <laughs> yeah, no, it's up. Nah. And sloucher as well. Oh my goodness, these are mwah, insane. I know. So. We spoke about Nan Hong briefly yesterday, and there was a carving. It was tiny, it like not tiny, but it was a smaller carving. Beautiful, and I was saying the intricacy of these Nan Hong because they're three D, aren't they? They are three D, yeah. Definitely three D. Um, have blown my mind, but this is it. This is better again. Yeah. Do you know a couple of days ago when Dave was in the studio, we just so happened to have some of our Nan Hong carvings in the in the building and the, uh, sorry in the studio and he was like oh my goodness me these are amazing yeah it took dave by surprise i mean take a moment to look at deb's amazing piece of jewelry and it's natural nan hong natural the mine closed in november just gone yeah there is nowhere in the world mining nan hong agate and i need to emphasize nan hong sakura Galaxy, I, I was I can never pronounce the other one. Alashan, thank you. Alashan, they are not the same as your usual agates. These are way, way, way rarer. Like I said, there is nowhere in the world mining this now. Wow. Nowhere. So that is a very, very rare, beautiful project. I feel really privileged to work with something like that because to think that in five years time even in one year's time you know depending on what people have already bought you mm. might not get the opportunity and if you do it will cost you a lot of money yeah absolutely and this is something that china has seen previously so there was um there was a mine hundreds of years ago and it they found with 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 of course your beautiful nan hong mm. that was mined out mm. it literally multiple years later they found one other deposit which we have just seen close in november it's been published uh in the shanghai daily um they talk about this rare red agate makes a comeback so that was in 2013 that was when it was rediscovered oh yeah? okay so in 2013 rediscovered nan hong agate so um makes the headline rare red agate makes a comeback however we're obviously fast forward to 2023 i know we're 24 now but in 2023 a, a decade on mm. it was mined out global times talk about it buyers select nan hong agate stones in the Xinjiang nan hong agate market and you can see them they're buying literally loose that's how they trade stones over in China as well. They do the same with jade. It's actually mine, uh, sort of uh, um, sold um, very similarly. A write-up on this beautiful, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Nan Hong agate is a rare source agate in a dark red. Is mainly produced in the, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Megu County, yeah? Um, um, and the Yunnan province. It is considered uh, conducive to people's digestive system, mm. intestines and stomach, and is popular amongst Buddhists. Um, a small Nan Hong agate bead used to cost uh, only a several one back in 2000, but prices soared to hundreds of one in 2005, and collectors continue to push the price tens of thousands of one after 2011. Um, according to uh, news um, from portal gmw.cn um the price of nan hong agate can be sold um at up to over ten thousand one. wow i mean that's a huge amount isn't it yeah and then we saw pieces like photographs like this being published in the global times 
that's a strand of of course uh, nan hong agate totally natural much like yours twelve and a half thousand us dollars per carat. yeah it's a, when, when they said in that in that publication that nan hong agate is commanding the same price as type a red jadeite now it wasn't an understatement no you know um so here is bernard uh, now bernard is who we primarily saw some of our rarest uh, eastern gemstones if you like you know the likes of your jadeites the likes of your kotan um the likes of your nanhong and also your sakura bernard is the gentleman that's actually offered it to us dave um i go to the maigu county and the stones you want are not there um it has changed a lot um, it is like a small city now. We cannot believe the price of the new Nanhong. Um, it's the best quality we have seen, but the price is, is not workable for you. This is pre-November, okay? Uh, Nanhong is not affordable unless you want very low grade, no clarity, no bright, and no special bicolor gems, okay? So he's saying, this was probably um, about autumn time last year that this, um, this message was sent to us. However, after this discussion, this news broke. This material is rare now because of the situation, and we found this out, we discovered this in Hong Kong in November. Mm. Uh, rare now because of the situation of the mine. Uh, this has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. The Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jadeite in the market. Dave came back on the Sunday after being at Hong Kong. Pardon? He was actually bringing pearls to air, and we had some Nan Hong scheduled. And as soon as he saw it, it was like, oh, wait a minute, this is what's happening. Um, literally, the day before we had just found this out. And we hadn't gone to Hong Kong for specifically for a Nan Hong update. That's obviously information that we found when we were over there. Um, what is this situation? Well, the mine closed in November, which is the last Nan Hong uh, mine in the East and the last one in the world. There's nowhere else that produces Nan Hong Agate. Uh, China has seen this before when it disappeared for centuries and now um, they're going back through the mine and grinding up the remains of Nan Hong. Even this is commanding huge premiums. They set it like happy diamonds at Shopard. Still around a thousand Hong Kong dollars per gram at this size. We are literally talking about granules now, jewelry makers, and you can see it here in these wow. little glass um, in these little glass jars. I know. I mean a thousand Hong Kong dollars per gram. And it's like dust. Yeah. Like glitter, isn't it? Like, I, I, I'm wondering if they maybe set that into some kind of resin that yeah. maybe reconstituted in thought. some way, shape, or thought. form. Um, you know, you know, like sometimes turquoise is. Yes. Reconstitute. I'm wondering if they do that, but again, and because it's got such a strong natural colour, I imagine it would it would it would take respond to yeah. well to that treatment. Yeah, absolutely. But I need to point out, jewelry makers, all of the Nan Hong that we currently have within our vault is not treated um was purchased prior to all that information that we've just shared with you um before we weren't aware that the mine was limited you know we are genuinely well, and we'll be the first to admit that we didn't know it was limited believe me we would have bought more if we did oh, we'd have yeah. stocked up on the nan hong agate but like i said we go over to hong kong heard the current situation we're like okay right well thank goodness we have got at least some now on the back of that information You'd think we would hike the price up, but that's not what Jewelry Maker do. I totally agree. Ross is just saying these carvings. I I I'm gonna. I think they're the best carvings. There's something about the stone that works so well with a carving, don't you think? Absolutely, and it just. Um, now I'm gonna start blowing. with. Check this out. It's it, yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness. <coughs> Look, I, I can't get actually get over that. That might be my favourite carving ever that I agree. I've ever seen. Is that a deer at yeah. the bottom? See what I mean? They're almost three dimensional. It's stunning. I want this. I want this one. I want this. There's a deer at the bottom. Yeah. Look. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's a little deer with his antlers, isn't he? So hang on a minute. We had strands earlier on. Global Times, right? Not us. Global Times. Oh, that's carved on the back as well. Um, that said, look, cherry tomato red. 
12,500 US dollars per carat. And remember, 10 times um, is escalated by price point by 10 times now as expensive as Taipei Red Jadeite in the market. Look at that strand next to the Nanhong agate that you get from us. Is ours treated? Nope. Is ours dyed? Nope. Is it genuine Nanhong? Absolutely. Remember, 100% red. Oh, that couldn't be any more perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, everything, even the carving, it's not like, there's not like an area of red. I'm going to buy this kit. I want this. Yeah, I'm going to buy this kit. It's lovely. Can, now, every carving will be different. You've got three different projects. But look at that. It's like, it's down to, you know, the flowers, they've got those, I don't know how to describe it. Is it like tendrils? Yeah, it's a whimsical pattern. It's almost like his antlers are morphing into the tendrils of the flowers and it's all so fluid. I think that's why it's so lovely to look at. And everyone's different because if you can see, that's more of an oval shape. Now, and I love that because they're works of art, aren't they? Yes. Whereas this one, can you see, is a little bit more square. That's beautiful. Isn't but it? if I show it this way as well, look at that. It's all done by hand, jewellery makers. Natural certified Nan Hong. And, and it is drilled very cleverly. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So you get this. You get a strand of beautiful five mil. How many? 50 carats. Wow. And then on top of that, you also get another carving, which... Oh, hang on. Which is... Oh! Guru bead. It's a guru. I'm just looking on your design now. Just above the flower. Oh, yes! So it would actually go the other way around. Oh! So, I no, I've turned mine the other way, yeah. So there's a different, there's different ways you can use it. What, you, what it does is it goes, um, the two strands go through and then out the bottom. Okay. Um, so that you can have, that's your sort of traditional way of doing it. Um, you can turn it the other way if you want to and do it, you know, a different way. It's up to you. But that's like a little carving in itself, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? I was going to say, I'm sure we've done little like, like urns almost similar, haven't we? Remember, Nan Hong Age with the best red... That is almost 100% red. What they mean is no, you know, no areas of white, no areas of dark brown. Mm -hmm. Solid red is as expensive as red jadeite in the market now. Look at this, because there is Nan Hung Agate on first dibs. It's a carving. I don't think it's as nice, nice a carving. And it might be from some dynasty, I'm not sure. However, it doesn't say that. But look, there's just a, a proportion of red, isn't there? A hundred to a hundred and fifty thousand US dollars. My goodness. Uh, I mean, I think yours is even bigger and it's definitely got more red. It's a nicer carving, I think. So do I. It's, it's got impact. I know which one I would prefer. Me too. Genuinely. I... In, if I was to go into, a, a, like, a, um, I don't know, an auction house and I was completely oblivious to the prices and the worth of each piece, I would naturally gravitate towards this one. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. You've got the deer here, which has lots of meaning, and then you've got the beautiful flowers as well. Three-dimensional. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this. I love them all. I, I, I absolutely love them all. And you get your amazing instructions as well. Yeah. So what's your instructions all so about? So my instructions are how to make the necklace on the um, stand there. So yeah. how to use your cord and to use your marla bead and how to attach your little flower and your tassel. Wow. Oh, absolutely amazing. And you get the red silk as well, don't you? Or cord rather as well. Yeah, so what I've done is I've actually shown you how that you can run um, some wire down the back of the flower so that you can have a loop at the bottom to add the tassel because there isn't anything on the flower to do that with. Wow. How many do we have, Ross? Ten. <gasps> oh. 
And then can I just show you on the reverse as well? You have the look. This is down to the, attention to detail. I want to join you on this, but I'm I'm I'm. You've got look the bamboo that. on the reverse too. Even that attention to detail. Look how amazing that is. If they don't sell out, I'm, I'll let you have first dibs. But as soon as as yeah, as soon as Deb starts demoing, can I get one of these, Ross? If there's any left. Ten have been allocated. There's no confirmations yet. Fifteen have allocated. Oh, Hazel has. Twenty allocated, not confirmed. Hazel, you've done it. I would so be joining you right this minute. I love that design. So do I. So pretty. All the meanings as well behind the actual deer. And you've got the bamboo on the other side as well, yeah. which has a lot of meaning to it as well. I mean, what you've, got to, you've got to remember, we've just shown you a lesser quality Nanhong agate carving. Genuinely, it's not as good a quality as what we see on us, what I'm holding here. Because it's, it's more white than it is red, isn't it? Yeah. And that's between 100 and 150,000 US dollars. That's crazy. Yours is 120 carats of solid red Nan Hong. Plus you've got the 50 carats in the strand. Plus you've got the guru. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Ross is just saying, even though it's red, it's not like any other red. It's a warm red. It's a jadeite red. Yeah. It's what jade, it's the finest quality jadeite red, isn't it? Because even jadeite red can be darker, can't yes. it? Whereas this is that, it's, it's like a, a tomato red. Yeah, it's an it's orangey gorgeous. red, isn't it? I want to join you on this. It's lovely, this. this. So over allocated. 33 people have got it in your baskets. Okay, I'll wish list it. That's how many we've got left. Mm. The next price that you see, but it's still not our closing price. That carving blows my mind. That's absolutely it's amazing. So gorgeous. Not where we are closing, jewelry makers. Four nine nine, but we are going even lower. We could stop there. We absolutely could. There's so many people there. Good luck, everybody. Please remember, Nanhong Age is mined out. Happened in November. How much would this piece of jewelry? How much would Deb's piece of jewelry be on first dibs? Well, judging by that, which I'm really not that impressed with. Um, uh, someone must know something I don't because that I mean yeah it's pretty but that's so expensive it's not even that unusual there's not even that much red in that one is are there? they wrong though or is it us true <laughs> it's definitely us true isn't it? yeah because it's, mm. look Shanghai Daily Global Times yeah. writing about the rarity of this red agate and here we are. Oh, yeah, just give us £299. Here we are in our bubble. <laughs> it's, it is madness, really. A gemstone that is ir quite literally irreplaceable. They are grinding it down. The fragments yeah, to that dust. they... to dust. To dust. They're selling dust for the more... <laughs> They're selling dust for more than this. Yes. That's craziness. It is crazy. It is madness. Like I said, it's us that's wrong. Hmm. In the best possible way. In the best possible way. A thousand Hong Kong dollars per gram. Look, look, dust or this, dust or this. Dust um, or this. Oh. Definitely this, <laughs> definitely this. I will tell you, as soon as Deb starts demoing, if this hasn't sold out, I'll get it. Just so you know, if you've got it in your basket, I will be getting one of these. It's absolutely beautiful. Do you want to get one, Ross? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look, at, it's just, it's those hibiscus blossoms I love. Uh, yeah, it's not like anything I've ever seen before. It's, and, and also the way that they come out of the carving. So that piece yeah. of rough must have been a hell of a lot thicker than that, yeah, mustn't absolutely. it? Yeah. Just to chip away, to have those standing proud like that, those flowers. So pretty. And the fact the deer is literally doing that mm. head turn. Mm. Oh, so beautiful. Is he a deer or is he a stag? He's a stag. He's a stag, isn't he? Oh, they're the, they're the kings of the forest, aren't they? Yeah. They've got great meaning in our country as well, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and you think, like, in Scotland, yeah. you see them all. Well, we go up to the Highlands quite a lot, and, you know, they're just beautiful and, and magnificent. Majestic. Yeah, you see them, and you're just, you're like, oh, just take a deep breath. The, they, you saw one this morning? Yeah, on the way to work? Did you? They're huge, aren't they? Yeah, 
absolutely huge. I, rem I remember driving back from Wales once, and it was night time. I've been down to see uh, my parents. I'm going back some years. And I was driving between um, Monmouth and Ross on Wye, mm -hmm. in amongst so the Forest of Dean, basically. And um, it was dark, and uh, I was in, you know, like in the distance, I could see this kind of silhouette. And I was mm -hmm. like, what is that? It's quite scary. What mm -hmm. is that? Right by the side of the road. Of course, I slowed down because someone, mm -hmm. something's by the side of the road. And it was just the stag stood there by the side of the road. They're magnificent. Aren't Huge. They? they are magnificent. He didn't move, though. He just stood there all proud. Huge. Um, now we have just found, okay, carved agate, doesn't say Nan Hong. Oh yeah. Mm. An onyx bead necklace That's with pretty. diamonds in silver. That's lovely. £3,981. <laughs> I'm going to go with that's Nan Hong, isn't it? I'm going to assume that is Nan Hong. But maybe, the, yeah. The saturation of colour is nothing like ours. Ours has got great colour compared to that. It's, uh, and, and, the, and the level of artistry, I have to yeah. say. Yeah. That's literally our gate and onyx. In silver as well, in silver. It's in silver, it's not gold. And it's four grand. It's lovely with the green, I would, I would think that's, that's jade, would you? Or? Could you make that? Yes. Oh, is it green onyx? Yeah. Crumbs. Four grand. We could definitely make that. I'm off to make that. <laughs> yes. You could make that only better, I think, then. Oh, wow. I know. Absolutely unbelievable. I love it. And listen, you pay a premium as well on first dibs because, of course, they authenticate the gemstones. Oh, OK. To be a seller, you need to be um, approved to a certain right. degree. They so have to... they're trustworthy. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not saying you couldn't be one of those sellers. You could. Mm. It's just a process. It's mm. quite a process. But so you know that like, much like you guys buy from us, you know that what you're buying is exactly that. Right. If you were to buy from first dibs, you can trust it. OK. You can trust it. Now got a carving with a bird oh my goodness sorry bring the strand back oh do you know do you know what um flowers and birds represent love in particular young love yes oh look oh these are just beautiful look at that I'm going to say I'd wear it that way, I think. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's a bit more of a, like a lotus flower, this one, isn't it? Like the petals and... Look at that carving. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, these Again. are amazing, aren't they? Yeah, I, I, when did these arrive? Oh, Debs, they're beautiful. I love they? that one, like, yeah, the bird in flight and then the gorgeous lotus flower. Now, you don't just get that. You get that pure, look at that strand. Solid red, natural Nanhong agate strand. Plus, you get the, the guru. Um, plus, you get the red cord. So, there's the guru just there. Or at plus, you get Deb's amazing instructions. Oh, yeah, instructions. Um, do you also get a pouch? Eat. You will have done if it's in the photograph. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That solid red colour. The folds of the lotus flower. But it also could be a peony, couldn't it? It could be a peony, couldn't it? Which again has got great meaning. Solid red colour. Remember, jewellery makers, the mine uh, closed in November. Um, there is nowhere else in the world that actually unearths, thank you, nowhere else in the world that actually unearths at Nan Hong Agate um, other than this location. So it is completely mined out. They are going through the um, old mine or the mine they've just, uh, that they previously were working and basically finding the fragments um, to extract those fragments to grind it down into dust. There we go. So you do get this lovely little uh, pouch as well. Um, I have several jadeite carving pendants ooh, from you, but this one made me gasp. Yeah. I agree. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? 
I, I agree there's something it and it's down to obviously different gemstones can be carved in different manners can't they yeah they've got different hardnesses for yeah. example um agate is a very hard stone as well i'm not sure if it's as hard as jadeite but it's a very mm -hmm. hard stone anyway and they'll still do it by hand but look how differently that carving is it is very different it's very unusual i don't know whether it's the color you just the lights and shades in this you yeah. get a lot of so that you can really see the detail oh says ross <laughs> is that oh no did you mean to add another nine that's you a bit of a mistake isn't it <laughs> he missed a digit really he's like oh no i meant to do the 1999 and then he was going to go 499 and then he was going to match the price of the previous one at 299 but you missed a nine <laughs> i won't repeat what ross just said he did just swear minute to close clock to close I mean, I can say that, Ross, but people already are buying they're it. They're not silly. <laughs> yeah, they're not daft. They're not daft. You know, I'm, I'll, yeah, anyone can make a mistake. Yeah, it's, 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 it happens. Slip of the finger. <laughs> Mr. Digit. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, as Clemmie would say. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Should we start talking about something else? <laughs> it's an easy mistake, Ross. A hundred pounds to multiple people, says Ross. I mean, I'm trying to make you feel better, Roscoe. It's not going to work, he says. It was meant to be 299 pounds. Oh, dear. But we are all... We, you, listen, we are only human. We make mistakes. And that's all you're going to say, Ross. Seriously. Rosina, Nicolette, Sandra, Lancashire. It's the same strand, five millimetre. You get the guru, you get the silk, you get the pouch, and you get that amazing carving. Pardon? It's a 60 carat strand. Okay. <laughs> Just to uh, rub salt into the wound. <laughs> okay. Natural agate bead necklace. What? Your, this is 100% better. 1,452. That saturation of colour on ours is like 10 times 100 better. 100 times better, Wait, in better, my yeah. opinion. It's lovely translucent natural agate. It's lovely. Yeah. But it's 1,400 quid. Wow. Yeah. I've got seven left. He says there's more than 30 in baskets. So I'm going to get to another 30 seconds. Guys, suppose. that was a genuine mistake. If you miss out on this. Yeah, you heard him swear, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Th that was a genuine mistake. <laughs> he's I've not never a heard swearer. him swear before, no, ever. No, he's not a swearer, Roscoe. Sometimes you've got to do that. you just got to say the word, you haven't you? And then just be, you know. you just got to own the mistake, say the word and move on. Yeah, <laughs> this is the thing. That's the easiest way around it, Ross, just to go, yeah, sorry, messed up. Yeah. Genuine mistake. But Ross is like, I don't make mistakes. <laughs> well, you do. You just did. Are you going to pretend that? <laughs> okay. Everybody <laughs> makes mistakes, Ross. Everybody makes mistakes. We can't be perfect. Um, okay, now Deb's onto your necklace. I love this, this little flower. This is so flower. beautiful. I feel like this one would be really pretty as well um, if you just popped that on a chain. Yeah. And had just that, you know, if you're more of an understated person and then you could use the strand and the guru oh. bead as well and you could maybe have you know your little rose here and then you could have a longer necklace so that you can um have wear them in layers oh gorgeous you know that would be lovely or maybe you could keep one and gift one you know it, there's a lot of possibilities for this one and not everyone wants to wear a big carving i think no, some that's people true. wear more understated and if you just have a look at that um I've actually put wire on that so um, and covered it at the back with felt so that you can have that drop from the bottom. Wow. And that's what I've told you in the instructions. Oh, that's amazing, Debs. 
Look at the look at each feather. Uh, feather, sorry, petal. Yeah, that's what really. It's like an opening flower. It's yeah. really beautifully done. Like with a rose almost, just start. Just the to... buds just kind of exploding open. Yes. It's like that. Nature's magical, isn't it? And how they've carved it. I wonder if they had a flower next to them, like for a reference. Because Possibly. It's super realistic. And every flower will be different. You've got to remember that these are hand carved. So oh, you yeah. might, for example, my my flower here mm. is a little bit different to uh, Deb's one on the necklace. They're one offs, aren't they? Yeah, they're all hand carved. So th I think that's amazing. Oh, look at that one. Now the first two projects were both meant to be two nine nine. This one was going to go that little bit lower, and I'll show you what price it was meant to be. I think I know what you're going to say yeah, now. Me too. Yeah. But, well, you're compounding it now, aren't you? He's like, because I made a mistake on the previous one, I've got to make a mistake on this one. Well, you don't, but okay. Because there's a bigger quantity. Okay, fine, fair enough. There's a bigger quantity. I'm not trying to talk you out of it, definitely not, because that means we all get great deals. But we need to emphasise the fact that Nan Hong is not the same as any other agate. Nan Hong is one of the world's rarest agates. It was found in one location in the world. Sorry. It's been found previously, but it was mined out. Then it was rediscovered, now just mined out. Tell you what, if 20 people add this to their baskets, or phone lines, we'll take the... Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> that is... That's the lowest, isn't it? That, that's... He says, I'll really take it, though. He'll take it under 100, but he does need to see... You get the same five millimeter strand, you get the guru, mm -hmm. you get the silk, you get the pouch, it's all natural. How many have we got available though? 40 available, Ooh. but he does need to see that half the stock gets allocated before he does that. At the moment, there's eight people, nine, 10, halfway there. 42 seconds, we need another 10 people to join us, either on the web, on the app, or on the phone lines. Wayne told Ross 199. Again, we've shown you first dibs right now, today. Ross has been on first dibs today and found natural red. I don't know if it's Nan Hong, probably. Natural red agate in silver, £3,981. Yeah, could you make that? I actually think Debs is nicer. I prefer Debs. Thank you. I need five more people. We will take it under £100, but we need five more to do it. Just to justify it. Yeah. You've got to remember, shopping TV is different to other retailers. Yeah. Basically, it's brought up. You have to, we, every single second, believe it or not, costs the company. Of course that it we're does. we're talking. So, and it's very expensive too. So, um, that's how we work it out. Okay, if we sell this amount in that given time, then okay, we can drop it a little bit lower. Shopping TV is different to your usual retail. Um, have you done it? 26, amazing. 26 people have got it in their basket. 27, it's going up, yeah. The Guru Natural Nan Hong Agate, you get the beautiful flower, you get the full five millimeter strand, um, plus the thread, plus the pouch, plus the instructions. 99.99, wow. That's a deal and a half, that is. Yeah, that really I mean, is. That really is a deal and a half. I can't believe that, really. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, that is amazing. And we can't just casually go, hi, Bernard, do you know all the amazing, the deepest red Nan Hong agate that we've maybe sourced from you in the past? Can we get some more? No. No, you can't. Because it's mined out. And it, I, I just don't think it's something that you're going to get home and go, oh, no. I, I think, yeah, like, a lovely sorry, I, I didn't catch the name of who messaged him, but who said that it made them gasp. Yeah. You know, we, it's really something special, this. The Nan Hong carvings that I've seen just recently are the best carvings I've ever seen. Yeah, they're incredible. It's, I, I don't know if it's how the gemstone works to carving, yeah. mm. but it, I don't know, it just seems that much more detailed, doesn't it? It's deep. I don't know what it is. There's a magic to it. I can't put my finger on it. It's more opaque, I guess, as well. 
Yeah, and you get more light and shade. So, yeah. like when you, you know, a good, a good, when you're doing a good drawing of a flower, it's all about the light and shade. You know, the pieces that stand out, the pieces that are recessed. And I feel like these are like a beautiful work of art, and you yeah. can really see that light and shade. So that to me really looks like an un, an opening oh, bud, so an opening flower. So and pretty. The deer, and it's just, it's almost like um, a whimsical scene yeah. for, from a fantasy. You yeah, know, it's beautiful. Yeah, and, and I love jade. However, I don't think a jade would look the same. No. Mm. Um, I don't know why. It would be lovely, don't get me wrong, but mm. it's not... I think it's the opacity about Nan Hong yeah. carvings that I like. I, yeah, there's something... It's more of, opaque, mm. it's not a shiny. No, it's not. Which I think works. So many of you have this in your baskets. You've got your four monthly split pay, less than 20 available. Um, the biggest deal I've seen, and they're absolutely gorgeous loving those you get the instructions as well jenny's multi-bought elaine's multi-bought david yeah i agree the carving on its own should be that the strand on its own should be that the guru you know and you remember the saturation of color in this strand is so amazing yeah you know i used three and then a pearl and i feel like the pearl really made the design pop it made the agate yeah, really agree. stand out so if you have a look at that strand you might think oh you never got that necklace out of that i did yeah. and i had a few left over um, and also if you want it to go further if you want to make a bracelet or some matching earrings then just put chain where the back of your head is so yeah. that you've saved your gemstones yeah absolutely you know or cord i've done that before and slider knot and you can you know if you're knotting um i just think that's fabulous is it on split pay it is four-way oh, split pay see that's amazing 25 pounds you can get that home and be where working with it so many of you with it in your basket still so i'll keep you updated on the quantities um, Deb's over to you, darling. So I'm going to demo because um, I've already demoed the that actual necklace, and you get the instructions. I had some beads left over. I think I had maybe six, seven <gasps> beads left over. So I thought, seeing as we've got the loose side, it would be rude not to use that as well. So <laughs> I'm just making an earring that I thought might be quite pretty to match. So um, this is your earring, and mm. all I've got is some um, copper oh, or wow. rose gold wire. I've used a couple of, can you see what I mean by how workable and usable these little flowers are from 12 o'clock? They're both yeah. in the 12 o'clock. Um, and then I only needed three, like I've got three of those on there and look how they pop, look how they stand out. And then the rest I've just used some seed beads and some little um, faux pearls. So I thought, and um, this is actually a stud, a stud earring. I've made it out of um, a ball head pin so that that would go through your ear and then that would hang down. Now the beauty about uh, the beauty about a design like this is if you're not into really dangly earrings, you could just make a little small one. So that's what we're gonna do. Right, so what you need is um, a piece of wire that you're gonna need to have two equal pieces. Obviously I've already made one of the earrings. So this is a 0.8 wire, or you could do it with a one mil as well. Um, so I'm just going to take that and then what I did was I took my round nose pliers let me grab them and just did a little loop at the top and this is what the um, little flower will go through later on so this will hold hold my um, my flower there now I want to make roughly the same frame as I did before so what I used for this is my bale making pliers now if you don't have any bale making pliers it really doesn't matter anything round I've been known to go to the kitchen and get any old round thing that I can find in the kitchen so if you don't have bale making pliers um, it doesn't matter so I'm just going to form a largish circle in the top part of the wire and I'm just checking um, that what my second one did because I want it to look roughly the same and then I'm going to use that again so that I'm making sort of a snake like design and then for the last one I just used some smaller bale making pliers and all I'm really doing is just moulding that very simply with my hands around the jaws of the pliers there till I've got that nice undulating shape okay and then at the bottom I just did a little flick out with my round nose pliers like this and then just get rid of the end. Now what I'd probably do with that, just to add to the structure of my piece, if you've got a block and um, a hammer, 
is I'd probably just pop that down and with a rawhide mallet I would give that a little bash with a hammer just just to keep the uh, the sturdiness of that and then on the end I'd probably get a metal hammer so that this flared out just I think it looks really pretty so then once you've made your frame what you need is some 0.4 wire and I've got sort of a slightly darker kind of vintage gold wire here and then starting at the top refine your shape so I'm just kind of refining mine there you take your wire and you're going to decide where you want your first gemstone to be and just wrap your wire around a few times now don't worry if you're not terribly neat at this point because you can just get your pliers and push those wraps together and they instantly become uh, a little bit more tidy and then you just take your beads whichever one at a time I did um, and I didn't have a plan for this I mean obviously if you've already made one earring the second one wants to be the same um, or maybe not that's the beauty of jewelry making but I wanted the second one to be the same so I'm just going to copy the first one here you take your bead down to your frame and before you actually wrap it you just hold this bead so that it sits where you want it to sit and then I'm just going to wrap it round a couple more times just check that I like the positioning on that and when I'm happy just neaten off either with your fingers or with your pliers those wraps and if you look at the one that I've done already there it's that little pearl on the top mm. so then I want an agate so I only had a few of these left um, but I thought you know what the, the colour is so amazing that you only need a few yeah. in your design and you know you can really see it so this is the basic shape again I just wanted that to sit kind of they can sit either side I did them both sides so you can have one here and one here um, you can move those um, when you finish doing it if you want to do something that's a bit more pleasing to the eye so I've done three wraps there and then I got some seed beads just I think sometimes if you alternate the sizes of your beads um, you can get a really lovely kind of vine effect and I just added my seed bead in. So of course you only need a smaller space when you're using the seed bead. So just wrapping that around and then I'll get my hands out of the way and show you. So I just continued doing the wraps until the point where I wanted my flower. So I used... The pearls look like little buds. They do, I wanted it to look like a vine. Yeah, it does. Like a little bud. And so using my um, flower I'm going to take my wire up through the bottom of the flower and then I'm going to position my flower on the wire where I want it to sit roughly and then what did I use for the center I used a pearl so I'm going to take the pearl pop that on so that it sits as kind of like the stamen to my flower and then I'm going to go back through my flower, but I'm not going to go back through that pearl. So that's going to add, I'll just take my hands out of the way. So I've gone back through the flower, but not through the pearl. It Give looks like, pull. sorry, I've just found this. It looks like the wild rose. Oh, show that. Can we show that? Sure. Oh, thank you. That that's came out of right. my head, but. I knew, I, I, knew, I knew there was like a wild flower, doesn't oh, it? It does look just like that. That's why if, you, if you're struggling with your mojo, have a look at flower pictures um, and you know, follow the lines. There's nothing more inspiring than Mother Nature. Absolutely. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very similar to that. It is very similar. Amazing. Oh. So what I've done is I've added the stamen of my flower there. And so what I need to do here is I need to really make sure that the positioning is nice and tight at the back of the earring so that my flower stays where I want it to be. So really put some tension on that wire there. And this is going to be pretty much hidden behind the flower so that you can see that I've got the wraps there and then you can use your pliers or in my case my nails <laughs> to push the wraps together so that what's happening is I'm growing that design down the vine as I go. Now if you've got some little leaves or you've got some green seed beads you can make some little leaves coming off here if you wanted yeah. to and then I just literally followed exactly the same techniques to go all the way down so if you have a look at this one I'm just going to snip this way because I want to show you the top so I'll just snip that 
So you can see my finished one. So it's just exactly the same techniques to go down. And then to finish off, I just literally, if I take this one off, I took a flower, I popped in a ball, a ball pin. And what I would do, I haven't done it on this one because I wanted to show you, but once my ball pin is in, I would actually glue that into place with yeah. some jewelry glue so that that didn't move. Yeah. And then you just pop it through the hole in the top of your earring mm -hmm. and then just pop on your butterfly back like you would with any stud earring. Now there's just one thing that I do want to just mention. When you cut a head pin um, or an eye pin, it's going to have a different finish than an earring wire that goes through your ears. Okay. So what you want to do is use a file or use an emery board or if you are a metal worker um, some sandpaper and just make sure you've got no sharp points on there so that when you run your finger around there you've got no snaggy edges or sharp points so that when that goes through the ear it's going to feel comfortable like your stud earrings do mm. um, so that way you can either wear the flower as a stud or you can put on the on and offable dangle to make dangly earrings Beautiful. So that's only three, three well, six, nan six nan hong, which you'll have left over from your necklace. And just I added some flowers because you know it's me, but yeah. <laughs> Because I love I love flowers, and we happen to have them in the twelve o'clock. So why not put the two together? Yeah, um, just as something different. But the instructions that you'll get will be to how I've made that um, bracelet. I uh, love uh, necklace these. rather. But yes. Oh, and such an amazing deal on the Nan Hong. It's, it's amazing. And I think it just shows you that even if you've only got six left, yeah. how much impact they have in a design. Yeah, because of the colour. Because of the colour. Because of that amazing colour, which yeah. is natural. Well done, jewellery makers again. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We should have closed this. Wasn't it £100 higher? One nine nine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> One nine nine now. Um, amazing. I have six left. <laughs> Clock to close because I have Angela, Cambridgeshire, Olga, Joanne, Karen, Elizabeth, Sandra, Hertfordshire, Maker, Yanis, Christine, Susan, and those are the names I can see. We are over allocated on this one. It is natural Nan Hong, probably worthwhile as well, jewelry makers, getting your certificate of authenticity with this too, because of the rarity of the gemstone. Yeah, definitely. And just to clarify, there is no mine operating and uh, um, unearthing Nan Hong. It is mined out. The rediscovery of it uh, um, was very short, wasn't it? It was very fleeting. You think you've got mines that have been open for yeah. uh, centuries. Yeah. Nan Hong has always been very short, fleeting window. We've, China has seen it before, mine out. And of course, that sur surged the price um, up even more. Um, but it's just happened once again. And we found that out literally in November, just gone. So make the most of these deals, jewelry makers. If we'd have found out before, we'd have purchased more. We would have done. Yeah. What we've got is what we've got. Um, 24 pounds and 99 pence, the final three opportunities. Well done, every single one of you. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, I told you it was gonna be a super Thursday, <laughs> didn't I? We've got so much to bring you. The most amazing lucite flowers at 12 o'clock with Debs. 300 of those. Yes. I'm going to definitely get some of them. For the girls for the summer holiday. I will need to move those out of the way. They're so beautiful. Because <laughs> of my wisterias. Wisteria earrings. I wanted to make like a big wisteria necklace that would take me three weeks. But, you know, I had a couple of days. But there you go. Oh, so you can well, adapt you need to that. to do that. I will do that. But you adapt that design. You can adapt that. Once you know how to make the component, you can make as many as you want. As, in and would you just lengths. sort of hang it from chain? Hang it from chain. Or I was going to do like a long one and then... Um, graduating oh. ones going up. As plants go, the wisteria has to be one of the most beautiful, I'm doesn't obsessed it? with the wisteria. Like, if there's yeah. a house with wisteria, I have to stop and just look at it. Yeah, doesn't it push the price up of a house, wisteria? Does it? Yeah, yeah. massively. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Because they take so long to, to mature. And if you look at the shape of them, like, you will do it if, when yeah. you, you know, you will have a little look when you're, if you get this, um, this project. But the shape of them, like, they naturally graduate from large and full to, like, so small. pretty. Oh, they're just so lovely. Now, um, We've also got last of stock clearance uh, jadeite opportunities in the 11 o'clock hour. But before that, the launch of your cognac Baltic Amber in 
the sterling silver Alhambra inspired necklace. Now we wow. have a hundred available. To my knowledge, and I did research last night, there is nowhere else in the world that will bring you this opportunity in amber. It is specially commissioned exclusively for us here at Jewelry Maker, but we have a hundred available. You know, when, when Louis Vuitton or, or Van Cleef or Cartier do limited edition, they do more than a hundred, mm. more, more often than not. Today, we're gonna to bring it to you as your deal of the day. So I think that's gonna be an on-screen sellout in a heartbeat. Oh. Also, we have the very last opportunities of the most beautiful bangle. Arguably, I think most of us would agree with this, that the prettiest bangle we've ever done. Yeah. Um, and it is natural. Peacock Angel Eye, uber exclusive. There's just 30 of those available within the bolt, and that is, um, so difficult to source. There's a bit of a story behind this as well, jewelry makers, which I'll share with you at the time. Um, so it's going to be an amazing hour. Do not go anywhere. Join Debs and I after this. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Friday, the 14th of June, where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. And there's definitely a high-end feel, especially in my two project hours. For example, in the nine o'clock hour, I have got the undisputed king of the agates, Botswana. Two incredible kits both featuring most beautiful strands and teamed alongside these absolutely, I'm gonna say the word, cute sterling silver bead caps. So that's in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going definitely keeping on with the high-end feel. I have been given the most extraordinary strands of hematite I think I've ever seen and worked with. Firstly, one of the project kits contains three strands of the most extraordinary high-end polished hematite bicones. Never seen the shape before. Absolutely incredible. I've made this beautiful bracelet so far. And then in the other project kit, a texture and a shape I've not worked with in hematite. Diamond matte. Absolutely extraordinary. We've got a peach tone, a rainbow tone and this incredible anthracite grey. Absolutely beautiful. So that's in the 12 o'clock. So we've got Hematite in the 12, incredible Botswana in the nine. Hope you can join myself and Carol from eight o'clock. Look forward to seeing you there. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. 
Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Two of our favourite things here, aren't we? Amber and Alhambra. Oh, say that fast. Amber Alhambra. Amber Alhambra, Amber. No. <laughs> it is two of our favourite things. It really is. The Jewelry Maker family. I, why has that only just dawned on me? I don't know. But we used to. Have you noticed, Jewelry Makers, we used to do Amber Weekends? Yeah, we did. Haven't done one in a very long time. We used to do Amber Days. We used to do much more Amber Showcases. Um, it's actually becoming really difficult. And this is something that Marius, and some of you are familiar with Marius. He's uh, been on our screens before. Um, I was asking Wayne the other day. I was like, next time Marius is over, can he come on Jewelry Maker, please? Um, because he's a, one, he's a lovely gentleman. Very charismatic as well. Very oh, passionate. Yeah um about about his amber but again it's very difficult even on our sister channel i say even of course on our sister channel as well their amber offerings are far more more um infrequent than they used to be so and i think everybody even as a small child knows what amber is you know it's one of those amazing gemstones one of the first gemstones that we actually admire um and it sparks this excitement i think um that, that captivates us all and continues to captivate us all. But it is, in, in all honesty, it's one of the world's most uh, influential is the wrong word. I'm trying to find the perfect word. Important gemstones. And let me explain. Firstly, it's what we call an organic gem. An organic gem basically means it hasn't got a crystal structure. It has, it's not a mineral, effectively. It doesn't grow um, in amongst uh, um, other rock. So much like pearls or your amylite or your jet, for example, they are organic gemstones. What that basically means is they're formed by a living organism. So a pearl is created within a, a, um, an oyster. An amylite is obviously a prehistoric shell. Um, jet is fossilized monkey puzzle tree basically from millions of years ago amber is basically a tree resin that firstly the reason why it's rare is because the trees that the conifer trees that did produce it are now extinct basically and it's also that that sap has gone through a process called polymerization so not all tree sap will do that so let's read about it. So never mind taking um, me, me waffling on. Let's go to the GIA, which is where I did my qualifications, the Gemological Institute of America, and what they actually say about this amazing gemstone. So they say, amber is nature's time capsule. This fossilized tree resin contains remnants of life on Earth millions of years ago. And you can see there um, inside a perfectly preserved insect of some variety. But we'll read on. Um, you've got this amazing inclusion. So this is the thing, all of those, with amber, it's one of those gemstones that you want the inclusions. The more inclusions, more valuable the amber is, effectively. And also it's one of those gems that will actually increase, uh, sorry, increase in value and beauty as years go by. Um, amber is millions of years old uh, and glowing with golden warmth. Treasured for its clear beauty and inviting color, amber ranges from pale yellow to deep orange and occasionally even green, red or blue. Most often clear, amber can have smoky swirls within it. Some amber also contains insect, insects sorry, or bits of uh, flora. Amber with these inclusions is highly desirable. Amber is an organic gemstone made from tree resin that preserved for millions of years and turned to a stone. 
Most of the world's amber is mined in the regions uh, on the coast of the Baltic and North Sea. When mined in those regions, amber is sometimes called Baltic gold. Amber is also mined in the Dominican Republic. So um, very few locations around the world actually mine amber. Um, and it has to be a specific type of tree that actually produced it. So very rare. Uh, contemporary folklore ascribes to amber for its ability to provide wisdom. It's associated with the sacral chakra, that is the root of all sensual pleasure. Amber objects that date uh, to 3700 BC have been found in Estonia. In the Middle Ages in Europe, it was in high demand uh, as a rosary stone. Once upon a time, amber was called the nectar of the setting sun. Perhaps you are drawn to amber by its history. Perhaps its rich colour calls you. Maybe folkloric claims appeal. Maybe you simply love the rich colours of the stone. No matter what draws you, your amber is here and it's waiting. For you. Ooh. I love that. I love that. Because um, the different things will appear, won't they? You I'm, know, I know if I was to speak to speak to a Willow or friends, it'd be like, oh, it's the dinosaur yeah. stone, wouldn't yeah. they? They'd instantly say that. Yeah, the, yeah, the Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park that introduced a lot of youngsters to it. Didn't Absolutely. It? Um, surprisingly enough, though, amber comes in a variety of luxurious colours. Here's a fun fact for you, jewelry makers: the most common colour is the same as its name implies. A brownish honey, honey colour, but there is in fact 256 identified shades of amber. Really? Yeah, amazing! We narrow it down to seven, mostly to keep it simple. Um, if you find blue amber, it's most likely from the Dominican, um, but Baltic amber ha has been treated to have the same blue effect. We've brought you that in the past. Naturally, as we know, uh, this is a form of resin. We expect the colour ranges from yellow, orange, burnt red to copper colours, and even sometimes cream or, or white. Some ambers may be green or even violet, depending on the plant material that was organically, uh, sorry, originally uh, preserved in the piece. So the actual flora fauna that is contained or was contained, consumed, if you like, mm. by the tree resin millions of years ago can change the colour. Yeah. Mind-blowing. I think it's absolutely amazing. Amber has been used in jewellery since at least 11,000 BCE. Wow. Yeah, cool. Um, it was polished and carved to make jewellery according to ancient archaeological sites in England. Instead of wearing the precious, ge precious gem, women in Rome rubbed it in their hands, uh, such as someone might use as a worry stone today. They believe that con the continual contact with amber would promote a youthful appearance in their looks. It's worth a go, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going you know. to... Uh, <laughs> um, because of its healing properties, people in Lithuania still offer bead, beaded amber necklaces to newborn babies. Um, amber, amber amulets were worn to enhance fertility in Rome. Bands of amber rings were used as wedding in wedding ceremonies to ensure an eternal bond and represents renewed fidelity um, in marriage today. So lots of very positive messages alongside it. Um, it is proven that Baltic amber contains three to eight percent of I can never say this word succinic. Is that right? Succinic. Succinic. Succinic uh, acid, which is widely used in contemporary medicine. Um, succinic or succinic, whichever acid improves immunity, thereby strengthening the body. During the Middle Ages, when the plague swept across towns, killing their inhabitants, amber was used as a fumigant to prevent the spread of disease. Uh, it has been noted that men fumigating with the substance never perish from the disease. Wow, that's Amazing, so interesting. interesting. Yeah. Aromatherapy, uh, aromatherapy has become a popular use for amber as well. You can often get the fragrance, can't you? Yeah. Amber fragrance, yeah. which is quite a beautiful woody smell. Um, scientists have been studying amber for centuries to learn um, more about specific species. More than 1,000 extinct insect species have been discovered to date from amber. Cool. Uh, amber has been found in ancient Egyptian tombs dating back to 3200 BCE and thought to have been brought over from the Baltic coast. There is much history that we can learn from amber and I think that's probably the biggest understatement of the whole uh, presentation. So much you know, it, that's why I opened this opportunity saying, here is a gemstone that is probably one of the most significant. And I always say this sentence, not just gemologically, historically, mm. 
biologically, paleontologically, that's a lot of lower syllables, isn't it? You know, it's a lot of ologies, isn't it? Massively uh, significant. Very. So is it any wonder that we love it? The Greeks also thought that amber was a piece of the sun that had broken off as the sun fell into the sea each night. Oh, I love that's my favourite. You're getting on board with the Greeks. I'm getting right on board. Yeah. That is, yeah, but it, it, that's, yes, romantic. Apart from its metaphysical properties and healing potential, amber is a unique gemstone with many physical uh, characteristics. It is an organic material composed of hardened resin produced by ancient trees millions of years ago. Inside the stone are sometimes found organic inclusions such as insects, plants, or pieces of this material that were trapped while still in resin. The fascination with amber continues today as people use it to promote mental clarity and healthy boundaries in their lives. People often wear amber pieces or keep them near to them to help them stay focused on their goals. Amber can also be used in medita uh, med meditational practices or rituals as a way to connect with one's spiritual side. So much belief. But, I mean... I, I like this photograph, I and mean, that's amazing because amber is will physically float in salt water. It's often found along the Baltic coast, having been washed up on the sea. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know. That. Um, so, if you could go to uh, um, to the Baltic region and literally walk across, I don't know if you're allowed to literally just go there, but mm. um, but that's how it's often found, literally washed up on the shore. Um, yeah, and historically, we've brought you Amber. We've got an amazing relationship with Marius. but And we've brought you so many different designs over the years, but never this. It is the first, and it is exclusive jewellery makers to you. Now, just consider, have we had the magic Alhambra-inspired piece where there's different sizes? Okay. But can we just discuss the fact that how difficult it must be first it's hard most amber is in beads isn't it or tumbles mm. or kind of rough formations because here's a gemstone that is effectively a resin so it burns you couldn't just use it on a cutting house uh, a cutting wheel sorry um imagine how difficult it is to carve a clover and it, yeah because they're completely symmetrical I yeah mean, you know you can't you can't have the left petal a bit skinnier than the right no it? and look at the quality of that it's unbelievable oh my god that looks like something you gain gucci or yeah you know van cleef or yeah. any of those this is the first ever baltic amber classic alhambra inspired necklace and there's a big gram weight of sterling silver now mm. there are a hundred exclusively for you today jewelry makers i agree of all the amber pieces that we have brought to you, I agree, Ross. I think this is the this is the the nicest. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that is that's a stunning piece of jewellery. Can you imagine that in Bond Street? Yeah, absolutely. Every day of the week. Would it look out of place? No. Imagine that in Harrods. If that was in Harrods with a ten thousand pound price tag, I wouldn't look twice. I'd be like, no, oh, yeah. because it's Baltic amber. Yeah. It's it's amazing quality amber. And it's in all, I mean, just the carving of it alone. Mm. And all that gram weight, a finished piece of jewellery. Yeah, I agree, four figures and then some. Okay, Ross has just asked me the question. What's a very... Onyx, yeah, well, we, he, we here at Jewellery Maker would agree that certain onyxes are inexpensive. Would you agree? Yeah. Well... Van Cleef and Arpels use onyx. Mm -hmm. They use onyx. They use agate. Yeah, they do. As in you dyed agate, don't they? They use those. A dyed stone. Let's have a little look as we speak. They don't do amber. Let me just explain why they don't do amber. It's probably not from the want, because I think we can all agree that looks... Carnelian's another one of their, their gemstones that they use. I mean, carnelian, beautiful. Let's go carnelian, because it's the most likely amber. But there's more carnelian available than there will be amber. And also, it's far easier to cut. Now, there are 10 motifs on ours. On the classic Alhambra motif, in carnelian as opposed to Baltic amber, 
Would you agree? We bring you carnelian. Mm. You, it's not an investment stone as such. No. Okay. So in Van Cleef and Arpels for 20 motifs. Okay. And I know it's in gold. Okay. It's in 18 karat gold. Yeah. £17,400. Okay, now we're bringing you 10 in silver. Instead of carnelian, it's Baltic amber. I mean, even if we brought this to air for £400, Ross, I'm saving, I'm saving 17000 <laughs> I agree. If this was in a, if it, this was in Van Cleef and Arpels, probably with a similar bust as well. It wouldn't look out of place. No. Nobody would question it. And you know, if you like white gold, white gold looks exactly like silver. It does. So, you know, no one would know. Well, you know, I looked at that really closely and I'm impressed with how that looks. I, I, I almost, I think I prefer it because it's amber. Yeah, I love it. I love amber. We've got a hundred available today. Launch. Let me just. I'm just going to move this out of the way for one sec, Dan, because I want to show you all the way around. You know, let me just move that out of the way so you can just all the focus is on this amazing piece. Show show you all the way around. I mean, perfectly. All commissioned for you, jewelry makers. You are literally one of 100 people or less if people multiply. Look at that. Look how the light catches the amber. At the gram weight of sterling silver, even down to, look, the extender chain on the reverse. You've got that detail of a Baltic amber on the back there as well. This is quality. It's gorgeous. Amazing quality. Ross, there's got to be a heavy gram weight in this. Because you can see the thickness of the chain. Have you noticed even down to the fact we've used the same chain as, as Van Cleef? Even down to where you've got your classic belcher chain. Absolutely stunning. I could sit here and chew your ears off about Van Cleef and Arpels. I could do that. They were obviously the source of inspiration. Um, but it's got to be about the amber. Globally, are we the first jewellers to actually bring you cognac amber in a Van Cleef inspired piece? I think quite probably. You can be one of the 100 or less people to say that they own this piece. I love it. I absolutely love it. In fact, I know it's only June. I'm actually thinking of getting one of these for my mother-in-law for Christmas. Definitely. With her pearls, yeah. She loves jewellery. She's very, yeah, we're, we're, we're cut from the same cloth. Pardon? Oh, she, and she knows Van Cleef and Arpels. She's going to be looking at, I mean, it's not going to be in a Van Cleef and Arpels box, and I wouldn't say it is that. But I don't need to. No. It's as beautiful. It's as beautiful. Remember, £17,400. Even if we were to bring this to air, we would say, £400, jewellery makers. There's only 400 ever made. We're talking real exclusivity. Nowhere else in the world will bring you a design like this. It, it's all true. £400. Tell you what, how good's that? Saving you £17,000 today. <laughs> we're starting here. Starting here. Shall I hold up to the neckline? Yeah. Sorry, Adam. Yeah, we need to see it at the neckline, I think. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's it's heavy. Starting at £400, but not... <gasps> oh, my goodness. You need that. That looks amazing I on was going to gift it. Get to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an enabler. Get to. Yeah, I think... Oh, oh Elle, look at that. For stacking. Oh, well. it's so gorgeous. Yeah, that's the kind of piece of jewellery that you could put on and never take off. Exactly. I would never take this off. And it's going to get more beautiful as the years go by because it's Baltic Amber. Oh my goodness me. Launching today for the very first time the classic Alhambra inspiration. We've brought you the magic Alhambra inspiration before where mm -hmm. they've got different shaped motifs. But if you like that symmetry, which I definitely do, then now is the time to get involved. But there were only 100 ever commissioned. Never mind £400, jewelry makers. How about halving that price? This is, it's weighty, Ross. 
Well, do you know what? If I have a scale, I could pretty much put it on the scales because amber weighs next to nothing. So the bulk of the weight will actually be in the precious metal, wouldn't it? Hang on. We're still not done there. While I'm doing this, let me just, yeah, there we go. Because amber weigh, weighs next to nothing, mm, does it? Yeah. So let me give it away. Wow. 13.13 grams. So it's not the amber that's weighing no, that. No, not at all. It's the gram weight that's weighing that. I remember amber s floats in salt water. Mm. For the for the gram weight of precious metal. Oh my goodness. 200 pounds is not your price. We're going even lower, jewelry makers. Nicolette, Heather, Mary, Anjum, Jane, multi buying. Hello to Swansea, Oxfordshire, Heather. How beautiful. I bet your Daisy would love this. Oh, she'd love it. I'm, I'm just thinking, I don't know genuinely what this is going to go to, but um, controversially, yeah. I'm thinking if I got three, then yeah. the third one I'd make into matching bracelets. Oh, yes. Because it's all precious metal there. So yeah. any, anything that you cut off, you reuse. And yeah. I don't know, how many bracelets would you get out of that? Two, three? Two 20, out of yeah? each necklace, I yeah. think, definitely. Definitely. Then you've got a suite. That's so beautiful, isn't it? 200 pounds. I'm happy here, jewelry makers, but we are going even lower. You've got 13 grams of, of precious 925 sterling silver. 13 grams. And you have 10 motifs and also the amber bead at the reverse. All the love and affection that we have for beautiful amber for many reasons. Not just as it's, a th it's aesthetic, but the history of it as well. How fascinating this mm. gemstone is. In one of the most iconic designs ever. We had a hundred made. A third of the stock has already gone at £149. Plus you've got your split payment, jewelry makers. The gram weight alone. You try and get 13 grams in a necklace elsewhere for £149. That's a heavy chain, isn't it? Well, if you put two of those together, you've got that 20 motif necklace yeah. inspired by Van yeah. Cleef. And how much was that? 17 grand? 17,400 so pounds. So you could get that look for 300 pounds at the moment, can't yeah. you? Like just put the two together. And you've got some extras. You'll have the bead at the back for something else. So then you could add that to a bracelet. Yeah, absolutely. Bracelet, make a pair of earrings, whichever you wish. Good luck, everybody, and £149. Norman, Nicolette, Heather, Mary, Anjum, James, Multibore, Ayrshire, Weldon, Chew, David in South Yorkshire, Swansea's there. 149 really? I don't, you know you're saying you don't know what this is going to do. I don't know what this oh, is going to do. Oh, do you not to. know? No, no, no. no, I don't know. I'm excited, though. It's going lower than this. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? I'm just imagining... Christmas Day, this in one, you know, it's one of the luxury square boxes, sometimes oh. the velvet boxes. That laid out, and it can, so it tends to have that raised part in the centre. Oh. That laid out beautifully. Imagine gifting that to somebody. That would make my day if I got that. Yeah. I mean, it's a special present, isn't it? It's a special piece of jewellery. It's been made with such attention yeah. to detail. My niece would love this too. My sister in law would love this. Mm. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ross. And there's a hundred in the world. Good luck, everybody. David, Ayrshire. Oh, I think I think Essex, you're coming back for another one, aren't you? Don't blame you, lovely. Were you expecting it to close higher than what's on your screen? It's doing the opposite. It's going even lower. <laughs> even lower. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'll let you get this and then in the break I'm definitely getting involved if there's any left. It's so pretty. We're going to have no money left no, after today, Al. Some days I do come to work for free pretty yeah, much. Yeah, me too. Just end up <laughs> spending it on all the goodies that we bring to air. I've done that a lot lately. It's because we're in the know. Yeah, well, because the reality is if I was to see that, say we had a trip down to London, whatever, and yeah. for kicks we'd have a wander around yeah. Harrods, because you do. Of course It's an do. attraction, isn't it? Yeah. Knowing full well that I would not be able to afford any of their jewellery. Exactly any of their jewellery. If I saw that in Harrods, it's not going to be at 129, is it? Gosh, no. No, 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 no. It's going to, you know, it's it's going to be four figures. Now, during the birthday, 
The lowest price amber clover piece that we had was 129. There was two. There was like the magic Alhambra inspired one. And then we had one that was like this, I remember, yes. That closed at 129, the piece that was like this in amber. Less motifs. Yep. So you've got almost double the motifs in this one. Okay. And today, match that price to the one from the birthday where you get special deals. Yeah, you do. Now this is a fairly generic, well that's the wrong word, but yeah, it's, it's not it's not birthday, is it? No. But we're still going to go lower. Ross is saying, this is YL. He says this one is his favourite, not just because of the design, not just because of the quality, but because the, the saving on this mm. is amazing. 10 motifs. If they were individual without the chain, mm. how much do you reckon they'd be? <sighs> yeah, about 15 pounds maybe per motif for amber. I think that's reasonable, 14.99. If it was onyx or if it was carnelian, then maybe a tenner, maybe. Really? But it is Baltic amber. With that quality of colour. And also you've got to remember you've got to colour match your amber too. We're already less than what we've just said, aren't we? We're at 12.99 per motif and then you're getting the 13 grams, the bulk of the 13 grams worth of silver for free. We're going to take this under £100 for you today, jewellery makers. It's stunning. £10 per motif and all the sterling silver for, uh, for free approximately 13 grams in this amazing necklace. That's a lot of silver. You can see by looking at it, the quality. Yeah. You couldn't make a design like that with a puny little amount of silver. That no. is really generous. It adds to the whole aesthetic of the piece. It's really, really well done. Well, they wouldn't lay properly, would they? No. If we, if we if said, okay, just put six grams in there. No. The, the chain would be that much lighter. The motifs wouldn't sit perfectly no. on the decolletage. You, so you need that weight almost to hold it down yeah, to definitely. the necklace, especially if you are going maybe longer line. Yeah. Um, 13 grams is a massive investment yeah. of precious metal. Loads. Under £100 for you today. That's lower than our birthday, Van Cleef and our pals. Good luck, everybody. Multi-buyers getting involved. I'm going to join you on the multi-buying. I think if we're going lower than that, then I think one for me, one for nearest and dearest. I mean, all day long, ninety-nine pounds. Oh yeah. That's. Can you even get a Van Cleef and Arpels plastic bag for that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do probably do, not. They probably don't do plastic bags, do they? No. You know, they're like, oh, your plastic bag sixty p. That's what coffee the costs in there, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness me! And you've got your split payments on it. It's stunning. It's such a classy piece of jewellery. Um, we are quite possibly the only people that have ever done it with your Baltic Amber. Um, that's the perfect collaboration between jewellery maker and, of course, uh, um, Marius, who is absolutely amazing. You've got to remember, look, I mean, I'm not discrediting Van Cleef and Arpels. Of course not. They're one of the most respected jewellery houses in the world. But... You know, it's more difficult to actually source amber than carnelian, for example. Mm -hmm. I'm saying carnelian, or tiger's eye even. There's more tiger's eye and carnelian available than there is Baltic amber. And it's also far easier to carve um, because it has a crystal structure. Whereas amber can physically burn. You've got to remember this once was a liquid. Of course. So it can physically burn. So to actually create a four petal clover, it's like a heart. The challenge of a heart times four. Yeah, that is difficult. Yeah? You're getting that. All for less than £100 today. Hello, uh, hello, Gloria. Hi, I made an Alhambra with silver clay um, and your 9 pearls and moonstone from you. I can't keep it. Uh, for me, it's so popular it's sold out. I'm not surprised, Gloria. I'm not surprised. Have you noticed, literally, there's Alhambra inspiration popping up absolutely everywhere. Um, we saw it with uh, um, Alex Monroe's bees as yeah, well, didn't we? Yeah, You've And also Gucci have got the bumblebee as well. We've seen it with, I'm trying to think of like, uh, um, 
stirrups with Gucci popping up everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. When when we see a design that we love, of course, the different design houses are going to be inspired by them. Um, hello, Gloria. Say, so I'm getting this for me. I love amber clover necklace. Good, Gloria. You treat yourself, my lovely. You treat yourself. Uh, just join. Can I see the class, please? Of course you can, my darling. Sorry, here we are. I'll turn this around. Look at this. Look, I'll show you all the way around. You know, this is a good thing to do because I haven't done this since the beginning. But look at all that silver work. Beautifully beaded. All the way around. Perfectly placed and positioned. So it's going to lay wonderfully around the decolletage. And then if I turn it around, you've got the extender of two inches and then you've got a Baltic amber on the reverse there as well. Look at how amazing that piece is. Is it a lobster clasp? It's a large bolt ring, I think. Oh. Yeah, large bolt ring class. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? How beautiful. The quantity that we have left, 29. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Come the break, I will be adding a couple of these to my order. One put away for Christmas. I'm trying to do all my Christmas shopping before my birthday this year. Um, one put away for Christmas. One for me. It's so pretty. Is that the kind of jewellery that you would wear, Debs? Yeah, God, yeah, every day of the week. Because it's stackable. Mm. And I'd also quite like to, in between those motifs, hang a pearl drop. <gasps> you know, just to be different. Just cause, just to, you know. Yeah. Like a hundred, uh, only a hundred people in the world have it like that's not exclusive enough. Yeah. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, I still want it to be different. Or, you know the little um, butterflies that we've had? Yes. Maybe have put one of those butterflies on the bottom. But I think the great thing about being a jewellery maker, when you get something like this, if you just want to tweak it a little bit, just add something, you can. Whereas yeah. that's what most people can't do that because they don't know how. I love it as it is. But I just think adding some pearls, you know. Well, you've got the chain opportunity to do you've that. You've got so much nice chain. open link. Exactly. You could easily attach to it. I like your idea as well. Literally, you could take make two bracelets out of this if you wanted to. You could you could make two bracelets because if you think that's more than enough for one well, bracelet. That's what it? I was thinking. Like a long line neck. I'd probably buy two. pounds to make that. I, that's so get. I would get two, put them together, have the long line, and then what was left to make a bracelet. Yeah. Oh, look what Jeanette's going for the full organic gemstone, going to add pearls and Whitby Jet. Wow. See, not just me. Amazing. I, mean, I think pearls would look amazing, don't you? And the jet would be gorgeous. Beautiful. Well done, Jeanette. It's so beautiful. Even down to this, look, because, look, it's mirror image, this one. Yeah. But I quite like the idea of wearing it like that. Does that make sense? That's how I'd wear it. Yeah. So you just move your jump ring. But yeah, if, sorry, your clasp. That's but if all. it's mi oh, just like if it's mirror image, you've got that chain in the middle to add something else. Yeah. You know, so if you, do you have a baroque pearl, a really beautiful pearl you've been saving? Mm. Add that to the centre of that. Can oh, you imagine? Gorgeous, like a fireball or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like a beautiful fireball pearl to the centre. Amazing. Me. Look at the quantity though, jewellery makers. I've only got twelve of them left, and there's a hundred in the world. That's it. Um, again, for us to just go, hi, Marius, and he does, he's at the end of the phone. He's a, a lovely gentleman, but hi, Marius, can you make us some more, please? It's not something that can happen overnight, jewellery makers. They're specially commissioned for you. Um, this is the launch of this style of Alhambra inspiration. We've brought you the ma magic one. I imagine this was intended for the birthday. I imagine, um, but maybe didn't land in time. So you're actually getting a better deal than the birthday uh, um, strand. That was one two nine, which is still incredible. But um, and they, a couple of them were a bit bigger. Okay. I like the consistency of the four leaf clover. I, I like do. that classic Alhambra look. I do. Now, if you are Paula, uh, sorry, Stella, Florence, Joanne, Tracy, Barbara. Uh, Norfolk, Sandra, Swansea, Heather, you need to be checking out your basket. Uh, this is a gentleman that has made, has created your amazing necklaces. Uh, again, he has been in our studios before. He's called Marius. He's called Marius. And yeah, he makes all of your amazing uh, amber pieces. I don't believe we source it from anyone else, actually. And that has been the case for many years. Um, the same applies on our sister channel as well, on, on Gemporia. Um, well done. A load of multi-buyers getting involved. The final 10. Now, if you are one of the people like Swansea who's got two in their basket, I would check out sooner rather than later. Barbara, I can see you've got three in your basket as well. Come the break. If there's any left, I'll be getting one of these, definitely. Me too. 
Are you getting one? I'm going to put the pearls in between. Easy pay. And I've got Split a Baroque pay. pearl that I'm going to put in the... Oh, I'm excited. Lovely. I don't think it's going to be left. And that's for you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. worked hard last month. I deserve you it. You have, actually. You've done a lot of extra hours, haven't you? Treat yourself then. 50 seconds to close. 50 seconds <gasps> to close this auction opportunity. Yeah, treat yourself. You might as well. I've only got nine left. We're over allocated. Debbie in Cheshire, Jean, Deborah, Stella in, uh, in Devon, Florence, Tracy, Joanne in Shropshire, Barbara, Sandra, Swansea, Heather. Make sure you're checking out everyone. I've only got seven left. I've got my eye on one at least. Definitely one at least. I haven't decided yet, Ads. Ads, like, is this for you or for your mother in law? I do need to be careful because she does watch, you know. She does. <laughs> One day she's like, I don't want to get for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm getting. She'll be like, can you just put pearls on it? <laughs> yeah, I like, I like Deb's idea of putting pearls with it. Yeah. Oh, but they, do you know what? Like, isn't it lovely that we can spoil our nearest and dearest yeah, with pieces like yeah, this? Definitely. But there's no way I'd be able to afford it otherwise. No, 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 no. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. It is stunning. Now, next up, I tell you what, because we've got a couple of them available... We're actually going to bring you the magic. So this is the classic Alhambra, mm -hmm. yeah? Where well, you have the, the symmetry mm -hmm. of the motifs. And we've got the history somewhere, Ross, haven't we? Uh, um, so the classic Alhambra came first, and then the magic Alhambra came second, which they describe it as a little bit more playful. It is. It's a playful twist. Asymmetry, different size motifs. Have you got that information? Yeah, he's just grabbing it for you now. Um, there you go. Oh. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Um, created in 2006. So it's almost 20 years old. Oh, wow. By Van Cleef and Arpels, the Magic Alhambra jewellery creations gather different sized Alhambra motifs coming together in a joyful dance. Inspired by the clover leaf, their asymmetric design features different associations of materials. So you can get, and I think we've shown these before, you can get uh, leaves, butterflies, and things like that as mm -hmm. well. But again, look at this one, Magic Alhambra, six motif, 11,000 pounds. And just to uh, uh, support what Debs, you said, 18 karat gold does not look vastly different from silver. Not at all. Um, I know which I would gravitate towards. Definitely. I mean, 18, I don't know even if I won the lottery, I could justify paying £18,000 on a necklace. I don't think I could, really. No, I don't think I could either. Maybe it's because I make jewellery and, and I know what I can make it for. Maybe if I didn't, I don't know. I'm not saying, you know, that, that it's just that when we can get deals like we do. Yeah, and there was an article published recently actually saying, is the, is the Alhambra bracelet really worth, however, £8,000? Mm. And there was a photograph of Amanda Holden wearing it and a couple of other celebrities. It's just a status symbol, isn't yeah, it? I mean, I think that's. I think it's a little bit unfair, to be honest, because all jewellery houses mark up the same way. Yeah, they a do. A minimum of 400%. 400% markup. Yeah, this is famously, the Magic Alhambra, famously worn by, of course, um, our Princess of Wales, of course, Catherine. Oh. Um, but also has been borrowed by um, the Queen, uh, um, Queen Camilla as well. She's a big fan of this too. So, yeah, and it looks absolutely amazing on her, doesn't it? Oh, that photograph so... is amazing. She's so beautiful. Yeah, she is. That photograph, just with the car light in the background. And she seems like such a good mum. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. So we took the Magic Alhambra. In... That's a Magic Alhambra, but different. Can you see? Because mm -hmm. you've got the different sizes. Oh, yeah. Now... There are 16 left. They were launched during the birthday. The graphics will appear and the auction will be open. Was this a project, Ross? It comes complete like this. Okay. Ooh, that's lovely. So you can choose. You can choose whether you wear the asymmetry magic Alhambra inspired or whether you go for the classic. 
Is that it there? <gasps> yeah, can you layer them? It's one longer than the other. No, right. I was can just thinking that. I'd ask like this if that's mm. all right, if you've got one. You could, I reckon you could add chain. Oh, perfect, darling. Thank you. Oh, Debs. Because you know that recording, it's actually back to front. Oh, that's gorgeous. I haven't seen that. Was that birthday, you say? Yeah. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, I love that. Look at that. I'm whispering, that means I really like it. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's stunning. Isn't it lovely? I can't decide now. Wow, love that. I know. Yeah, isn't it, Elsa? It's gorgeous. Can you imagine? We could literally be in London right now, couldn't we? Yeah. We could be in London. Yeah. You want me to swap busts? I mean, look at that. The six motif on Van Cleef, £11,000. Good grief. Now you've got it. Hang on. <laughs> Eleven, I've only got 12, did you say, Ross? 16, okay. 14 of them left. I love the movement on this one. That's beautiful. And the fact, have you noticed, Jora Makers, you've actually got different colours? So, uh, different colours. I mean, uh, the fact that we can choose, but this is so, so, so limited. Can you see the asymmetry? Can you see that? Hello, Jeanette says, uh, who uh, mentioned about adding the mm. pearl and the Whitby jet. I have this one as well. I'm not parting with oh, it. No. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Hello, Amanda. Oh boy, the magic one. Wow, wow. I know, I can't choose. I don't know, I do love this one. Oh, well, that, that answers the question actually, because I was thinking I'll get two of these and I'll gift one. So if I get one of each, then she can choose, can she? And then she? you can borrow each other's if it goes better yes. with another outfit. It's good enough for Queen Camilla, isn't it? Um, okay, are you ready? I only had 16. Yeah, you can swap. Because mm. sometimes you're going to want something like this. Sometimes you're going to want something yeah. maybe sort of more. 199. And we're nowhere near done. I know where this closes, don't I? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. There's not enough people on the phone line, so we've only got nine available. Andrew, Lanarkshire, Davinia. Um, our Van Cleef and our Pearls bracelets really worth £3,750. Jewellery expert claim, cult piece, loved by Molly May and Amanda Holden. Only cost £800 to make. Well, yeah, but that's every jewellers. Every single jewellers does at least 400% 400, 400 markup. So I think that's quite unfair. I agree because it's known in the industry. That, yeah, you know. Plus that. In fact, that's bob on. I say four hundred percent. Eight hundred times four plus that. What's the maths on that? Eight hundred times four, so eight sixteen twenty four, three thousand two hundred. Yeah. Plus VAT. It's not far off that price, is it? There you go. It's exactly it, isn't it? That's how I know that because that's how we used to work out the staff cost in my in the jewelers that I worked at. Mm -hmm. Basically. Hmm. It's not just Van Cleef. It's not. It's all jewellers. Today, we don't do that though. No, you're right. You're right, Adam. Today, oh, wait a minute. I can get both for what, £230? <sighs> or, or do it on your 0% interest split payment if you prefer. How amazing is that? That is incredible. I mean, I, I didn't see that in birthday. It's breathtaking. It really is beautiful. Can you choose? No, but I don't think we necessarily have to with prices like this. But I don't think there's going to be any left by the time we get to buy it. This one especially, because there was only 16 this morning. Oh, okay. There was only 16. 10 have already gone. Um, so I've got six left. Amanda, I can see you there. Yeah, I'll do it, Amanda. It's so lovely. It's so lovely. It's one of, And it's one of those pieces that looks even more beautiful in person. Uh, because yeah. of the gram weight. Yeah, it's that you get of it as well. It's it's, it's a quality piece of mm. jewellery, and the fact that while we've been discussing this, we've had viewers messaging in. 
Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not us saying it, is it? No. I've got this, I'm not parting with it. You know, I didn't have, you know, they didn't have to uh, text into the studio. That That's them sharing that how, how, how pleased they are with the design. Um, and again, I need to emphasize that whether it's the, whether it's the magic Alhambra inspiration or whether it's the classic, whichever way, these have been specially commissioned for jewelry makers. So they're all uber exclusive. You know, there's not like tens of thousands no. at another jewelry brand. No. These are um, exclusively made for you by Marius. That's why we showed his photo earlier on. So that in itself is extremely limited edition. Um, well done. They had 16, Amanda, Kathleen, hello to you getting two, Debbie, Anjum, Lanarkshire, Davinia, Beverly, sorry, Tracy, Jean. There he is, he's lovely Marius. I hope we get to see him soon. But we, uh, uh, have you noticed, have you, uh, pardon? Um, have you noticed our amber supply is much more limited now? Yes. Much, much, much more limited. Yeah, we just sit here and there, don't we? Yeah. And I guess amber boutiques as well all around the world far more scarce and limited. Well done, everyone. I'm just going to keep those there for a second. Now, we are 10 minutes away from the final opportunities of peacock angel eye in a bangle there are 30 that's it it's only been brought to bear once so this is the second time and i think will probably be the final time um also i've had a few of these messages coming through okay look at that angel eye bangle oh, you need that debs i love angel eye i'm so in love with this peacock angel eye um, after 11, Elaine says, hi, jewelry maker, any chance of Debbie's Lucite kits going on pre-order, please? I have to go out at 11.30 and I don't want to miss them. You going to do it? He's going to do it, Elaine. Please, Ross. Please, Ross, please. Please, please. please. You said he'll do it. There are 300 available. There are 300 available. Elaine, there you go. You might. He says, I've put the, the whole hour on pre order for the 12 o'clock as well. Oh, amazing. Oh, fabulous. So do shop ahead on the Lucite flowers. Um, and don't forget, Elaine, if you're popping out, you can always watch us back on YouTube. And with your project, you get the instructions as well. So that's fantastic. Um, I'm going to do one more auction before the break. Um, okay. And open your order price. One of the best sterling silver prices he's ever done, he says. A jewelry maker. That's a big statement. That is Roscoe. a big statement. That yeah, I mean that's some statement. You started here in 2018, he says. And in 2018, he doesn't think he's done a better deal since then. Really? A double trouble? Sterling silver spaces. I don't know what's coming. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? How does Adam know and I don't know? And I don't know. Do you know, Dan? No. Dan doesn't know. Apparently it's the biggest deal that Ross has ever done since he's worked here at Jewelry Maker. Wow. And you started when? 2018? Mm. Okay. And they're essential too. All oh, these... Are, these with both of your projects today, you always need spaces. We've had this conversation, Debs. With everything. I mean, you know, the whole bottom of the drawer, <laughs> licking your Scenario. finger, hoping that one will stick to <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because we've all been there, haven't we? Oh, there's a space bit. Oh, it's gone again. Oh, oh. It's true. It's true. We've all been there looking for, scratching around in the bottom of the boxes to try and find some space oh, to be. I just admitted that to everyone. No, no, we've all done it. You know. We've all done it. Now, we're not going to do anything, Ross says, until 50 people join us on the web or on the phone lines. This price, he said, is crazy. Um, <laughs> is crazy. Even if you go, you know what, Al? Ross, Ross, I've got loads of space to be. No, not for long. He thought it was for 50. Oh, okay. Are they sterling but silver? But it's a double trouble, isn't it? So it's 100, yes. <gasps> they are silver, yeah. I need, 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 need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stock up on these. It doesn't matter whether you've got masses of spaces no. at home. You will use them. And especially the sterling silver ones. They go first. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll tell you what. Price point that you're not paying. How many do we have then, Ross? 200, right, okay. First price crash, not paying. It's a big statement that he's made, isn't it? This might be the biggest sterling silver deal I've ever done. Okay. Nobody will guess. Really? Okay. Okay. That's what I thought he was going to go to. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Genuinely, we did. We used to do packs of um, twenty, wasn't it? We used to do packs of twenty for more than what's on your screens. Yeah. Twenty, and you're not getting twenty. You're getting a hundred. Okay. I do see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's the best sterling silver deal he's ever done since 2018, where he started. I do see what you're saying. I was going to say that's a that's a courageous statement to make, <laughs> but he ain't wrong. So and he's still not done. He's a brave boy, is Ross. A hundred sterling silver spacer beads. We've got two hundred today, jewelry makers. Even if you're thinking I've got loads, you will always use them. You will always use spacers. In fact, I don't think there's a single piece of jewelry, Debs, that I make which doesn't have a spacer. Agree. Agree. Always. Did you use them in your Lucite flowers? Yep. Did you use them in your Nanhong? Yep. Did you use them in your last show? Yep. Yeah, this is the thing. <laughs> 8.99, minute clock on your screens. You're staggering. You just stop it, you're preventing the web crashing. I thought so. He says, because if I don't do this, and I, if I went straight down to that final low price tag, <laughs> for 100, Not 20, 100 sterling silver spacer beads. Okay. You can make whole bracelets out of spacer beads. You know, like yeah, the sweetie bracelet. Like beads. Yeah. <gasps> can you imagine a sterling silver seed beaded bracelet? Yes, please. I mean, at this kind of price, you probably could, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going even lower. You watch 200 spacer beads sell out in a heartbeat, though. In a heartbeat. Yvonne, Julie, Tanya. Sheila in Kent, Gloucestershire, hello to you, Joanne, Denise, Sandra, Corinne, Michelle, Aloma, Fife, Nora, Jacqueline, hello to you, Gillian, uh, Jeanette, Jennifer, Avon, Lisa, Maker, Janice, another Jennifer, Beverly, Bedford, Wendy, Heather, Mark, Benjamin, I can't keep up with you. 7 That That for a pack of 10 would be amazing. Can we just put this in, where's my tweezers gone? Where have they gone? Anyway, this side can use one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's fantastic for seven ninety nine, don't you? Yeah, totally. Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Because a hundred for seven ninety nine. Yeah, that's you get all of them. <laughs> Two packs of fifty. That's unbelievable. Our jewelry makers know that. I mean. That's why the core screens has gone crazy. We could go for a banana and a coffee now and a sit down and they just sell. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wouldn't they? Because they're just, that's incredible. Well, pop along to somewhere like Tiffany's and Co for their classic see, uh, beaded bracelet, spacer bead bracelet. There you go. Could you make that jewelry makers? Yeah, that's what I was talking about, one like that. Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, is their silver any different to ours? No. No. Silver is silver. Silver is silver. 925 is 925 parts out of a thousand. Yes. It's the precious metal. We're going again. That's not your price, jewelry makers. I don't know where he's stopping, honestly. This is all Ross. All Ross. He says since 2018, when he started here at Jewelry Maker, this is your best deal. Uh, exactly. Can't not buy these, says Davinia. Exactly. I agree. Exactly. I'd buy four at this price. Yeah. 400. You've got 400 space beads. 400? That. That'll last me about a week. <laughs> yeah. 400 you could get. 32 pounds. You're For getting... 32 pounds. Yeah, that's amazing. Now. Oh. <laughs> uh. 
We used to do um, our base metal findings packs for about that, didn't we? And you wouldn't get a hundred. No, you got like ten of one thing. Yeah. Like do you remember the little base metal ones? Oh yes. We used to do for that around around that price. I think it was a little less. We did, didn't we? Yeah. These aren't base metal. They're solid sterling silver. Phone lines have lit up. We've got new callers getting involved as well. Don't blame you. Genuine, can I just, forgive me, genuinely, have our prices gone up though? Because I really don't think so. Silver everywhere else. And the bullion market is the bullion market. Exactly that. We can't affect the bullion market. No. Uh, and you know, uh, like you said, our 95 is the same as everybody else's 925. Yeah. You know, gold is gold, silver is silver. Yeah, there's different silvers, but you know, it's not going to be any different to the silver that you see no. somewhere else for a lot more money. No. Yeah, it's not inferior grade. No, at all. Silver is silver. Yeah. Uh, seriously, £7.49? This is all Ross. He said, I told you, the best silver deal I've ever done, he says. Oh, <laughs> okay. Are you going to tell us where you're closing or are you keeping it to yourself? Pardon? Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Again, that is in my, that's base metal price. In fact, that's probably less than the base metal price. I paid nearly that for a coffee the other day and nearly had a heart attack when they told me how much it was. Mm. And it was about this. But you didn't get precious metal, did you? I got one coffee. It wasn't even that nice. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Six ninety nine. What do you reckon, jury makers? You can be the judge. Two thousand and eighteen. Oh. Ross started. Uh, do you reckon this is his best sterling silver price yet? It's a very, very good deal. I, 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 I. Probably Ross. That's crazy. Go to Pandora. Look at their simple sterling silver stretchy bracelets in a beaded design. Yeah. It's just elastic. That's all. That's yeah. all it is. What's that? Seventy pounds. I have to say, for Pandora, that's not bad. No. We're at ten percent, and you could make that bracelet, couldn't you? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's just a stretcher, yeah. Ten percent of that price. My my seven year old could make that bracelet. Oh yeah, this whole business is based on this on this bracelet model. Like I've seen at artisan markets, people that only have jewelry made up of spacer beads with charms on. Yeah. You know, you stack them, they look lovely. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if you are, you do make a lot of those, then look at this yeah. price. Amazing. Super good. Absolutely amazing. We had 200. Um, as you can imagine, they're flying out the door. Janet's got five. Jeanette's got three. Um, Elaine, Susan, hello to you. Angela getting two. Sandra getting two. Jacqueline getting three. Heather getting two. Uh, Ellen getting two. Noala getting two. Quantity you've got left? 33. Ooh. I've got way more than 33 names on the left hand side of your screen. So if you are Alison, Brenda, London, Carolyn, Jean, Dagmar, Maker, Maureen, Anne, Barbara, who wants five, West Midlands, um, Elizabeth, if you're Janice, Beverly, I can't keep up. Make sure you're checking out everybody. 200 on and gone because this is a moment in history for our producer Ross. The best sterling silver deal he's ever done, he says. Yep. Fair play, Ross. <laughs> is it repeatable though, Ross? That's the thing. Can you repeat something like this? I wouldn't have thought so, I always said. I wouldn't have thought so. No, I doubt it. Never say never, but you know. You could do it. These kind of prices, you could do sterling silver tassels. Oh, yes. What a good idea. Yeah, definitely. To go with a Nan Hong <gasps> that we had earlier on. Yes. Lovely. A couple of the Nan Hongs are still available, so if you think it, if your ears picked up, that would be amazing. Oh, you know? um, unbelievable! Or your jade, any of your jade, any of your lovely pearls. Mm. Like you, Debs, there is. If if I do make jewelry, it will include a space of each. Yeah, because it's so wearable. It's what you wear every yeah. day. And you mentioned it earlier on this morning, don't you? It's just like little sections. Yeah. Space of beads 
it does add a design element, doesn't it? It really does, yeah, it really does. And if you're gonna use lovely high-end gemstones, then you wanna use your precious metal. It's not gonna break the bank to add that precious metal, no. which is usually why you don't yeah. you use plated, but this certainly isn't gonna break the bank, is it? No, totally agree. Um, we've got single figures. I'll leave those with you jewellery makers. Do not go anywhere though, because we've got so much to bring you, including um, the final 30 peacock angelite bangle. Wow, it's one of the most sought after varieties of angelite in the world. It's so difficult to get hold of. Honestly, I was researching this yesterday. Couldn't find it anywhere else. No. Nowhere else. Um, and also in this size, I've never seen a bangle anywhere else. There is a story behind this, jewellery makers. You can thank our lovely Wayne for this opportunity, but it was an opportunity that we very nearly missed out on. Mm. Um, so that's coming up in the next hour, jewellery makers. Do not go anywhere. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets and we'll see you after this. <laughs> Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Friday, the 14th of June, where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom, and the crew. And there's definitely a high end feel, especially in my two project hours. For example, in the nine o'clock hour, I have got the undisputed king of the agates, Botswana. Two incredible kits both featuring most beautiful strands and teamed alongside these absolutely, I'm gonna say the word, cute sterling silver bead caps. So that's in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going definitely keeping on with the high end feel. I have been given the most extraordinary strands of hematite I think I've ever seen and worked with. Firstly, one of the project kits contains three strands of the most extraordinary high end polished hematite bicones. Never seen the shape before. Absolutely incredible. So I've made this beautiful bracelet so far. And then in the other project kit, a texture and a shape I've not worked with in hematite. Diamond matte. Absolutely extraordinary. We've got a peach tone, a rainbow tone, and this incredible anthracite grey. Absolutely beautiful. So that's in the 12 o'clock. So we've got Hematite in the 12, Incredible Botswana in the nine. Hope you can join myself and Carol from eight o'clock. Look forward to seeing you there. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker.
Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewellery Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Uh, do you know, a few weeks back, I booked uh, the bank holiday Monday off. And it was one of those, <sighs> I needed off, but I was also really sad because it meant I missed out on this opportunity to launch it. Um, I've got 30 available. This is the final 30. You've just got yours, haven't no, you? No, you've got 29 available. Sorry, I've got 29 because <laughs> Deb's just got, I don't blame you. Deb's, you've always been a massive advocate of this, Jemson, haven't you? Oh, I've, I mean, viewers were messaging me because I didn't see the show and saying, did you see the bangle? And it, yeah. there weren't any by the time I got on. So um, I just said to Ross, I really need this bangle. Yeah, so, well, um, we have managed 30 to get it. for you for today. So excited. That's it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's Wait till amazing. we see it, honestly. Oh. Now, we're going to talk about um, Angelite as a gemstone, firstly, because it's a very young gem in the gem world, comparatively speaking. Um, and then it, it took me down like a little rabbit hole last night when I was preparing for, to, uh, for this opportunity, because it was like, okay, so we love Angelite for lots of different reasons. Let's talk about that, because it's lots of metaphysical, but also emotional attachments yeah. to this gemstone. But then that got me thinking about, what is it about this color though that we love so much? Everybody loves this color. Mm. So I went down and that rabbit hole, and then I'll tell you about the story. Oh good. How it came about, how we actually have it on our screens. Because if you actually try and find Peacock Angel Light anywhere else, well I couldn't find anywhere, mm. especially in a bangle, mm. especially, because that's a large piece. Yeah. You remember, Angel Light is rare, forms usually much smaller so you've got to have a large piece of of, of angelite to begin to carve a bangle yeah that's why we've not seen them up until now anyway so what is angelite well most people when we talk about angelite we immediately think of the blue that's what was first discovered and is the more frequently seen However, it does form in other rare colours, this being one of them. Um, so, I, again, I, I really enjoyed putting together this presentation, so I hope you do like it as well. So, um, this sacred stone that's stashed out of sight uh, for many years was, one, was only discovered in 1987 in the mystical Inca lands of Peru. Um, it sometimes goes by the name anhydrite from the Greek term of without water. This is because angelite is born from parched areas where gypsum crystals once sat um, in the company of water. Um, as the thousands of years ticked on, the water dries up and the crystals get compressed and thus the gentle blue angelite is born. Since its discovery in Peru, it has also been mined in Britain Really? I never knew that. Poland, Libya, Germany, Mexico, and Egypt. Um, Angelite is as soft as silk in energy and physicality. It will transform back to gypsum when placed in water. So please keep it away from water. Really? Yes. Um, a reminder of the feeling of flow, that ethereal energy and change that drifts dreamily through this stone. Um, yes, I wouldn't do your dishes in your angelite. It's not a gemstone that likes to be near water for obvious reasons. Oh. Okay, so do be careful with it. But again, since it, it, it didn't form in 1987, it was discovered in 1987. 
So where does Peacock Angel like come from? Because in actual fact, most of us, like I said earlier on, will think about sort of the azure blue of the sky. But actually, peacock, you can also get green angelite, mm -hmm. which we've brought you as well. Peacock angelite is actually that perfect balance of the two. And so aptly named, like the beautiful bird that is the peacock itself. I saw this oil painting on Etsy. And I was like, you know what? If you could mix all of those colors together, plus add a little bit of silvery, silky chatoyancy, you've got the color that, that you're about to see in this gemstone. The blues into, into the green and then also those lovely creams um and then i was like okay well let's have a little look at photographs of peacocks because they are just beautiful aren't they oh look at those that. colors greens fusions of blues that heart shape that you see in the center just they're amazing aren't they absolutely amazing and then it took me to this room. You can see, you will literally see the rabbit hole that I went down last night. <laughs> so I was like, okay, from peacocks, it came up the palette. And I was like, well, this is interesting because actually, if you look at those palettes from pool blue to the vegan, to the uh, Alexandrite color, to the dyna uh, dy dynamic blue, sorry. You know, if you mix all those together again, you get that peacock palette, don't you, that you're seeing within this natural gemstone. And of course, peacocks are, are organic. They're mother nature created. Um, so those colors were not, um, are not enhanced, that's mother nature. Moving on, and you go, I was like, okay, so where, why do we love this color? Why is teal, that fusion of blue and green so popular and it took me to this article did you know that colors have an instant effect on our moods it's known to be able to stimulate a range of emotions we have to make your life extra colorful with this read oh sorry we hope to make your life extra colorful with this read today we're talking about something that's aesthetically pleasing and universally loved pastel color palettes um one you can't go wrong with because i was looking at those peacocks and I was like yeah but it's more pastel than that isn't it it's slightly mm. more pastel mm. so that's kind of what I researched and they says pastel colors are subtle on the eye and deliver a range of emotions like love affection joy romance calmness peace satisfaction and considering they derived out of uh, pure colors no gray or black added they're quite the sight um, Teal combines the calming properties of blue with the renewal qualities of green. It is a revitalizing and rejuvenating color that also represents open communication and clarity of thought. For Tibetan monks, teal is symbolic of the infinity of the sea and the sky, while in, uh, it is the color of truth and faith for Egyptians. Teal pops with, uh, with bright colors, uh, sorry, bright white and coral, and works well with cream, navy, brown, and pinks. It is also, uh, it also sets off metallic colors such as silver and gold. So again, okay, I get why we love it. This is a gemstone that literally has had lots of meaning throughout mm. thousands of years, natural fat. And have you noticed it's popping up everywhere, like Malachite did? It's absolutely everywhere now. It's an interior design. You can get, teal colored sinks mirrors walls fireplaces and, and there's an article here written in 2021 why teal is so popular a color trend here to stay i've got teal in my living room i bet mm. i bet because it's one of those colors that you're you're wearing a shade of teal I, i'm obsessed with teal yeah I, i'm obsessed with it uh what sorry our logo yeah our our set itself, the colorway behind me. But here's a color that pops up in nature frequently. Yeah. Pastel palettes are not something invented by us, rather it's a gift from nature. You can find pastel colors um, in a lot of natural elements like the sky, water, flowers, fruit, wood, pebbles, and even across species. Look how beautiful. That, that's that, that is angelite color, isn't it? Yeah. Or rather peacock angelite in that fan, in that yeah. tail. Again, we shouldn't be surprised by this. Um, premium jewelry brands like Tiffany are, pri uh, are a prized possession for customers. The jewelry is delicate and to be taken care of. Look at the actual palette of colors. Mm. 
that we're seeing within this article, it is again your peacock angelite. Um, High-end uh, chocolates. Uh, truffles speak the language of love and romance using soft tones of teal, pink and white, giving it uh, a balmy look. The metallic text is the cherry on the cake. A perfect luxury gift. If you think about your peacock angelite, you actually have that silky light presence within mm. it, don't you? Mm. Or chatoyancy. I just dropped this one in there because I thought it was interesting. You can actually get an angelite paint. 69 quid for paint. Oof. I mean, it's a nice color, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure I'm paying 69 quid for a tin of paint. That's a lot, isn't it? But there's that influence in your mm. interior design. And again, Mother Nature. It's, if I could take this picture, maybe add a little more, more green to that mm. photograph, you've got your peacock angelite. So I was thinking, why do we love it so much? Well, because it's all these things, all these photographs in one natural gemstone. In this one, one amazing yeah. gems, gemstone. This is perfect, this picture. Yeah, it's that ocean. And ironic that there's so much water there, and yet the bangle's completely void of water. Isn't yes. that ironic? Yeah. Now, the story, jewelry makers, because here's a gemstone that whenever we bring it to air, sells out yeah. in a heartbeat. It's gone. It probably will be voted, I reckon, for 2024, up there with one of the most popular gemstones. However, we can't, we really, I say we, Wayne really struggles to get hold of this. We've all asked, we have all asked. Moving forward, we have been offered peacock angelite with yellow inclusions. Those inclusions, it's, it's still gonna, I, I don't dislike it. It's, it should be more affordable because it's got the presence of the yellow color. This is a photograph that Wayne received. Hi Wayne, uh, can you use such peacock angelite rounds with yellow inclusions? I mean, it's nice, but it's not as good as quality is the point um, as what you've known previously. We might have to accept it, jewelry makers, because the reality is we can't get the purest peacock angelite anymore. Also, something else that's very, very interesting about this bangle, when it was purchased, the central part, and we do this with jade as well, the central part we used as a carving. Ah. That what was, was what was originally offered. Okay, so, so and it, I didn't realize it was Bernard either. So Bernard, who actually offered us Angelite, he says, I placed two orders for an Angelite, a bangle and a disc, which goes in the center. Just before they were due to be shipped, I was informed that they were unable to fulfill the order as the entire commission had been bought by a Chinese buyer who paid three times the price we had been quoted. Oh. So, okay, so wait, wait, Bernard was the middleman. So, okay, I get it. So Bernard was buying the Angelite. We were then gonna buy it from Bernard. However, Bernard couldn't buy it because they were somebody that bought it for three times the price. What completely sold out? Three times the price. So there's that. Remember, Dave was talking about this the other day, wasn't he? He was saying we don't always tell you what we're buying because things like that happen. Yeah, and then it's like teasing. He said, he "I don't like to tease you with what exactly. you can't have," didn't he? And then what? As a good gesture, because we have got a fantastic relationship with Bernard. He is wonderful. He comes to the his studios. Um, the team travel over to him as well um, and he said look to keep relations because it's important and obviously he was very mindful of the fact that unfortunately he, he sort of well I don't want to say let us down um, unintentionally let us down um, on that opportunity he offered us all of his existing angelite bangles at an apology price I don't know what this launched for, is it? There is exactly 30 available. Natural peacock angelite. Some savvy collectors have got this on pre-order. Me. <laughs> Deb's been one of them. Anybody, oh, it's stunning, isn't it? Look at that, when we talk, do you know why I, another reason why I love Peacock Angelite? Because I love the, the traditional blue, but Peacock Angelite is more angelic. Does that make sense? Yes, it is. 
there is more of a like if you imagine like a guardian angel's wings yes it's that isn't it yes you can see that and it's all totally natural that's beautiful that's absolutely stunning it's the areas of translucency it's those beautiful feather like patterns it's totally natural this is not enhanced and it is fast becoming our most popular gemstone here at jewelry maker but the only issue is and we'd love to be able to say yeah it's the number one gem um you've you, you know you buy this the most it probably won't ever reach that status not because of want but because we simply won't have the offerings to bring the bring to you here's a very rare gemstone particularly in this amazing color we had 30 savvy collectors have shocked ahead on this and in six seconds the graphics will appear is it any wonder we love this color? Again, is it any wonder we love those silky like patterns? It is, it, there's a level of etherealness. There's a beautiful natural shade that is offered through mother nature and has been adored for literally centuries. Debbie, guest designer, you were the first one. Yay! <laughs> You're not alone though. <laughs> Libby and Berkshire's there. Janice is there, Cumbria is there. I don't know what this is going to, folks. Cumbria is there. I only had 30. Look at that. Oh. It, it's just... It's one of those gemstones. You know, if you were to go to a spa... Yeah. And you instantly hear that lovely music that they play in the background. Yeah. And you just immediately just de-stress and unwind and relax. It's... If you were to take those feelings and put it in something that's visual, it's peacock angelite, isn't it? I'm glad you said that because I find wearing, you know, my, my yeah. uh, peacock angelite bangles that I wear all the time, uh, bracelets rather, I find them very, very comforting and very calming. And I'm really drawn to this gemstone and I don't yeah. often question why when I'm really drawn to a gemstone. Can I just say thank you to all the people that messaged me last time it was on and said, Deb, there's a bangle. I did not know. I didn't think oh. I'd get a chance to get it again. And that was so kind of you to think of me when you think of this gemstone. Um, it's absolutely stunning. If you get this, if you're lucky enough to get this, it's absolutely amazing. It's like it's got <coughs> angel wings. like Inside. Feathers, clouds. Yeah. <laughs> How close can we get to this? Just because... Look at that. Can you see that chatoyancy? And Isn't that's totally natural. It's like it's like someone's captured, like you said, that feeling and the magic and the... It, it, it really is. Into a gemstone. Yeah. And it's, but it makes me think, yeah, of course Tiffany's and Co. use a teal, or pastel teal, as it's described. Of course Mother Nature's produced it in some of the most beautiful species. Yeah. Of course it might be the most wonderful landscape that you might see. Of course, this is a colour that historically has been has 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 had lots of beliefs and metaphysical associations yeah. to it. Of course, of course, there's. I don't think there's a single person on this planet that wouldn't love this colour. No. Are you ready? At seven nine nine, it's not what you pay him. K in in Kent, you've got yours. I've got Cumbria. Who wants two? Oh, Debs. I think it's priceless. I mean, it said £4,000 when I checked out and I knew it wasn't going to be that. I actually still don't know what it's going to, but I don't care. It's that piece for me. I have to have it. Yeah, you do have to have this. I have to have it. <laughs> this is a very you piece. It's so, oh. It's you and a gemstone as well because you're very calming and peaceful. Oh, thank you. And lovely. Oh, thank you. I find it just very comforting and I love it so much. So I needed the bangle. Good luck, everyone. Look at that. I mean, oh, it's gorgeous. There is no other gem like it. You know, you know uh, Seraphonite has like a silvery... Yeah. Can't get that either. Oh, really? Um, Seraphonite, but it's a dark colour, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's much more moody. Mm. Whereas this is that pretty, pastel, delicate, calming, beautiful angelic metaphysical all those things perfectly captured and when have you ever seen it in a cut in a bangle before when have you ever seen peacock angel like anywhere else before and we like i said and bernard is one of the most prolific gem traders probably in the world to be honest 
He's a massive uh, um, authority, I suppose, on rare gemstones. So, of course, he's going to be our go-to. But he says, look, I placed two orders for Angel Light, a bangle um, and a disc where the center was cut out. Uh, so that would have been carving. Um, just before we were, it was, they were due to be shipped, I was informed that they were unable to fulfill the orders. The entire commission had been bought by the Chinese buyer. So basically, if you can imagine, the person that Bernard was buying from was the miner. If you imagine that, or the mine owner, oh, yeah. um, if you like. So basically, someone's gone along and the Chinese uh, um, uh, buyers or uh, Chinese gem traders quite often will fly around different loca fly into different locations and say, well, I'll offer you this much. I'll offer you that much, three times the price. So basically, and it cut, cut Bernard out of that situation. But to keep those relationships strong, which he didn't need to, to be honest, cause, uh, um, but he actually said, look, I have got, I have got some angel like bangles that you can you can purchase, but, but they, it was limited, and the deal that you're about to see is is thanks to Bernard. It was his apology price. You know, it might have actually done you favors missing out on that first price, that first parcel. Although not as many to go around. That's true. Are you ready? £299 is not your price. We're going to do a huge price crash. <gasps> Still Seriously? not your final price. For a bangle of this carat weight, natural gemstone, irreplaceable. You try and find it elsewhere. I did it last night. And like I said, it was probably a good, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours I spent uh, um, reading up on Pe Peacock Angel Eye. I'm probably actually trying to find it elsewhere. Um, I found the green. You can find the green, but it's not the same. No, it's it not isn't the same. the same as, it's still lovely, don't get me wrong, but it's not the same as Peacock Angel Eye. Look at those feathering patterns. That is huge. Pa sorry? The, chi the demand for it in China is so high. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's so beautiful. You know, you describe certain gemstones as, oh, that's feminine. Oh, that's pretty. This is stunning. No way near enough people on the phone lines. Ross has stopped the, uh, stopped the clock. Okay. We're at 199. I'm already shopping today. You know, I'm more than happy to drop one of these into my order as well, Roscoe. It's, it's been a little bit special. We, we aren't likely to be able to replace this. In fact, it, getting even strands. We will be able to bring you Peacock Angel Light, but it will have yellow inclusions. Well, we've had this conversation with Wayne where I've said I love it so much and he's, he kind of looked at me and went, I can't get it, Deb. I can't get this quality. I'll, you know, I've tried. And that yeah. was a couple of months ago when I last saw him. Um, you know, and how are we going to, if you love something so much and you want and you really need it, I think you have to get it, something like this, when you see it, if you can, obviously. You've just quote, quoted probably unknowingly Richard Wise right there. Oh, did I? <laughs> Literally you have. See the secrets of the gem trade. That's what Richard Wise said. If you see something that you love in a gemstone and you can afford it, get it. Mm. Because the reality is... You won't be able to. It probably will deplete, or it probably will run out, or the price will go up. Mm. That's the reality. I, I, I mean, in amongst those pages, I know, I know Jake shared that with you before. If you see something that you love in the gem world, and you can afford it, get it. That's how I feel, like, and I do absolutely love it. We're going okay. lower, Debs. There were only 30 available, I, I don't know though. what I'm paying. I mean, not 199. I put it in my basket of 4,000 pounds. I'm really hoping that it didn't go to that. No. <laughs> but this is irreplaceable jewelry makers. We can bring you Peacock Angel like moving forward, but it will have the yellow inclusions. Um, and it's lovely. I don't, I don't dislike the no, yellow inclusions, but it's not, it's not as high a quality as what we've had pre previously. So get it now. We are over allocated now, jewelry makers. Well done. Look at those feathery chatoyant patterns that naturally occur. Ken, Leslie, Maker, Kay, Janice, Libby, Debs. You have got Jane, Sue, Yorkshire, Janice, Dorothy, Kent, Tina. Anonymous Maker who wants four. Cumbria who wants two. 
Jane in Worcestershire has just snapped up too. Well done, Jane. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's like a pearlescence that naturally occurs. Jane, the reality is, Cumbria, you've just bought two for what one should be. When you compare to all the other bangles, two nine nine, would you be in shock by that? No, I no, not at that all. That would be fantastic. I mean, I didn't. It was probably silly. I didn't know what what it was going to go to, but I just knew that I, I needed it, and I know us. I I thought maybe two nine nine. Worst case scenario, you could cancel it, couldn't you? And yeah, but I was I thought, well, I'll just get it on split if it's more expensive yeah. than I think, because I have to have it. Yeah. And I think if you love gemstones and you're drawn to something like this that you know, and I've heard from the horse's mouth from Wayne, that he can't get it. He cannot get this quality at the minute. And I'm like, if Wayne says he can't get it, I trust him, so I need it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, absolutely. Well, he's got no reason to say differently, has he? And he went, Deb, I can't get it. I can't get this if quality. You, I'm trying. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, he could easily go, yeah, I've got more on order. That's mm. fantastic. There's a showcase coming up. Yes. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't do us any harm by saying that. No, but he would the say, reality he? is he can't. No, he said he I can't cannot get it. Get it. No. Um, and it's so beautiful. It's the only bangle that we've got in Peacock Angelite, and it is most likely uh, to be the only bangle that we will ever have as well of Peacock Angelite. Because again, you've got to remember how this gem forms. Can we go back to that? Um, oh wow, good call, Dan. <gasps> oh, and it looks like clouds. Oh, that's stunning. Watch this, guys. It's magic! That's stunning, isn't it? <laughs> Look! There's only nine chances remaining, jewelry makers. That's amazing. I don't want it? to wait for mine. I want it now. <laughs> you sure want it now? Can Debs have this one? Oh my goodness me. Tina, you've done it. Jay, you've done it. Sorry, you've done it. Ross has just said, I want one now. Um, amazing well done everybody we only had 30 opportunities down to the Whoop. final seven can we yeah it says so let's go back to the first article that i found that was beautifully written i thought these aren't my words by the way it says the sacred stone was stashed out of sight for many years and was only discovered in 1987 in the mystical inca islands of peru it sometimes goes by the name anhydrite from greek from the greek term without water this is because angelite is born from parched areas where gypsum crystals once sat in the company of water as the thousands of years tick on the water dries up and the crystal gets compressed and thus the gentle blue angelite is born since its discovery in peru it has also been mined in britain poland libya uh, germany mexico and egypt Angelite is as soft as silk. Surprised angelite forms in Britain, considering it needs to be dry. <laughs> Sorry, that's just popped into my head. Angelite is as soft as silk in energy and physicality. It will transform back to gypsum when placed in water. So again, please do keep, keep your angelite away from water. Um, and same as opals, you should keep opals yep. away from, uh, from water as well. A reminder of the feeling of flow, that ethereal energy and change that drifts dreamily through it oh. it does doesn't it it's a dreamy gem a minute to close jewelry makers and it's totally natural i've got just two left 37 pounds and 25 pence on your split pay i've got how many 21 in baskets for the final two so there's going to be people who are going to be missing out dorothy i can see you there on the phone lines don't wait too long lovely i only got two and I've got, like I said, 27 other people on the web or on the phone lines. Dorothy, stay where you are, lovely. Oh, sorry. Not, I thought you meant waiting to press your option one. Sorry, I can see you there, Dorothy. You've pressed your option one. Our call centre will get to you, Dorothy. Stay where you are. <laughs> sorry. Not, she's like, I'm, what, what can I do? Sorry, lovely. No, our call centre will get to you. You've pressed your option one. Um, so fingers crossed, my darling. Uh, Kent, Tina, new customers, another Kent. Oh, Kent's just got it. There's one left. Oh, Dorothy, I hope you get it. Good luck. Good luck. By the way, your yeah. masterclass lucite flowers. Yes, Dad's. yes. 
have gone crazy. It looks like flowers and a peacock angel at the same show. I know. It's more and than this I can is like take. a dream come true for you, this isn't is it? This is like my dream show. I, I'm doing my dream job on my dream show with my dream presenter ah. and my dream cameraman and my dream crew uh. and Lauren, my dream Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> All we need is a dog in here and I'll be just She's in heaven. In literally the stuff of dreams. <laughs> stuff of dreams. Yeah, dogs make everything. Yeah, just a little doggy down here and I just I'd never leave. They'd have to yeah. chuck me out. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be great if we did actually we were allowed to bring our dogs to us to work? Like all of our dogs. I can imagine. That would be so funny. <laughs> we should be like, no, stop yeah, um, hold on. It, stop it. Sit. No, leave him alone. He <laughs> doesn't like that. No, you lie down. <laughs> Brutus would cause carnage. <laughs> he would. So you know he would. She'd be going left. She goes left all the time in a circle. <laughs> she just goes left. She goes left. Like I taught her just left spins. when she was a puppy. Like left. And she goes left. So now she just goes left. And so I go to her. Don't hurt yourself. You just relax. Just don't hurt yourself. Every yeah. time. Do you want to go in the garden? Left. 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 <laughs> if you said it. If you said. Oh. <laughs> if you said anything remotely close to walk. Pork. I can't say that in our house. <laughs> can't say pork. Can't do it. Because of those people like that. Huh? <laughs> can't say pork in our house. Sorry, Roscoe. Let's do some last and stop Jade <laughs> opportunities, shall we? Huh? Fast and pacey. Thank Fast you, my favourite, Lauren. <laughs> you want to do some Jade Out strands? Which one? <sighs> the old mech, righto. In fact, this again, this is very similar to those photographs that we were showing earlier on, isn't it? I think some might describe this as a lovely teal. Oh, look at the it colour It is a teal, that. isn't it? Don't show me that. I'm not buying anything else today. No one's got split play. <laughs> I'm an enabler. <laughs> You've always got split play. You have. Remember, the mind's cl Well, it's not closed, <laughs> but it's not being mined. It's not being mined at the moment. The Olmec, Guatemalan Olmec uh, Jade Opportunity, which is far smaller um, than the Burmese operation ever was. And that's because of course that um, ancient Mayan mask that has recently been discovered. So of course archeologists are in there um, doing their research, uh, discovering about this amazing civilization that we know so little. Now, how many do we have Roscoe? Five, last of stock, we're already too low. For Guatemalan type A Olmec blue, the only place in the world that produces this teal blue color of jadeite. And it is natural jadeite as well. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Something's tickled, Dan. <laughs> 37 pounds. 37 pounds and 45, is it on split pay? You know that's too low, don't you? 25, well done, well done, well done, well done. Um, oh, it would have gone lovely with a peacock angel eye. Lavender jade eye in, a, in clearance. Six available. Silly, 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 silly. I don't know where my tweezers have gone. I've lost my tweezers. Anyway, we'll manage. So, hang on. There is, I don't know if you can see just there. Can you see the bar across? Oh. So you can knot directly onto those. That's cool. Very cool. Just four of these left, 499. The fact you've got lavender jade out means that this should be a much higher price tag, jewelry makers. Lavender, um, I'm gonna say probably lavender and red are actually the rarest in terms of their formation, particularly if they're Burmese. And that's because um, jade out needs to have a vanadium presence to actually transform to this beautiful lavender color. It's rare and it's a rare element of Burma. Um, we only had four opportunities. We're gonna do some last of stock deals between now and your Lucite Flower uh, Masterclass. Very excited about that. They are available on pre-order. Look at that, those colors. So yeah. difficult. Well, when's the last time we saw lavender jade eye? Have we had it? That can't, lavender, I can't remember the I mean, last that time. Lavender is strong in the colour, isn't it? It's probably it? the I, most lavender yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I think so. 99.99. And you get the sterling silver clasp. Beautiful. <gasps> Look at the colour. Yeah, I mean, even if that was just like four lavender beads for 99.99. Yeah. 
or the green even if, at 99.99 that should just get me the apple green jadeite and even that's too low jane in worcestershire you could be the first to get involved you do it's like a mini project jane um so that you could knock them all together if you want to obviously add you can um you might be thinking okay i'm gonna add some pearls to this i might, I might add some of the guatemala and might add some peacock angel like why not um beautiful i've also got jay on the app make sure you're checking out your baskets i only had four Jeanette's there in nottinghamshire as well sorry's there as well on the phone lines for the lavender jade eye alone at that price that's crazy um need to move on remember your lucite flower masterclass is coming up oh these are stunning <laughs> oh I don't know what they're all laughing at. <laughs> I was I was trying to take a sneaky si sip of tea. <laughs> uh -huh. And then Dan puts the picture, the camera on my drawing, there's me in the background having a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. You're I'm trying to be professional. I just need a sip of tea. <laughs> uh, no, you don't need to be. You just I'm have sorry. a cup of tea. It's I'm, fine. I'm, I'm we just don't here, mind, just do we? I'm to have a little tea. <laughs> beautiful look at that imperial pure white jadeite faceted six millimeter ads that is breathtaking ross five left within the vault 299 not your price last of stock opportunities look at that dance of luster that's beautiful oh a full 38 centimeter strand what ross what are you doing today are you broken? At $69.99, far too low. This with, this with any of the strands, look, 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 hang on. Look, with your Guatemalan, look how beautiful that is. With your lavender, look how beautiful that is. Think of the jewelry they're going to be creating out of this. Oh my goodness. How about with some pinking, uh, pink uh, jadeite? Yeah, we've got that coming up as well. And last of stock opportunities, everyone. Um, well done. Make sure you're checking out faceted. These are the only faceted ones that we actually have. I'm going to bring you a very pretty carving here. So this is... Let's double check. Oh, it's the butterfly one. Oh, wow. Hand carved in a high goo. High goos are sometimes left smooth. Oh, there's the one. There's one. High goos are sometimes left smooth, sometimes they have very intricate detailed carvings like this. Can you see the little butterfly over the flowers? Oh yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Oh look at the different colours together in this one, all the like the spinach green and then oh this one's beautiful. I've not seen this one before. Like an English country garden. It is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. So pretty. One in the world for ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Well, one left, sorry, in our vault, I should say. Oh, beautiful. And again, carved by hand. Um, the Haigu symbol or the pie disc as well. It's, there's different meanings depending on which uh, civilization you're talking to. Uh, moving on to what, sorry? The yellow. Oh, this is one of my favorite colors, these are. One price crash. This is the one that you're going to be getting, jewelry makers. Oh, that's lovely. It's a lovely color, yeah. That's beautiful. And it's natural one of the rarest colors so yellow comes under the red umbrella of the of the gia uh i'm sorry of the jadeite color wheel two of you showing interest for the last one so i'll leave it with you good luck which one pink it's lovely this pink one beautiful again don't imagine you're not going to be getting a barbie pink it's a very subtle pink um oh it's pretty though oh look at that oh that's gorgeous it's almost like a kunzite pink isn't yeah it? very delicate very subtle um and again worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity the only information that won't show on your certificate is the price that you pay um because that's no reflection of the true value or worth of course and if you do go on to sell it or if you want to value it then you don't want to be looking at what's on your screens um it should it should be reflective of the true rarity remember burmese jade eye is mined out that's 800 years of history done that happened in 2020 and we are looking at some of the rarest colors pink is not a frequently seen color of the a variety of this gemstone 
Let's see how many people are watching. We've got 10 available. What? <laughs> really? I'm watching. Do I count? I'm watching. Do we count? If we're quick enough. As a member of staff, can I buy it for that price? No, right. Better off getting it now. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Nicola in Worcestershire, well done. Kent, well done. West Midlands, uh, Deborah. I, there's too many of you there for me to, I can't, I mean, Deborah, Kent, Nicola, you've done it. I've got West Midlands, Elaine, West Midlands, Tracy, Maker, Angela, Suja, Lorraine, Deborah in Essex. I can't keep up with you. Leslie in County Durham. I've only got five. Sue just got two. Well done. Elaine in Essex, you can do it. You just got to check out. 39.99. More like 139.99. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be good. In fact, when we launched it, wouldn't have been more that like that. 139, don't you think, Ross? When we launched it, it would have been more like 139. Yeah. Just casual 100 pounds back into your pocket. <laughs> it's all right. It definitely would have been that price, says Ross. <laughs> Amazing. Look at that. Did we forget momentarily the rarity of jadeite? Did we forget momentarily that this is type A grade? Natural shades of grey. You can deconstruct this if you wish. Look how beautifully glossy they are. So remember only yesterday we were showing you that photograph of the carved elephant? remember that bluish gray carved elephant and we were showing we've shown that um gray long line necklace on first dibs isn't it about eight grand no it's more than that isn't it can you remember the gray jadeite necklace on first dibs with the carved white jadeite beads in between can you remember how much was it The necklace, just over £10,000. I mean, you could so easily be inspired by that piece, couldn't you? And that, recreate a version oh, of yeah. it. Yeah, that is so chic. I mean, wow. It's beautiful. Yeah. Close out deals, jewellery makers. That luster as well. It's not often you see that amazing luster, particularly with the, with the grey colour. It tends to be a bit more opaque. I, I agree, that does feel like, yeah, yeah. I, Ross is saying, I feel like that's a mistake. It's not a mistake, it is intentional on his part, but fantastic in terms of the price. Should it be 149? No. No, it is last of stock. When you say last of stock, do you say four? Four available. Margaret in Littlehampton, well done. I've got Jane in Worcestershire, Maker wanting to, and I've got Oxfordshire. So if everybody checks out right now, oh, hang on, we're over allocated. I think this is going to be a sellout imminently. Um, shop with us on the web. Shop with us on the app if you can. Stay where you are on the phone lines. I only had four. That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. It's 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 the luster of these. I don't know how close you can get to them, but look at those. There's two left. Look at that. Wow. Swansea, you've done it. Well done. I've got Lorraine, Warren, Nicolette, Maker, and I've got Oxfordshire there. I'll leave it with you. There's only one left. They're beautiful. Seven in baskets. Amazing. Dark green jadeite. Technically speaking, all black jadeite is actually not black. It's dark green. Um, it takes millions of years longer to actually achieve this colour. So... And there's no way of actually speeding that process up. We're going to do this in one price crash because I've only got two. I'd use this with the faceted white ones we had earlier on. £69.99. Just so we know, if anyone else just tuned in or maybe 
didn't, did, did, ha, ha, did, is new to Jedi. This is still one of the world's rarest gemstones. In fact, it's in the top 10 rarest gemstones out of the 4,000 minerals that exist on our planet. That's incredible. And actually, it's probably gone up recently because in 2020, it was uh, the Burmese mine was mined out. Or not mined out, closed. I don't know if there's still offerings underneath. It's very, it's very secretive, that location. Um, but supplies down, demands up. Prices skyrocketed. This is one of the world's rarest and most valuable gemstone. And here's a little jewelry maker going, yeah, 69.99. We've only got two. We've only got two within our vault. <laughs> it is crazy, isn't it? Swansea, Sharon, you're there. Jane, you're there. I'll leave it with you. Tracy's there as well. Good luck. Let's do. Oh yeah, the old Mac bars. These are lovely. Has anyone seen my tweezers? I'm sorry. I kind of need them. I didn't throw them out. I know I had them earlier on. Where have they gone? <laughs> They'll be on your board then, Al, that's under the desk, dear me. I know. Um, okay. Beautiful Guatemalan jade eye. <laughs> um, can you see at the top there as well? You've got a little drill hole. Can you see that? Into the bar. I mean, you could just literally pop those on a shepherd hook, couldn't you? These are quite new, aren't they? They had 150 down to the final seven. Yeah, and it kind of tapers, Adam's mm. saying. Like, kind of, yeah, pinches in at the top. Beautiful design and really showcases the fine crystal structure. Um, yeah, we had 150. We're down to the final few. Going even lower though, jewelry makers. Not 99.99. I remember this, Ross. It's madness. This. Still, we're still talking teal, aren't we? Earrings. Yeah. And it's natural. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, twenty nine. There are certain auctions that do stick in your mind, and I remember. I remember it like yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I knew it was crazy. You remember it because it is a crazy low price. Yeah, almost for the wrong reasons, but the right reasons at the same time. And an unusual shape. Yeah, yeah. Imagine they're really difficult to carve. I yeah. Imagine. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, okay, we're gonna do this one price crash. There is only one. The last, very, very, some of our last actual type A jadeite carvings that we have in the business. Um, oh, it's pretty. Oh. And this is the one that you're getting. Type A jadeite. <laughs> the only one that we have uber rare because of course it forms onto um only on the skin of the boulder um amazing what do you say russ hi goo bracelet i love this it's absolutely gorgeous so i mean i know some people could make this but i probably couldn't look you've actually got multiple high goos and then you've got the red high goo in the center launch price how much 149 yeah worth every single penny of it look how beautiful that macrame work is amazing and it's one size fits all effectively so you, you slide it out which i'll do so in a second um and then tighten it up like so 10 carats of beautiful carved high goos at We used to do this shape individually, didn't we? By by parcels. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not. It's not even worth your while making it yourself. How many have you got? Have the high goos in total? Have we counted them? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-first <gasps> birthday. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? That, yeah, it's so unisex as well, isn't it? It is very unisex, mm. yeah, absolutely. You can deconstruct it if you wish, jewellery makers. Um, well done, well done, well done. Uh, 
Pink Jade Out Rounds. Well, the first round sold out, didn't it? Um, I've got 10 again of these limited. Your loose site flowers are coming up. Jewelry makers use this time to shop ahead. They are available on pre order and they are going crazy. Um, brand new loose site flowers. First time in the small sizes. Yeah, Very perfect. Exciting. <laughs> very exciting um i've got 10 of these and again i need to emphasize it's not going to be like our graphics pink um it is totally natural we're talking about a beautiful blossom pink lovely yeah like cherry oh, blossom look at that isn't it lovely yeah that's beautiful stunning it's a suggestion a whisper i think we said originally yes a whisper of pink and it is totally natural rare very very rare so pink is very closely associated to the lavender colors of your jade eye um you get it needs a vanadium presence to actually form this lovely color down to the final eight <laughs> 79.99 your mind back three four years ago when we first really not first we had jade eye before that but really entered into thanks to bernard actually um really entered into what I'd, i've always described as like a jade eye fever mm -hmm. um where certainly my knowledge grew um this would have been a 200 pound strand yeah and that's outstanding yeah wouldn't it it would have been 199 this strand ross easily for some reason the, 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 the actual supply is less. The quantity that we have within our vault is far less, but the price seems to be going down instead of up. Anyway, last of stock opportunities, well done. Swansea, Jenny's got two, Maker, Hertfordshire, Nicola in Worcestershire. Um, £26 and 66 pence on your 0% interest split payment. These will be lovely with your Lucite flowers. Everything's lovely with the Lucite flowers. That's true. That's very, very true. Do you know what else look lovely with pink jade eye? Ooh. Lucite flowers all on pre-order. An amazing black jade eye strand. Okay, oh, this is lovely. Beautiful. Takes millions of years. Eh? Oh, hang on, I've picked up the wrong one. Is it the faceted one? Yeah, but that's not faceted. Hang on. Oh, what? Oh, the are they called Blackmore fish? You'll know which ones I'm on about when you see these, and they're all different. You'll love this, Debs. You know they're like the least aerodynamic fish in the world. <laughs> yeah, they're so cute. They're really clumsy, aren't yeah. they? Oh, look at those! Aren't they amazing? I've never seen that before. Can you see how you've got the, like the double, mm -hmm. they have a double t tail, don't Fan they? Fan tail, don't they? Yeah. Um, and then the googly eyes. And then you have the strands. Oh, that what is a lovely stunning. project. Wow. They're very lucky, apparently, these, uh, these types of... Uh, uh, Types of goldfish. Our graphics say guppies. I don't know if they're guppies. I think they're actually a, a type of goldfish. I don't think guppies, guppies have googly eyes. They're the blackmores. But they're very, yeah, 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 very sought after and considered lucky as well. Uh, Swansea, Jenny, Susan in Newport. I'm loving these. Um, I should say as well that, I don't know if you can see on the reverse of this little fishy, you have got a drill hole there, very discreet little fishy. Look how pretty they are. I've only got two left. We'll do it in one price crash. Are they guppies? No. I think they're fan-tailed. I think they're blackmores. Yeah. One price crash, jewelry makers. I've only got the two. Guppies are lovely. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> didn't that photograph that I show you earlier on um, weren't they guppies wasn't that one a guppy here we go this is the black wall fish I'll show you I'm sure it's these it's these little guys hang on let's click on it because some of those look a little bit they are Blackmore, aren't they? Yeah, it looks just like that. Look how cute they are. Oh. Uh, 99.99, well done. Um, last auction of this hour before we dive into your masterclass. 
Um, the Olmec, this one. Yeah, so where well, you actually get, it's, it's, it's classed as a jump ring earring set. So basically, and it's actually on like a cord. Can you see that? So um, you get two of the columns and then you get two of the donuts effectively, um, which are drilled because obviously they're knotted together. Can you see that? I think they are anyway. Um, but basically you can make a pair of earrings. If you don't want to do earrings, then you could very easily use it elsewhere. That's the joy of being a jewelry maker. Now the last auction, that's some of the finest translucency that I've seen in Guatemalan Jade. First price crash. Olmec, remember this mine is closed currently. It's not mined out, but that's because um, an ancient mine mask has been discovered and now the archeologists are obviously have blocked the area, banned any mining. First price crash until, just to double check, obviously that there's not any more historically significant pieces. <gasps> not what you're paying. Oh goodness, how many have we got? 40 available opportunities. Wow. Ridiculous, says Ross. Ross, why do we take this to? It can't go. I mean, hang on. That alone hmm. is too low. We used to do we used to do Guatemalan jade by pairs like this, didn't we? We did we didn't have massive quantities of them when we first launched it. I I, I don't know how we've gone, like I said, and the mine's closed at the at the moment, so Anyway, <clears throat> it's happening. We've got 40 available. Margaret, Jeanette, West Midlands, Swansea, Anne-Marie, Jenny, hello to you, uh, Gillian, West Midlands, Lynn. Je uh, Jenny in Surrey's just got three. I don't blame you, Jenny. Guess what? We go even lower than this. The finale of your jadeite before we step into it. All things floral and beautiful lucite flowers. 300 of the masterclass projects are available. I encourage shopping ahead. It's going to an amazing deal, I promise you of that. I had 40 of these. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's good, very, very good. Yeah, yeah, we're bringing one of the world's rarest gemstones and making it affordable. That's seven pound 50 an earring. Yes. That's cheaper than Claire's accessories. Yes. It really is. <laughs> like for plastic. Yeah. Effectively. You're getting a beautiful, rare, genuine gemstone steeped in history with the most amazing story attached to it. I had 40, but they're flying. Well done, Wendy, Margaret, Kathy. Hello to you, Kerry, Kent, Millie, Elizabeth, uh, Jeanette. Swansea, Wendy, Tanya, Jean, Gillian, Dagmar, Jane, Joanne is busy jewelry makers and it's about to get a whole lot busier because in the next hour, Debs's masterclass is all about wonderful lucite flowers. You've been shopping ahead. First time in these smaller sizes though, aren't they? Yeah, like the little bells. You have got, um, you know, the open flowers as well, but they're also smaller. So, um, yes. I and the wisteria earrings. I love them. I know uh, guest designer Monica was eyeing these up. <laughs> she was like, uh, yeah. And daffodils. I love the daffodils. Yeah, daffodils were Daisy's idea. Love that. She went, oh, that could be a daffodil. Put that in there. And I was like, I'm going to use that. Thank you. There you much. go. Minute to close. Clock to close this. And then we're going to be, uh, then we're gonna, I'm going to make my way over to see the Lucite Flower projects. I'm definitely getting involved on this as well. Um, yeah, beautiful Guatemalan type A jade eye. That is ridiculous, isn't it? 14 pounds and 99 pence. I mean, I'd happily pay that and more actually for just one of those donut shapes which are carved so beautifully with that amazing translucency. Um, they will be an on-screen sellout for sure. Your Wall of Fame is coming up as well after the break, Jewelry Makers, and of course your demonstration. There are 300 of the Masterclass projects, Jewelry Makers, or rather I should say there were. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get a couple of those as well. I think the girls would absolutely love them. Summer holidays is coming up, isn't it? Yes. They're gonna need entertaining. True. Um, I say that, but I also want to work with them. Send them to me. Okay. I'll entertain <laughs> them. I love them. They're so cute. Oh, amazing. Good luck. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Lucite flowers coming up in your masterclass and the wonderful Debs after this. <laughs>
Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you all about my next show which is this Friday the 14th of June where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew and there's definitely a high-end feel, especially in my two project hours. For example, in the nine o'clock hour, I have got the undisputed king of the agates, Botswana. Two incredible kits, both featuring most beautiful strands and teamed alongside these absolutely, I'm gonna say the word, cute sterling silver bead caps. So that's in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going definitely keeping on with the high-end feel. I have been given the most extraordinary strands of hematite I think I've ever seen and worked with. Firstly, one of the project kits contains three strands of the most extraordinary high-end polished hematite bicones. Never seen the shape before. Absolutely incredible. I've made this beautiful bracelet so far. And then in the other project kit, a texture and a shape I've not worked with in hematite. Diamond matte. Absolutely extraordinary. We've got a peach tone, a rainbow tone, and this incredible anthracite gray. Absolutely beautiful. So that's in the 12 o'clock. So we've got hematite in the 12, incredible Botswana in the nine. Hope you can join myself and Carol from eight o'clock. Look forward to seeing you there. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Oh, welcome back. Where's this morning gone? Oh, it's been lovely, isn't it? Always lovely. I came, I worked, I shopped. <laughs> <laughs> I conquered. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I'm here. I'm, and technically, yes, I'm working, but I'm also shopping at the same time. You, sometimes you have to. Yeah. And eating biscuits. And drinking tea. Yeah. It's a tough job. Mm -hmm. Now, can I just turn this around a minute? Because look at that. I love lucite flowers. So do I. And Look at that amazing box. Yeah, it's so pretty. Isn't it cool? I'm going to open them up because these are these are on pre-order right now, but I don't know if you can, if I shake them all down that way. Oh no, don't shake them too hard. But you get these, there you are, can you see? Ah, oh, they're 
is the little is that the little bells yeah that we're talking li- about? little bells and, and then, then leave the f- mm. but then none of them are huge like all of them you've got open flowers and the little bells but they're all smaller yeah so that you can use them if you've got the larger ones you can use them alongside or you can just use them on their own but they're lovely for like bluebell earrings i did with these um, i can't find them for the life of me but i think they might be in daisy's ears um but you can use like five six blue bell, little uh, blue bells and put them on a chain and it makes a lovely drop earring yeah and you just get masses because you've got findings and you've got strands yeah you've got earring wise you've got chain you've got some faux pearls you've got some ball head pins in there as well be a masses. fabulous gift wouldn't it lovely all in this lovely little heart stackable box yeah because it's in layers again can you see if i turn it that way you get they do basically just unclip like this the different layers three layers um oh my good night goodness a good night well site my favorite lauren has just brought this lucite flowers box brothers and sisters which i have all of these lucite flowers you are going to be in lucite heaven aren't you lucite heaven these are and you know when we did the make along I brought some lucite flowers with me for the make along and everyone was like oh yes I'll use a flower you know because people love flowers don't they well, exactly mm-hmm. when a flower's not an inspiration to jewelry it well it, it, yeah it's been since it time began hasn't yeah. it yeah um, we've digressed wall of fame shop ahead on Sorry. the lucite <laughs> flowers brand new sizes that will work together as well um do you want to go first lovely oh okay I've been looking um, at this yeah and then you've got to read that one okay yeah Oh, I see. Okay, right. So this is from Lisa Anderson and she says, Hi all, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a pearl and auralite, is that correct? Bracelet I've made from different kits. Mm -hmm. Good luck everyone and have a great day. That is so pretty and wearable, that design. Absolutely stunning. So 778 is your number, Lisa. Good luck. Well done, Lisa. Um, I've got some amazing seed beading here. Your uh, Sue Mortlock. Hello, Sue. You're number 779. Um, please see my entry to the Wall of Fame. I saw Mark use this technique on the show yesterday and ordered the kit. In the meantime, I dug into my extensive jewel maker stash <laughs> and created this Art Deco style necklace. I love it. All com- uh, materials are from Jewelry Maker. Sue, that's beautiful. Loving that. Your number 779. Well done. That's you. Oh. oh. oh just, yeah, wow. Would you look at that? Susan Hall, goodness me, 780. Hello, JM. This week's Wall of Fame is a jadeite carved dragon donut with necklace of freshwater pearls and jadeite rounds and cube beads. All items from JM. Good luck to all for the draw. Look at that. Isn't this a great example of what we have been able to offer our jewellery makers? Yeah, how luxurious. I mean, look how luxurious is that? Yeah. 780, Susan, that's stunning. Good luck well to done, you. Well done, Susan. That's amazing. And, and again, on the collectability Ooh. Um, conversation this one's from uh, Lorraine Smith Lorraine you're number 781 and uh, hi jewelry maker this week I have a set I've sent a funky faux fordite wire wrap necklace and earring set all components are from jewelry maker just need some sunny weather now yeah we do Lorraine don't we definitely do need a bit of sunshine love fordite now I, I, we launched the faux fordite mm-hmm. because of course fordite is um, very expensive. Controversial gemstone. Because mm, some people are like, it's it. not a gemstone. Well, it's rare. It's precious. It's valuable. Uh, it's durable. Mm. So technically it is. Mm. In the eyes of GIA. Um, over to you. Oh, come on. I've seen this. On wow. Me. I mean, is there any... Is there any... Sean. Sean. Like, come on, Sean. I mean, Sean. We need Sean here. Sean. I mean, really? Sean should be here, shouldn't he? Oh, yeah. Sean. <laughs> Just Sean. We're just going to say your name over and over again. I love bead embroidery, says Sean Kerr, and I used beading foundation to build this piece. I used fabulous wow. labradorite cabochons and faceted rounds, as well as seed beads and a range of golds and coppers to build up the design. I finished the neckline using Mark's famous kiss cross technique. Everything, including the beading foundation, is for JM. Thank you for bringing us superb deals and outstanding shows. Sean, you are incredible, and yeah. every time I see your designs, they make me smile and they make me wow. Yeah, indeed. Um, 
Um, so, wow, good luck to you. Well done, Sean. Um, last but by Sean. no means least. <laughs> Um, number 783 is from Kerry Ann. Hello to you, Kerry Ann. Oh, so Chapel pretty. Lewis. Loving this. And Kerry Ann's definitely got not, an, not just an eye for jewelry making, but an eye for photography. Yeah, that's too. a lovely photograph. Um, and Kerry Ann says, Hi, jewelry maker. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a pair of chrome dioxide gold plated hoop earrings. I love them. Um, um, so I hope jewelry maker brings them back so I can buy some more. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Because they had the little loops, didn't they? So you could attach your gemstones yeah. directly onto. Fingers crossed, Kerry Ann. They're amazing. Your number 783. Now, are we ready? These Lucite flower opportunities you've had previously, if you haven't got them, then don't worry, we're going to be replaying them. However, brand new today. And also I have to say different varieties, because uh, can I use your overhead? Is yeah. that all right? Because then we can see them properly, can't yeah. we? So you get the container, obviously. You get the loose side. Do you want to show that level first? Yeah, let's show the top level. The clock is ticking, jewelry makers. Clock to graphics, but lots of you have showed uh, uh, shop to head. So can you see in that, you get your chain, your lobster claws, yep. head pins, yep. shepherd hooks, mini loose side flowers, strands. Got a rogue one there. Come on. You get all that. Then, next layer, oh, they're like pearlescent. They're really lovely, these ones. Oh, hang on, one more. You get these. Oh my goodness. They've got like got a pearlescence to them. Yeah, and they've got like um, lovely kind of petal details. Next layer. <gasps> You get those. Sorry, did oh, I step in you? My goodness me. Look, at, I'm sorry, I'm just picking them so they, they, they face upwards so that you can see the difference. But can you see in comparison how these are really workable sizes? So if you've got the larger ones, these are going to just work beautifully with those. I can put a comparison. Oh, thank you. There's the usual size. So there's the usual size. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're, they're quite large. So these are fabulous because they can go inside your oh, large ones. Oh, lovely. Um, or if you just work, you want to work with some sort of smaller designs like this, these wisteria earrings, I've used all of the little um, kind of little bluebell shaped ones. I love these. And of course, you get the instructions for these wisteria earrings as well, don't you? You do, with photographs. Um, amazing. So, Debs, talk us through your designs, because they're absolutely gorgeous. The bracelet's amazing. That necklace is amazing. I've got a lot of, of loose like designs, and I haven't, but um, I've nicked some of those, so they need to go back in. Okay. Sorry, I made a mess. That's all right. Made a mess as usual. So, the new designs for today are um, the beaded cabochon. Mm. So that's an old design. That is a uh, crochet. Yeah. Crochet with monofilament. And that's I have, lovely, isn't and it? And you just can add a few onto there. And, you know, so it was it was in the springtime that I did this and the daffodils were coming out. So you've got some of the daffodils that are out and a few of the daffodils that aren't. And that was literally six of the flowers. And you could have put them all over. It depends how um, I can't, many flowers you want on there. And then if you move to the other necklace, this is the one um, from today. So oh. shall I just turn it that way a little bit? So what I've done there is I've just, I literally made it up. I've just beaded three um, little rivalies and I've just done it any old way. I just made it up just from my stash. I just wanted it to be colourful. And then I've taken the little sort of um, trumpet type ones from the box and I've used them as embellishments because I think that you can do so much with these little baby ones and then of course the project that I got really excited about um, I got loads of pictures of this flower and I just wanted to kind of make something that remind was a representation of it so the earrings are the wisteria earrings and these are made just with seed beads and your flowers and you get the shepherd hooks in the kit and I've added some wire just to the top um, and you'll see why in a moment. I love those. 
but you know depending how when you move they move so you know they've all clumped to the front at the minute but they'll you know they just kind of move around uh, as you, you kind of walk um, I'm also going to make a necklace with a, a selection of these on because I think that'll be really really pretty um, and it's literally just three colors of seed beads that you need to or, or four actually that you need to add in to your site flowers so that's what I've got in my instructions I've written out I've also taken, because it's seed beading, I've taken photographs of each stage. Um, so if you've never seed beaded before, you can refer to your photos. And then I've also written it out for you. Um, there's a glossary on there, just saying, uh, making it a little bit easier for you to follow which bead to thread on next. But I think if you put, um, if you just work from the photograph, then that gives you a bit of a better idea. If you're not very wordy, you can just have a look. At the, at the photographs there and it will show you how to make um, the earrings of course you can do it in any color if you did them in blue they'd be more sort of bluebell or yeah. foxglove you oh, know yes, fox gloves. fox gloves would be love I've got fo beautiful fox gloves in my garden they are absolutely stunning and the bees love them um, so you could definitely do fox gloves love that. that they are the sort of flowers that the bees go to sleep oh, yeah, in. Right. yeah yeah <laughs> absolutely it, it just sparked interesting because um i knew so wisteria apparently um often symbolizes love transformation and the passage of time in art and literature yeah there are, there are definite flower meanings aren't there because people yeah. have um i've got birth flowers of my children um actually tattooed on my arm and my granddaughter um and because flowers have a meaning mm. so you can go with um a birth flower and again it's like a way of personalizing your jewelry but not being too obvious with it so you haven't got yeah. a name on there apparently it also means let's be friends oh isn't that lovely yeah but you know whenever you see wisteria i have to kind of stop and look at them because they're amazing flowers aren't they they're almost like they're not real yeah they're so beautiful it's like a painting or a fantasy yeah. they're, they're so amazing yeah gorgeous so i thought i'm gonna get make some make some wisteria i love those um now these projects are absolutely flying out jewelry makers it's we're at 20 pounds per compartment okay which isn't bad because you get masses yeah you get loads you do get masses the box is epic as well yeah that's true don't overlook the box but it's also not always stopping 60 seconds we're going even lower we've got 300 of these Oh, good. Um, I mean, oh. With well, something that, whenever you're creating, like you said, flowers, Mother Nature ultimately are a massive influence, aren't they? You can't go wrong with the flower uh, sort of idea, if you like, in your jewellery design. It was funny because Neary said to me once, um, you know, Deb, is there anything you can't do with the lucite flower bit? And he said, that, you know, I've, I've seen them in a different way because I think he just saw them as like lucite flowers. Yeah. You know, and you can make them. If you use less, you can make them look more sophisticated even. Mm -hmm. Or you can go crazy and crochet with them and do full on. But I I used uh, lucite flowers and I haven't bought the charm bracelet because you've seen it loads of times. But I added like four pink ones to a rose quartz charm bracelet and it just gave that charm bracelet. Yeah, gorgeous. It became almost like a flower girl or a wedding yeah you know you could use them in things like headdresses and things like you that, can use them you? in bridal jewelry um, oh beautiful yeah. i'm going to be getting some of these definitely absolutely amazing just love them and they're like lovely aren't they yeah super 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 well you're going to teach us how to work with them um that's 10 pound per tray of lucite flowers that's good that's very good unbelievable plus the findings you get the findings in there as well yeah, you do uh, and the storage container as well we have 300 of these and they have absolutely flown on pre-order over 100 have gone already jewelry makers there is going to be a bit of a, uh, a queue um building on the phone line so if you can app website never any queues there you can check out your basket straight away i love that i love that you can do daffodils well have if you don't know what to make go and have a look at pictures of flowers yeah get your flowers out from your boxes and then think how you can make it feel like that it doesn't have to be an absolutely accurate representation no. um i mean it is quite an accurate representation of the daffodils because you know that the, the, the shapes and the colors were perfect and they're from a, a different box but um once you, you get this home, get them out, have a look at the colours, see how you feel about the colours, have a play, see what colours you want to put together. Yeah. You might find that you're putting colours together you'd never thought of before. Yeah. Um, but they are great for like wedding jewellery, prom jewellery. Um, 
because they're not heavy. You said that earlier, didn't you? Like Lucite is very light, so you can get away with doing quite a, a, a statement piece without it dragging down. Well, there you go. You get, you get daffodils that colour. Yeah, you do. That's so pretty, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Still not your price, jewellery makers. Oh. Still not your price. Stargazer lilies. Yeah. Is there not, I mean, this is the thing, passion flowers. I'm seeing colours here like passion fruit flowers. I did, um, <coughs> excuse me, a red one. Yeah. Red crochet, you probably remember. It's on my Facebook page if you want to go and have a look. Um, and I took that to the NEC when we went to the NEC and, and everyone was going, oh, but that's really difficult. And I was like, it isn't. And I just sat there and showed them. And it was literally crocheting, crochet, crochet, and then tie the loose like flowers on with the monofilament wow. after. I mean, yeah, that's a bit more involved because it's seed beading. Um, but the seed beading that I'm going to show you for the wisteria is not it's quite simple i love it and i love it and do you know what even if you don't follow the rules even if you think okay well yeah there's no flower like that but it doesn't really matter does just it? make it up they're pretty they're so pretty. they're so pretty we're going even lower jewelry makers we had 300 of these so mega auction quantity um i love it oh are we okay yeah going even lower not done there debs and these i don't think know if you've noticed but um they're metallic they're like a metallic, you've got some with like a metallic coating on there. Can They've got like that? an AB coating, that's haven't true. they? Yes, that's perfectly worded. Can you see? $24.99. See that? They've got like a, yes! Like an AB coating to them. Oh, they're gorgeous, Debs. They're really lovely. And I, I haven't seen sort of the one that you've got inside there, which is the, the shape that I used for the wisteria rearings. I've not seen this shape in any of the other boxes that like this. No. Um, so I was like, ooh. <laughs> Gosh, you could just literally, look how lovely they are. See, look how they're inspiring you to just put a couple together. And that's an earring now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, you've got like a paparazzi sapphire like That's a here. lovely colour. That's what the, um, that and the light one. So one that I used in the nine a.m. demo. Gorgeous. That's very, you know, like the Hawaiian hibiscus. It is, isn't it? It's a little bit like that. Yeah. Um, oh, and you've got different shapes in there as well. Can you see these? We've got like little heart petals. You pick that up in different sizes. Can you see? You've got different shapes in there mm. as well to create different flowers. So they're quite petally. Which yeah. I like, you know, you've got that space so that you can put things behind them. And then smaller sizes too. We have 300 of these available. You could just have so much fun with the Lucite flowers. Oh, look at them. You can use them as bead caps. There's another price crash. Oh, is there? there? Yeah, we're not stopping there. We had to manage the auction, otherwise we'd have literally crashed the phone lines. Um, <laughs> and that wouldn't have made us very popular. You get absolutely masses. So you get three layers. Yep. Today. Really? Under 20 pounds. Oh, that's amazing. It is amazing. You get absolutely masses in there. Even for the box on its own. Have I done that in the wrong way? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Just clip all together. I mean, you've used four Lucite flowers there, Deb, so haven't you? I know, and you know, if you look at um, the bracelet, um, it's a bit like the Capriccio bracelet. It's just a netted yeah. bracelet. Um, I just added those afterwards because I was like, actually, I wonder if I can get some flowers on there. So you can sew them into pieces like Sean's gorgeous oh, I love um, that. bead embroidered design. I love bead embroidery too. Um, and I think I did a flamingo a few years ago. We, I did a DVD on it and um, I used the... Um, I remember the fl flamingo. Do you remember? I used the yeah. Lucite flowers for the flower crown on the flamingo. So there's loads that you can do with these. Wow. Under 20 pounds, jewellery makers. Yes, please. For the storage box alone, which has got a lovely handle, by the way. It's a really good box. Yeah. $19.99. Wow, that's fantastic. It is, isn't it? And you get masses in there, don't you? That, well, considering what everything is costing these days. Yeah. You, you know, that's it's, pretty amazing. Yes. Get one of these. Get one of our tool kits. You're making um, jewellery. You're making jewellery. You know, bit you're, of beading thread? You're gifting, yeah, a bit of beading thread. You are gifting a craft. Yeah. You're getting 100%. people to work with their hands. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Are we surprised that they've flown out, Debs? Well, I'm not, because I absolutely love them. So, no. 
people multi buying. Yeah, I, I would as well. Oh, I can't wait to see your wall of fanes. I'll be ooing and I. Yeah, they're so pretty, aren't they? And they're very wearable as well. I mean, if you were to do those wisteria flowers in, say, a gemstone, they'd probably be quite heavy. Wouldn't they? Yeah, they would. I mean, you could add a couple of chips to the ends of the seed bead leaves, yeah. petals. You could yeah. add some chips. Um, but I mean, I think I've got six or seven flowers on each earring. And if that was a gemstone flower, yeah. then we'll be pulling your ear down a little bit. And it would be very bit. comfortable. But again, can you see that lovely, as you just said, Deb, so like an AB coating. Um, you can contrast it as well with the um, and any other lucites that you might have. Yeah, I tend to use all my lucites together. Um, I've, got, I've got them all in the, on a shelf in my studio. And if there's one missing, I usually go into Daisy's bedroom because that's where they are. And um, Daisy's made some great things with the flowers. She's a really good jewelry maker now. Um, but, you know, and her friends, her friends just started making jewelry. Because they come to our house and she gets them all out and we teach everyone to, we're spreading the love in our house. We're teaching everyone to make jewelry. Um, but, of, you know, I think that it works for any age group. Absolutely. Absolutely. 140 of these are in baskets. 67 left as it stands. We had 287 to start with. 50 on the phone lines. See how what works? Demo. Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh you mean the phone lines then? I was like, what do you mean the phone? <laughs> yes, let's do we'll, the demo. We'll, we'll see how it works. Hello? <laughs> I'd like to order some Lucite flowers. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> the others are coming up as well, jewellery makers. And any questions that you have for lovely Debs, do text in. Oh, what works? <laughs> so. It's getting late in the day and I've got more filming to do after this. I won't well, be making you. sense at all. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, so what I... When I first worked these um, earrings, I put them, I sewed them onto a jump ring. But because you're dealing with um, wildfire or fire line, it can go through the hole in the jump ring. And I couldn't find um, a non uh, sword one, a closed one. So okay. it fell off. I'm just being honest um, because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just making it up as I went along. So okay. I decided that I wasn't going to work it onto a jump ring. I was going to do a wrap, the good old wrap loop because then it was completely safe. So you just need some um, wire. This is a 0.6 and I'm just going to make a loop at the bottom of it. So I want some quite a large loop because I'm going to add a few, I'm going to sew in and out of this loop. So I'm just going to take my um, pliers I'm going to make a wrap loop at the bottom and the great thing about the wrap loop is it's a very very secure cold connection as you probably already know and there's no little gaps for your thread to escape from so this is essentially going to be the top of your earring if you have got a closed jump ring you can use that that's all right I'll let you. <laughs> okay, so you just basically everything is worked onto there. And then what I did, I would say use as much a uh, fire line or wildfire. This is an eight pound. You could use a six pound. It doesn't really matter. Uh, that you can handle. If I tell you a certain amount and use more than you're comfortable with, you're going to get into a pickle, and you don't want to do that. It puts you off. So you can always add thread. I used about, I suppose, a wingspan and a half of my. Um, fire line and okay. this is black i used white but obviously you won't be able to see what i was doing if i used white so oh, for demo purposes for demo purposes so what i did i um threaded my wildfire onto a size 10 or 12 beading needle and then just take your tail end through your loop here and just leaving just a little bit of a tail because you can tie that in when you go all the way around and i'm just going to do a double knot and if you're not convinced that 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 that's secure then you can add a dab of glue to that little knot there okay so once you've done that and I'm, I've already cut done some pieces so that we've got time um, you want to strand on your main color that is your stem color. So I used um, a green. Now these are size eight, so you can see what I'm doing. I use size 11s in mine, but if I did 11s, it's harder for you to see, so these are eights. Okay, so you want to string on, I strung on 34 size 11 seed beads onto that strand. Now just let me grab my needle and then I shall be with you. Where is it? Here it is. 
So I strung on 34 of my size 11, I'm using eights just for demonstration purposes, onto my thread, miss out the bottom one, that's your stopper bead, and come all the way back through all of the beads again. So it's like when you make a tassel, okay? And then I go back through my loop in my wire, and I'm just gonna do like a half hitch knot. So I've made a loop there and I'm gonna take my needle through just to hold that in place. It just makes life a little bit easier. Okay, now I'm gonna place that down and try and show you here. Now I've got three colors of my seed beads. Now I've used blue and white here and I tell you in the instructions exactly what I used for the um, wisteria. It was a purple, two colors of lilac really, and a white. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to make the petal shape. So the way it works is you do larger petals at the top, so 11 or 13 beads. And then as you come down, you make the petals smaller. So you might go nine, seven, and then end up with three and one on the end. And that's how you get that tapered effect and then you add the um, lucite flowers which I've actually got the blue ones here just to the top kind of third because obviously with the wisteria it comes down to a point so I'm going to add on um, 11 so I'm going to do two of the this blue two of this blue a white and another white, and then you need a tip. So one for the tip, so any odd number works. And then you go back down again. So two, two, and two. So that's what I have on my needle. And I've obviously made them in eight so that you can see. And so it is just repeated back down. And then you're going to drop that down to your stem. And I'm gonna move that up a bit so you can see. Okay, so I've dropped that down to my stem. Now I'm coming out of the top of this very top bead and I'm gonna come back around, I'm gonna to have to pick it up, back around and I'm going back through the bead from the other direction. Now you'll see this in photographs when you get your project. And you pull it. And what you'll initially get is a loop of beads like that at the top. Now to make this into a petal shape, in other words, so that your main bead here is popping out, there's a little trick. I bet everyone's going, it's not a trick, we know how to do this. <laughs> what you're going to do is pop up your first row of beads, and I'll get my hands out of the way. So you go up your first row of beads, um, that you added, give it a pull, and you're going to miss out that very tip bead of your petal, the one right at the very top, so just don't go through it, and then go back down the rest of the beads on the other side, and I'll show you what happens. Give it a pull, and what it does, so I'm gonna pop it down on my mat, it pops that top bead out so that you get a leaf or a petal shape. Now if it doesn't do that and the thread gets stuck, just put your needle in and just give it a little pull and it'll sit proud. Mm. And that's what causes that little, um, sort of, it makes it a leaf or a petal rather than just like yeah. a, a loop. And then I'm going back through the same bead again. Now bearing in mind these, these earrings are three dimensional, so I'm just gonna, gonna grab them. These earrings are three dimensional. So you actually need, if I put them on my bead mat, you need to bead all the way round. Oh, otherwise, they're so pretty, Beth. Thank you. They'll be flat on one side otherwise. So you have to go through the same bead a couple of times sometimes so that you've got three petals that are going to sit yeah. in three directions, if that makes sense. So I just continued doing this all the way round, working down, reducing the number of my petals. And the only thing that I did differently was when I came to add my flowers. So what I did with this was I added one of my 11 O's in the case of the actual project, my flower, and then I think it was three 11 O's for the center. So I've got that so far. And then obviously this looks bigger because I'm using eight O's and that was my stamen, so I drop those down. 
And then what I did was I just left off that very last bead and went back through the two stamen beads and the one bead that went on just before the flower like that. Mm. And then you want to pull that. I do this no one You could do them, couldn't you? And then you want to go down your bead and then go down just decide where you want your next row because you I would have done more petals than that so I come down probably one because I want it to be quite full so I've now I've come down two beads and you just go through that process again of a mixture of flowers and petals so let's do another petal so I'm going to do a much smaller one now I would have if I show you the finished one I've got the larger petals on the top and as I came down sort of just below the flowers I started to make the petals smaller and smaller but kept odd numbers and smaller and smaller until I got to the bottom I had only three beads that I used so that it really tapered in so at this point up at the top I'd still be doing the larger petals so let me move this down so you can see we're good oh thank you so I'm going to go for two of the dark blue, two of the light blue, two of the white, and then my centre bead, which is also a white, and then work down the other side, two of my white, two of my light blue, and two of my dark blue. So that's what I have. And you will adapt those numbers as you come down to one of each or you know me mess around with the combination see we'll see what you think looks good so again i'm coming out of this side of my bead and i'm going to go back into the same bead but through the other side so i, I find it easy to actually pick it up and then just give it a pull as you start to add things it's beneficial to kind of turn it upside down and let it hang as you pull it in or it gets caught on everything so if we just have a look there that's now automatically becoming fuller so I'm going to do the same again and I'm just going to go through all the beads again but I'm going to leave that tip so I'm going through all the blues two of the whites I'm just identifying which one is the tip because I don't want to go through that one give it a pull so that it sits nicely against your stem I'm leaving this one out because he's going to be protruding at the top to make my shape I'm going down the other side give that a pull and then usually it will do it on its own it will just pop up that very top bead so that you've now become um, a petal or a leaf shape rather than just a loop of beads and then I'm going to go back down the bead that I came out of and the next bead in the row. So this is how you start to move down. So that you've got those there. And then you can just carry on adding your flowers and adding your petals as you go down to make that shape so you know you want it to be fuller i just did it by eye and then just thought right it's time to start making smaller and smaller and mm -hmm. smaller until i got to the bottom and then to finish off the earring i just added one of the flowers to the top and i tried it without and then tried it with and i liked it with so if you put one of the flowers face down on the top mm. like that and then one of the whichever color you like of the um seed beads and then I literally just wrapped, looped that to my earring wire here. So again, you've got that secure, secure connection. Just pop that onto there like that. And then I'm going to just hold it with my pliers so that I can see what I'm doing there. Wrap that around so that everybody's really secure now. You've got your your cord on there and you've then got your earring wrap looped onto your earring wire and then you just want to trim that off so that's you know the top of, of your earring done and then you just keep working down and down and down and you will get to a mm. point where you just add 
three beads on the bottom. So pretend we've gone down to the bottom. So instead of adding the flowers as I've just shown you in the petals, you're just going back through the same bead again and possibly the next one down with three beads. And you don't even have to go through those again because they form like a little pico and they will give you that sort of, you see this effect on the bottom, this kind of frilly effect. They give you the frilly effect, the fewer beads you use. And then on the very oh, bottom, yeah. I just added one bead and then went up through my petals a few times and then just did some half hitch knots and then burnt in my thread or, or cut my thread. So a half hitch knot is you go under the thread with your needle, you make a loop, you go through your loop, you tie your knot and your knot slides down between your beads and you can't see it. And you want to do that a few times to get rid of your thread. And that's all there is to it. It's I mean, that's so not hard, pretty, is it? pretty, though. Do you know, you, you know, you were saying you could play with colours, do different colours. I was like, oh, yellow. Yellow. Like a cowslip. Gorgeous. Like a cowslip. They've got a similar kind of... They do. And I think you could just make a flower that you've made up, like yeah, you said. Yeah, it doesn't you know. matter. And so you just, no right or wrong. as you move... They just oh, they're so pretty, Debs. I love those. Thank you. Love those. So written instructions of numbers and exact. It's all in there. It's all in there. Now, if you're loving your lucites and you want to um, get some different varieties, we do have. This was like the original, wasn't it? I love that. I still you mine's get, still going strong. You get masses. You get loads. Masses and masses. It's flying. Oh, hang on. There's only twenty left. We start with how many? 50 so uh, if I show you the shapes here and then you can see you get the different colorways so you get kind of fluted like calla lilies you get like stargazer lilies you get again more of your trumpets petals yeah you get petals in this one ah oh, and smaller you get masses. The colours in this box. I mean, look at these colours in the middle. It's very similar to that we were talking about the angelite bangle. Yeah. It's those teals and greens. And they're all pastels as well, And they're well, all aren't pastels. They? And then you get the reds and oranges, which I made a necklace a I while ago, that. that one. That was made with this. And it's so autumnal and juicy, but it could also be quite festive. Um, this is amazing, this box. Yeah, I love them. And you just get masses of them. I mean, I can't believe the size of these. Look at all those. Hang on, random. All of that you get. Well done, everybody. How much did they go to? I, I, Amazing. Ten pounds per so layer. Mine are still going strong, and I've used so many. I bet. This one. The flowers. Yeah. This one. Oh, this is a good add-on. A little add-on. Maybe you just want to dip your toe in the loose side. Maybe you want some larger um, petals so you can put your little ones inside and make a little trumpet. This would be good. Is that right? There you go. Six ninety-nine. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Have you got one particular project or an outfit or an occasion in mind? Really good for headbands, flower girl tiaras. I bet florists would love these too. Yeah. To use them in your bouquets. You get a mixture of the pink and the white. We have 160 available. Who wants these at an amazing finale deal price tag? Yes, please. Yeah. What a great way to try out lucite flowers if you haven't already done so yeah and if you just want some large ones a few large ones to go with what you've just bought mm. um these would be great because you can do like the two layer or the three layer flowers that with pearls inside these ones are gorgeous are oh, beautiful and these would work with the both of the projects you've just seen yes perfectly in fact i'd like the i like the idea of the contrast between the ab coating and this yeah it's lovely very nice um we've got a big quantity you're flying in for it we're gonna go yeah i mean we're at 4.99 that's ridiculous, isn't it? I you get masses. I don't think I've got all of them here. I've only got a handful. Yeah, you get much more than what I have here. <laughs> That's no way near 95, No, 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 no. <laughs> no way near 95. That's like 20, maybe. Yeah. Um, amazing! Make sure you're checking out your basket, jewellery makers. Yeah, you get almost 95 lucite flowers. Yeah. I mean, wow. Monday, your deal of the day, jewellery makers. I've got a funny feeling this is something that producer Ross has definitely had his hand in. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I knew you'd have an influence to this. Um, and that's because he's just handed me. <gasps> They're all natural as well. Oh my gosh. A brand new parcel of natural Neon oh, Appetite. Yes, please. And then a brand new parcel of natural <gasps> African Amazonite. This is coming up on Monday, jewelry makers. And I'll be here on Monday. Are you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, is, it with, is it me and me again? Yeah. Yay! Yay! Oh, wonderful. We're going to be shopping again then, Debs, aren't we? Will. Yeah. So coming up on Monday is your deal of the day. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I was going to ask, oh, well, you've saved me the, uh, asking the question when you're back next. Uh, and I'm doing some flat kumihimo. Lovely. And I've got a disc cutter and it's all. Excellent. Amazing. Um, you've got lovely Mark tomorrow Yay. as well. So here's the rundown of the show. Um, High-end hematite. He's got also about blossoming. Your deal of the day tomorrow um, is uh, beautiful turquoise as well in your round. Um, I'm back with you on Monday with Debs. Yes. Thank you, gorgeous. We love you. Oh, and I love you. Thanks for having me. And your lucite flowers. You're amazing. Aww. Just a vision of summer, isn't she? <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, and we'll see you very, very soon. Thank you.